Oh shit, hold on, hold on. There it is, there it is. Everyone's unmuted. Okay, we're good, we're good. Hi! Hello everyone, hello, hello! Vox and Pai, you there? I remember a time long ago when, um, you know, my father, he, 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 walk, he walked into an empty grain silo and he fell all the way down in my little arms when I was a kid. They were too short and I couldn't pull him back out to save him and I just watched him slowly drown. Nice to see you too, so <laughs> That's a, that that that's a, that's a funny anecdote. My dad is very much alive. I was talking about my uncle, actually. Anyway, uh, thank you for having me, Aya. <laughs> okay. I see that scene of like uh, people actually die like that, don't they? They do. They do. Mm. Okay. Okay. Already getting into hot take territory. Have you uh -huh. seen that really awful video of a load of pigeons landing in a grain silo and just getting sucked into the whirlpool of grain? No. So presumably these pigeons are immediately killed, and so it's quite difficult to watch, but there's something really, really, really quite hilarious uh -huh. about watching one just walk in and then slowly kind of look around like and then he just falls falls into this little Wait. grain grain whirlpool, and then another one walks over like and then they go down and the music is like bum 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 and then there's another one who flies in who just gets consumed immediately like he just lands in the thing and like and like he's gone he's gone it's like it's a terrible video lots of pigeons meet their ends but it is it's weirdly hilarious you know it's like the crabs you know the crabs who like jump into a deep fry and they go like money 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 you know but the one the hammer, like the, the crab processing plant where they just knock out the heads with the little hammer. Oh, have you seen <laughs> have you seen the crab the crab factory but in yeah. reverse? Yeah. It's like where they're chopping the legs off, but they put it in reverse. It's like they're building crabs. It's playing the music from Lord of the Rings, like ba -da -da, bum, 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 the same bum, like bum, 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 bum. The same vibe as like the the, the Urukai for being formed out of like the pits of mortar or some shit like that. Exactly, <laughs> but it's just crabs being put on the conveyor belt. The crab birthing room, yeah. God, I hate that. Mm. But that should be all aside. Hello everyone, welcome, welcome. Happy to have you. Thanks for joining. And thank you to Vox Senpai for joining me today. Thank you, thank you. Very happy to be here. Thank you for having me, Aya. I am looking hmm. forward to making more people upset. <laughs> He's, he's already upset me. Pre we were talking earlier. His takes are very suspicious, okay? Anyways, so the rules of today's game show, um, of the Hot Takes game show. Sorry, I pre-gamed him a little bit. My stuff's about ready. Um, so we're going to do a few questions. So I'm going to ask a prompt that's a kind of this or that style question, right? So um, the answer could be yes or no, cats or dogs, etc., etc. Now, if we agree... Are you okay, Senpai? There he yes. is. Okay, okay. <laughs> So, if we both agree, then we can, you know, TT, cool, awesome, great, we can, we agree on, on our opinions. If we disagree, then we will politely go into a conversation as to why per one person is more wrong than the other. Politely and logically and as uh, kindly as possible, right? And so, um, if, uh, once we disagree and once we state our cases, chat will then, uh, vote to see whose opinion is more correct and more based. And then the winner, uh, wins, of course, the loser has to drink. Um, if we agree too many times, if we agree three times in a row, that means we both have to drink. And then the person who drinks the most at the end of the night has to do a batsu. So, this is the simplified nice. rules. Mm -hmm. Nice and simple. Um, so, what, what kind of Aki Halls did you bring, Senpai? I have a single can of beer, and I am probably just going to drink it ordinarily. Uh, if I run out of beer, I will go into my wine cooler and grab uh, uh, some gin, probably. Ooh. Well, I better crack that bad boy open just so you know my my opinions are based. So, I have... Uh, uh... Yes, always the carrier of the most socially acceptable opinions. Uh, no, my... Not me, unfortunately. Not me. I, I, I am... I am very sexy in that I am extremely contrarian. Uh, I actually disagree with um, people who disagree with uh, common common opinions. In fact, I actually am Schrodinger's uh, contrarian. I listen to whatever the person says and then I choose to disagree um, out of uh, a really selfish desire to always be different. That is messed up. That's messed up, dude. Yeah. That's evil. That's evil. People like you bully people like me all the time, okay? 
But anyways. Uh, no. No. Uh, no. No. Okay. But anyways, I have a bottle of uh bottle of soju right here. And I have two white claws, one of which I'm already halfway through. And uh yeah, let's get it started now. <laughs> See you tie into my song. Right? <laughs> Who are you? Who are you? What have you done? What have you done to my what have you done to my co-star? What the fuck? Uh, okay, anyways, anyways, anyways. So uh, let's do the first question, okay? This, let's start off really nice and easy, okay? So, first question is... Cats or dogs? Right? So, um, we're gonna think about our answers and we're gonna blurt them out at the same time. So, um, you have your answer yet? I do. Okay, you ready to defend your opinion in case it's wrong? I am. Fine, bitch. Okay. One, two, three. Cats. Both. Both is not an answer. You have to choose one. That is how. That is what I believe. Oh my god. I, you have to choose one though, because I like both. Well, why can't we? But well, surely we can both say both. Okay, we're both saying both. Okay, both saying both. Okay, what we're do you like about both? Okay, what do you like about cats? What do you like about dogs? Tell me. I have mentioned. I have gone on record with my opinions on cats and dogs many times. Uh -huh. Cats and dogs are both. The reason we love cats and dogs, we love them for two reasons. Number one companionship and number two stupid factor right They're companionship is the obvious one Do they are no but, and this uh, is to their benefit explain they border collies stupid explain or, border they are collies. very stupid but in a very funny way oh my so, god Cats and dogs both have been proven to love their owner. Dogs do so in a very blind and loyal way. Cats do so in a very coy and shy way, but they do love their owners. And this is this is true. Both are capable of sensing when their owner is sad and coming up and giving you a little push of the head and being like, meow, or being like, <laughs> and then just trying to comfort you. All of them, they, they, they have... Cats and dogs make wonderful companions, and I think that each person owes it to themselves to examine their own life and whether or not they would be better to have a cat or a dog, but I think neither animal is worse at either occupation. Now here is the main thing, the stupid factor. The stupid factor is the entertainment factor. This is how hilarious each animal is in in various ways, and I will say that both cats and dogs are very stupid, but both in very, very different ways. So, a dog is stupid in classic mode. Classic stupid. Classic mode? Where, classic stupid, where a dog will... W the classic stares in reflection and thinks that it's a different dog and goes like... Arrgh. But cats also do this when they look at the World Cup and they see the ball fly through the air on the TV and they try and reach up and catch it with their little paws. They're all stupid, whereas dogs are big and clumsy and fantastic and they don't care about being viewed as stupid. They'll just run in circles, run up to you, lick you in the face, and that is... And they are... I have absolutely zero self-awareness and that's wonderful. However, a cat is very self-obsessed stupid. Cats have an ego. Cats love themselves. Cats spend th 30 hours a day, which isn't even possible. They get down on one knee, they get down on two knees, and then they get down on three knees, which hardly anyone else in the world can do, and then they groom themselves because they think they look like hot fucking shit. But at the end of the day, they still fall off of counters. They still get scared when they get put inside a plastic bag and run at 30 miles an hour around the house. They are stupid as well. And in this, and in this way, both cats and dogs are equally endearing. I need a jinx to get through that. I need a jinx to get through that. Okay, you know what? Let I'm convinced. Sure we'll yeah, you know, I agree with that. Sure, I'll drink to that. That's absolutely valid. You know what? I don't want to argue my case anymore. I feel like Eve said anything that needs to be said. Do Very have... good. Very good. <laughs> do, you, do you have a favorite I, breed? I, a favorite breed? Yes. If Ooh. I got, I, I've been seriously considering getting a getting a cat or a dog, <gasps> and uh, I'm not sure about cat. I think I like I think I like um, Bengal cats. And, mm, they're really uh, smart. If I was to get a dog, I would get a Maltese at the moment because they're Ooh. very small, very loyal, very loving little dogs. Uh, if I would get a Maltese right now in life, but. I would get a uh, a Samoyed if I had more space. If I had a big mm. house, I would get a Samoyed because they're very big and smiley and lovely. And they don't really bark. They just go like, woo, woo, 
And I think that's one. Yeah, civilians just kind of smile at people, to be honest. I think they make terrible guard dogs. They just kind of smile they, at the enemies. They do make terrible. Have you heard about the thing about terrible guard dogs? Like the mm. fact that they are so such naturally trusting, loving dogs that if someone breaks into your house, the Samoyed will go up and be like, oh, wow, a new friend. <laughs> no, it's, uh, for some reason, I imagined he was a St. Bernard kind of person. St. Bernard, Saint, Saint mm. Bernard's are very, very adorable as well. And I like the fact that they go out and rescue people with a big barrel full of whiskey. And they're yeah. like, okay, mate, would you like, would you, would you like a top up? You look quite miserable. Perhaps you could do with a drink. Yeah, they're so cute. They're so cute. But have you, okay, consider this a Maine Coon. Have you heard, have you considered this? Very big fluffy boys. I, mm -hmm. like coons. I think they're wonderful. And people, people often call me a Maine Coon. Uh, so maybe I should get that for like, for like, you know. To, to say thank you to my fans, you know, because obviously it's it's through it's through our fans that we have yeah. any success whatsoever. So maybe in in that way, you know, the money that they've allowed me to earn should go towards buying a cat that they think would suit me. You know. Oh, that'd be a cute idea. That'd be really cute. Oh heck, that's adorable. Oh, that that's oddly very wholesome and sweet. Dang, what the heck? I thought this was gonna be a screaming match. It's this is starting off way too wholesome. Well, you started out with a, a very wholesome topic, to be fair. Mm -mm -mm. Right. Oh, there it is. Uh, 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 bless you. Is that what people say when they, when the other people burp? Bless you. Yes. Yeah, uh, bless, bless you. Uh, bless. They say Gesundheit in in. Uh, oh, this is a good question. Mm, okay. Next one is bath or shower. Okay. So, do you have an answer? I, listen, I take mm -hmm. I take showers every day. Mm -hmm. But, but baths are nice too. I mean, baths are nice too. I mean, I don't really want to pick one. You um, have to. What? I you mean, have I, to. I mean, uh, okay. Okay, no, okay. Let's okay. rephrase the question. If you had to do only one of these for the rest of your life, which one would it be? Okay, here is my answer: shower, because, <laughs> and this shouldn't come as a surprise to anybody. It is way easier to have sex in the shower. Oh my god, of course. Of fucking course. Okay, okay, but I mean, you unless you've got one of those giant triangular baths, but even then I can't help but feel like it's you're still sort of putting yourself at risk of falling no! in and suffering a hold head. On, injury. Hold on, hold on, hold no, on. No, 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 no. Here's why you're incorrect. Baths are a base, because you can have bath bombs, and fornication in the bathtub is also a thing that happens. No, it's, of it's, course it's also it's a thing feasible. that happens, but it's also a thing, of course it's also a thing that happens. Bath sex is absolutely a thing, but uh -huh. I feel as though it's much easier to do in the shower. I mean, I mean, my, I mean, my no. bath at home is quite, is quite small, and I feel as though it would be very finicky and you get water everywhere, whereas in the shower it's like nice and spacious and it's all sort of hot and sweaty and beautiful and then, I don't know, I just feel like I would, I would prefer it in the shower, personally. No, it, it's, it's unbased because it's a fight for the shower head. Which is kind of an issue because then one of you is going to be cold, cold, schmoisty and cold. The other one's going to be no, basically getting like not fucking. Not unless, not unless you're, you're nice get, and, like, not like... unless you're really nice and huddled up. If you're really nice and cuddled up, like nice and close together, then you can both stand under the jet stream of the shower, and then you can it can go down both of you. Like if if there is any communication in that relationship whatsoever, there is no coldness. But, but you're shower. but you're confined to doing that one on that one position though, because like if not, then if you're not cuddled up together at the same time under the shower head, then you can you, be competing but, for the shower head. But, 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 and but, one but, of you's gonna be cold, to, and one of you's gonna be to getting waterlogged. You're trying to act like when you're fucking in the bath that you don't all or like you don't most of the time have your body halfway out of the water and getting cold anyway. But you can like both have any, the opportunity to dunk any one of these you arguments want. also apply to doing it in the bath. Okay, no, no, but because the thing is, you can both dunk it into the water at the same time. The water's gonna be there. You can share it whenever you like. But with the well, shower yeah, head, when, you have to compete but, but, for but, that. But, 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 but when the fun starts happening, you're gonna have to adjust, and that means, like, lifting your body out of the water to a certain extent, and that means that you're both gonna be cold. No, because you can both dunk back in whenever you like. It's but it's already there. It's already so available. You can, you can do that in the shower as well. No, you, you have can to both compete rotate for the in and out of the in and out How of the jet stream of the shower head. How big is your shower head? Do you have like a massive fucking shower or some shit? I do. I do have a really, really big shower. Yes. No, 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 no. Okay. And most people showers. Most a, of I us. I have a rain, a rain shower, like one of those big ones that just Ooh, like, dunks it all on you from overhead. Oh, do you have like oh. the the one that's like uh, the shower head's like kind of like in the middle of the ceiling, like that one? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you got the bougie one though. That's different. I have, the, I, have a, I have a very bougie shower. Yes. Yeah, that's different though.
that doesn't count. I mean, oh, well, technically it does, but like, but you used to use the argument that most bathtubs can't fit both people. If we're talking about yep. bougie, then technically this, this, like, you know, technically we can count the bougie bathtubs too. And the bougie bathtubs are supreme. They have jet streams listen, and shit listen, like that. Listen, 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 listen. I, when I went in my, in my lost house before I had a bougie shower, I had a tiny ass, gross ass, like, my, the bathroom in my old, like, shed house that I used to have with my roommates was the tiniest shit, and it looked like something out of a fucking, like, campsite bathroom. And the shower in that shit was so tiny, and I'm gonna tell you, if I had the opportunity, I would have had sex in there every single time. Oh my god. But then again, the fact is, we did not have a bath, so there was no real comparison to make, so I'll give you that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you don't, under you don't understand the power of bath time. And like, the argument that showers are faster than baths, have you had a speed bath before? You don't have to wait for the bathtub to fill up, you can just sit in the bath and like, Splashy, splashy. That sounds easy, fucking easy. sad as hell. It's what the great. hell are you talking about? You get us Just on the letting floor. the water slowly pool around my ball. No! You don't have to wait for it to pull up. You just a shower. You, know. you flick the switch and it's the full shower experience immediately. No! Whereas a bath, you have to wait for a, for a good while while your whole top <laughs> half is naked and cold. And then you just get, get like a tiny bit of pool of water that just gathers around your fucking No, no, balls. no, listen here, listen and here. And it just makes them all shivery and like wrinkled and then it slowly, th that's gross. No, nah, no, listen here, listen, 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 no, shut the Speed fuck up and bath. listen up. If listen you're gonna up. have a bath, Treat yourself. Give yourself some time. Give yourself at least 45 no. minutes to fill the bath up. Get a table. Get a charcuterie board. Get a glass of wine and sit there and get a bath bomb and enjoy a relaxing afternoon. But if no, you need to get clean, use a shower because it's quick and you can wash yourself properly afterwards and you won't get distracted and you won't fall asleep. No, listen here, listen here. No, the speed bath, the secret behind the speed bath, you get a fun little stool, like the plastic stool you get from the Asian supermarkets. You put it in the middle of the bathtub, you get a big old bucket, and then you fill up the bucket with the water, and you leave the water running, and you can take a bath from there. That's, it's how we do it, and it works. It's speedy, it does the job. And you have the duality, where we can do a quick little, like, a little speed bath, or you can have a charcuterie board and a glass of wine and have it be all luxurious and fabulous. You, but you have you, the option of having you, both. Just, you, just, you, you say a charcuterie board? Charcuterie! Charcuterie. Yeah, charcuterie board. What? Charcuterie. <laughs> yeah, you can, bring, you can bring in a charcuterie board with cheese and salami and stuff. Um, I mean, I feel like a, I feel like a charcuterie is gonna feature beef more than anything. But, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up! I'll check my monetization status real quick. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> I survived Mika some pie should be okay. Are very inconsistent. Oh yeah, it's kind of like it's like blindfold and a shotgun kind of deal when it comes to be to uh to uh, the demonetization, isn't it? <laughs> but now I'm telling you right now, bathtubs are more based because you have the option of doing both. You can both like you can take it slow, easy, like you know, slow you and easy, can't. or you can speed you can it. You can do, you can't if you take it far. If you have a speed bath, like like I've said. I don't understand this speed bath concept. What? It takes time to fill it up. No, you're just you, gonna you don't flounder fill it up, around like a fucking fish out of water to just let, like, 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 just try and coat yourself in a little puddle of water on the ground. No! Or are you just gonna go to your shower, flick it on, let it heat up, and maybe let's say, let, let's say, forty-five seconds max. Go in there, get, get clean, and leave. But also, a slow, sensual personal relaxing shower is also beautiful do you know what i like to do what i like to do i mean i relax in the bath as well but if i want to relax in the shower i will get a beer and i will stand in the shower in on maximum heat and okay okay let me let me walk you through my day off i have a good routine. question i have a good question my, for you after this go ahead okay my day off mantra right so this uh -huh. is this is how i take this is how if i have a day off and if i am fully utterly relaxed and feeling a little ep a little cp uh -huh. what i will do what I'll do is I will, um, I will go into the shower and I will turn the heat all the way up. Like, not all the way up, but like hot enough to be really comfortable. And I will oh. have a beer, maybe two, while I'm in the shower. And I will just be sipping alcohol and I'll be there, you know, maybe you, maybe, maybe you get up to some, a little bit of mischief while you're in the shower. You, I have a, I have a Bluetooth speaker, a waterproof Bluetooth speaker. I'll listen to my favorite music uh -huh. and I'll stand there and just get drowned in all of this nice, hot, steamy water. And then, uh, and then when it's all over and I've consumed all this beer and I'm covered in hot water, I'll be so 
tired that I just quickly towel off and I fall into bed and I take a nap for like an hour. And the instant I wake up after an hour of napping after that beautiful shower, I order takeout. I get KFC or some shit. Okay, I have a question for you. Have you, have you ever had a shower orange? A what? A shower orange. What is the what is a shower orange? Like okay. how, they're just eating an orange in the shower? Yeah. But it's a special it's a special event. Why? You have to take this you have to take the, the orange you wash it off real nice and neat and in the, the proper properly in the sink. And then you take off the sticker. Or you can eat the sticker too, that's allowed. Um so you go into the shower, you you crank that shit up on real nice and high. Then you gotta take the orange and bite it like an apple. And then I personally like to role play as like a wild beast hunting down an animal in the savannah or something. And you just gotta tear into that uh, into that uh, piece of fruit like a wild animal, right? And juice is getting everywhere and stuff. And I usually bring in like a little dish to, ca to catch the seeds. But what's nice about what do you mean hot chat? It's not that weird. So what's nice is you can go feral, Aya. right? You can go Aya. feral, and the juice Aya. gets washed off by the as, shower. As as your senpai, I love oh. and respect everything that you're trying to do. But I have to say, respectfully, what the <laughs> fuck are you talking about? What in the absolute shit is a shower orange? I can understand a strange craving. But I admit, not many people drink beer while they're in the shower. I mean, any based shower, beer showers, raise your hands in chat. But biting through the rind of an yeah! orange while you're in the shower as a specific thing to do. Do you do you do you do, do you experience strange cravings that no one else experiences? <laughs> do I need to show you to a therapist? Is something wrong, Aya? No, what is no, it about the heat of a shower that makes <laughs> that makes that makes an orange it's, it's, so it's, much better? I don't. It's not what the, the heat. fuck are you it's, talking it's about? It's not the heat. It's the fact that there's running water. You can do it with cold water if you want to. Sometimes you do cold water too. So you just gotta tear it. It alleviates your primal urge to destroy something. You know. Listen. If I have the primal urge to destroy something, <laughs> I destroy my balls. I don't need an Vags! orange. No! Listen, listen, listen. You're, you're, you're giving me too much. You're giving me too no. much fuel here. I mean, no. I, I don't know how else. I don't know how else a man I releases hate it here. primal energy. That, that's a different kind of primal. That's the that's the primal urge to breed. I'm talking about the primal urge to cause violence. Okay, they're two different things. Yeah, uh, for, for me, those are one and the same. No. The primal urge. The primal breeding. Breeding. Breeding also sates the primal urge to oh cause violence. Oh my god. No. Do you need help? Do you need to talk to someone? That, that sounds a little. That sounds a little. No, sus. I think this is actually a very common um feeling, and I would say anyone in chat, anyone in chat who feels very relaxed and um. Anyone in chat who feels very relaxed and unstressed and unviolent after they've had a after they had a good wank? Anyone in chat can oh they verify God. that for me? I don't think it's that weird. I mean, like, I mean, I don't deny that it, that it happens in the shower. People do that, but I'm, I'm talking about a specific case and a separate case that a shower orange is oddly cathartic. You know, it's an it's a viable way to be de-stressed after a long day. And so, you, yeah, you can pull the patch, fuck the bean, shower, do what you like, but like, you know. A shower orange well, I, is, is I, just I as good. I don't get it. I do, why an why an orange? What do you do with the rind once too. you've once you've torn it off in your mouth? You why have a specifically plate. in the shower? And the orange you eat is gonna be all soaking fucking wet after you peel it. What the it's, fuck it's, is wrong it's with you? Water. It's still water. It's still tasty. It's just it's just a schmoisty orange. It's still an orange. It's not a, a any can less we, of an orange because it's schmoisty. Chat. Okay. Can we do that vote thing now? Okay. Okay. Can, okay. Can, okay. Can, can no. I no. 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 Right, no. Okay. Guys, can you help Aya? Okay. Guys. Quantify exactly. Just, just, just how <laughs> fucking bizarre this opinion of her is. No, no, Please. okay, okay. Remember, this is this is about the bath or the shower, not about my shower orange chenzies. Those are different. Okay, separate the two. Separate no, the is. two. Separate it the is two. about that. Separate They're, the like, two. This is all the sum of its parts. This is all no. the sum of its parts. No, and no, no, you no, no, have no, 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 no. To some weirdo no. shit today. No, 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 no. Listen here. Here's why you're wrong. I'm going to be Switzerland morning. Okay, now here's why you're wrong, and here's why I am more base. The bath, I'm gonna re reiterate my argument. The bath is nice because you can speed bath with a bucket and some shampoo and a stool. 
you can do that. Or you can be, take it a long time, you know, like watch a movie, pull the page, fucking eat a charcuterie board, do whatever you like. Or it's like, well, yeah, you have both options. I'm just saying in a separate argument that sometimes I engage in sh orange sh shower orange eating. Listen, I'm not here to argue with you. Just well, yes, you are. And take a fucking drink. No! no, 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 no. Go, go, go to fucking jail. No! Do not pass go. Do not collect 200 pounds. <laughs> guys, guys, hold on. Why, is, why the votes look weird, guys? The votes look kind of weird, guys. I don't know. You want to fix that? You want to fix that, guys? You want to... Want to redo that, guys? guys? Do not pass go. Guys? Do not collect 200 pounds. The Monopoly man will have your ass. Oh, my God. Okay, pulls over. Pulls over. Pulls over. No, no. Mm -hmm. Alright, that's one score. Sc mm -hmm. Score one for the boys back home! I, I, I'm cracking open a new white claw, hon. There we go. Yeah, I just... It thankfully, just squeaked by in that uh, in that poll there. You know, barely, barely made it. Shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! This is not about you. Actually, it barely, literally is, but shut up. Made it. Shut up. <laughs> I, just, I just like you, stinky red man. Okay. Next one is beer or wine. I am a passionate man. Okay, and it's... my answer. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna kind of throw you blurt our answers, okay? Okay, ready? One. I'm ready. Two, three. Wine. Beer. Fuck you. Fuck you. No, here's why yeah. you're here's why you're fucking incorrect. No, beer is like beer is like okay, beer is yeast water. It's bubbly yeast water. I don't like it at all. It has no flavor. It's an old person drink. That's Only what old you're people drink it. Wrong. No, it's That's an what old you're person drink. Wrong. No, wine is is aged. It is luxurious. It's fanciful. You eat it with charcoal tea. Beer is fucking aged. No, it but still tastes like yeast water, bubbly yeast water. It's stupid. Listen, right? okay, I'm a man I'm a man who really genuinely enjoys both, but I am a beer Ugh. person. And I think that beer is a wonderful be wonderful beverage because when you have enough beer, every single beer tastes different, it tastes unique, and it tastes wonderful. And what's also incredible about beer is how well it pairs with any meal that you choose to eat. Because beer has such a strong, bitter taste, which I personally find to be extremely Ugh, refreshing and gross. crisp. That when you have beer, it acts as a palate cleanser. Anything Aww. you're eating, beer just washes that taste right away and you're ready for something else. I think that beer is wonderful on its own. It's just so easy to sip from a can like Coke. Whereas for me, wine is strong enough to the point where it takes like a you know it's sort of almost there to the point of being a spirit where when you drink it you feel it go down and that's nice in some instances if you're trying to get smashed like that's wonderful but for me when i'm at home and i'm relaxing beer is like a fucking soft drink and i will have can after can of it at home you know and i just think it, to me beer is my beverage of choice regardless of whether i'm trying to get drunk or not if i want to drink something just for the taste i will drink beer disagree disagree you see wine is nice because it also pairs with most things it's associated with luxury it's nice and tasty and like how you can there's multiple uses for wine did you know you can paint with wine did you know you can paint with it you can't you know paint with you beer can, cook can you with beer you can paint, you can cook with wine too. You could probably paint with beer as well. No, 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 no. Listen here, listen here. So, I like to call beer wheat piss because it tastes like it. Okay? Listen. It does not taste it, like it's, fucking it's, piss. It's, it's, it's listen, piss. It's listen, just listen. it's alcoholic when I, piss. Listen, when I was 5 years old, I filled a super soaker with my own piss and it did not <laughs> taste like beer. <laughs> I thought it would be really funny. I thought it would be really <laughs> funny if I if I pissed in a water pistol and I use it on my friends. Uh, I got I got a very I got a very stern telling off from my parents that night. But listen, all I'm all I'm saying is just for that, just for that, is, that he's unbased. You know, if any of the, if any of them caught a stray strand to the mouth, they they did not let me know that it tasted the same as beer. And uh, so so that's that. I'm not saying that I I'm I'm a frequent enjoyer of golden showers, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't taste like piss. No, 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 no. You see, beer is flavorless. It literally tastes like... it. Like, I don't understand people like the flavor of hops. I don't get it. It tastes like old, dirty plant matter, honestly. And, like, I feel like if I wanted beer, I can just look the inside of a barrel. It tastes the same thing to me. If I want a refresh... And plus, there's multiple types 
of wine. You can have a Moscato, something that's sweet. Something like a sangria. Fruity and relaxing and re refreshing. Or you can have like a Pinot Noir if you're feeling kind of fancy. Or maybe a Cab if you're feeling kind of fancy too. There's other versions of wine you can have. It's all versatile. You can cook with it. You can like... <clears throat> You can paint with it. It's overall, like, in my opinion, it has more use. And it's overall also just better tasting than beer. Beer is like, yeah, sure, it's bubbly and stuff. But so can, so can wine. You can have sparkling wine. That exists. You can totally do that. So, no. I, I do. I am a fan of the bubbly. I do love mm -hmm, champagne. Mm -hmm. Champagne is very nice. But it's very strong. I feel as though the thing is, right? Mm -hmm. I think this is where we differ. And this is where mm -hmm. I do need to uh, sort of give you some leeway, but also explain my explain myself i mm. am at heart i am a very fast drinker i get through drink really but do you fast. go rather like, than sip like let me be let me be honest i don't sip i don't sit there and savor or whatever i will just how in, like, in seconds get... and Whoa. i will just consume for the record i had a four pack of pint size can of, of pint cans of beer um, maybe an hour ago, and they are all gone because I drink that fast. I just, I think it tastes good. I'm like, <laughs> time for no, <laughs> and I, and, and like that's it. Beer is good for that because I love the taste, and it's not strong enough to the point where I will die if I drink that fast. Also, I would like to raise a very, very important caveat. Okay, okay. Possibly the most important when you're drinking. The most important caveat of all. Wine hangovers fucking suck cock. I've never had one. I don't get hungover. You don't get hungover. I never got hungover. You just sober up before you fall asleep then, or like what? Mm -hmm. Not really. I go to bed drunk. I wake up just fine. I've never been hungover. Chat, you guys can verify that a beer hangover is like creaky bones, sore eyes, and like, I don't know, being a bit tired. Whereas a wine hangover is that plus the single most vile taste on your tongue that you can imagine. When I did my first, I, I did a drunk stream a little while ago, a few months ago, and I had two bottles of wine. I had two bottles of champagne. I had regular sh a white champagne and a rosé. And the taste on my tongue after I passed out and woke up was the most vile shit. I had to I, I, I had to cut my stream the next day off short because I couldn't even, I could barely breathe. I went to my fridge and I downed two, two bottles of milk to try and get that off of my tongue and it didn't work. Are you any sure it's not a, a, a skill any issue? Any drink where you run the risk of that kind of hangover, I feel as though it is wonderful in moderation, whereas beer, I could drink until the fucking cows come home and regret nothing. I don't know. Maybe this is a skill issue on your part, because like I've never had this kind of issue at all. Yes, but also I uh, we have we have also come to the understanding that you are a lightweight, which means that you no, drink I'm not. less wine than I do. You're not supposed to tell that to me. What would happen if you drank two bottles of wine? I I I would uh, shoot lasers out of my eyes and be perfectly fine and perfectly normal because I'm a heavyweight and I'm super cool. Guys, see, see, she's she's being a little she's being a little funny right now. No! Because before we started, before no! we started, no, 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 no. she cut actually his mic, told cut me his in mic, confidence. Cut his mic. No, no, no! I'm cutting your mic. I'm cutting your mic. I'm cutting your mic. I'm cutting your mic. <laughs> Supposed to mention that you're a light. No! 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 That's enough. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I, hate, I hate you. I hate you. You stinky red man. I dislike you. I dislike you, you stinky Listen, red man. All I'm saying is, if you had the liver to drink a little more wine, you might get hungover and see what I mean. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, just five glasses of... Getting gl drunk off five glasses of wine, is that not enough to get a wine hangover? Uh, it depends. I mean, I don't really drink enough wine to know. It depends on your tolerance and how oh. much of it is in your system when you go to sleep. But but I'm 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 just too cool to get a hangover. But, but anyway, we'll take it to the polls. We'll take it to the polls. Okay, I'll take it to the polls. We'll Let's take see. it to the polls, mm -hmm. guys. On the poll, which one is it? Is it is is it soda or is it Obama? Tell <laughs> to comment down stop. below. 
stop that. <laughs> I hate, I hate, I hate, I, do, I dislike this stinky red man. Uh. I didn't stink, I smell fucking fantastic. What do you smell like? What do I smell like? Uh, I, I have a Penhaligon's perfume I, 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 I use the Blazing Mr. Sam. Uh, it's a wonderful perfume. And, uh, I, I first started using it when, uh, Mr. Nina and Mika and Luca were out, uh, in, mm. uh, London. Uh, sorry, Paris, <laughs> for the second mm. off the lab that we had. And I was, um, I t tried it, and they were all like, wow, you smell fantastic. And so I kept mm. wearing it. Oh, I personally wear, I wear, um, Versace's, um, Eros. Ooh, yeah, so Eros, a, very sexy. Oh, yeah, it's a nice blue bottle, it's really pretty. It smells nice, it's like a, it's very, like, it's very, um, I don't know, kind of linen smelling, which I kind of like. Hmm. Mm. <laughs> Ooh, it's got a beautiful bottle. I like yeah, doesn't that. it? It's really pretty, isn't it? It's like the I like the. To be fair, I think Versace generally has nice packaging with most things that they have, but the bottle is specifically really pretty. I got it specifically because I wanted the bottle on display too. Why am I drinking, Tom? Why class tasty? I, I I really like my perfume because it's got a mm. fun bottle. It's got a. It's like a blue bottle, but the mm. cap is like a bull's head. Which one is it again? Uh, Penhaligon's Blazing Mr. Sam. Eau de Parfum. Oh yeah, also, I got the script up, um, because you were talking about wine. I was oh. gonna do the whole, the whole thing where George, uh, where, uh, Orson Welles says, says, uh -huh, the French champagne has always been celebrated for its excellence. There's a California champagne by Paul Masson, inspired by that same French excellence. It's fermented in the bottle and like the best French champagne. It's vintage dated. Is that copy pasta or something? Yes. Ah. Have you seen... Oh. Aya, have oh. you seen the Orson Welles ch champagne advert where he says... Mm -hmm. uh -uh. <sighs> Chat, she doesn't know. I don't watch so, a lot of TV. Th it's, it's not TV, it's life. So this is key Niji law. So your sen your senpai is going to educate you right now. Uh -uh, I was the one ways. who I believe of Niji. I was the one who brought it to the wider consciousness. But now Ike also has discovered it, and he also thinks it's absolutely hysterical. So I'm going okay. to I'm going to tell you a tale. I'm going to tell you a story. So uh -uh. you know who Orson Welles is, right? Uh -uh. Oh my fucking god! The director of Citizen Kane with at the and what like. Pretty much the birth of, of 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 art cinema, and at the time considered the greatest film ever made. Um, the 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 narrator of War of the Worlds, just one of the greatest actors and directors of our time, a, an incredible man. But in the latter years of his career, he wasn't getting as many jobs for film, and so he started doing commercials. And he started doing commercials, oh. and one of them was for a champagne company based in California called Paul Masson. And one day he had to record a commercial for, the, for this um, for this wine company. But the day before, he had been filming for something else. And this other project had been going through technical issues. And he had to stay on this other shoot until five o'clock in the morning. He uh -huh. was extremely tired. And so in an, and so he knew that he needed to be up early the following day in order to record for the wine commercial. Uh -huh. And so he took sleeping pills and these sleeping pills did not send him to sleep they didn't work but they uh -huh. made him very tired and him being a fucking a fucking baller decided to drink a load of wine the same Th that's night. not a baller move that's that's called poor judgment but okay no i disagree anyway <laughs> he he shows up to this wine advert and he is absolutely blitzed he is oh, off no. his face on both alcohol and sleeping pills. Oh. And what happens is I'm going to send you this video right now because oh, it, no. is the, it is genuinely one of the most hilarious things I've ever seen. Hold on, wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, uh... I'm scared. <laughs> I'm genuinely afraid. What is it? It's not oh. like NSW, is it? It's not. It, it is not. If you look up Maha on fucking YouTube, you get, you get one of my clip you get a clip of me talking about it okay oh, i'm gonna no. send you it with a timestamp. so oh. remember the context he is this is a he's take 
This is an outtake for a wine advert where he is blitzed off of his face and he's trying to read. Look at his face in that fucking thumbnail. He looks <laughs> like cryptid. He does look a little wild. I thought you might enjoy it. There's something, there's something so primally satisfying about how absolutely broken he sounds. Because the original line is, pulls up a bottle of wine. Oh, the French champagne. And if for him, it's just he leans back, thinks about the, the miseries of his life, how tired he is. Oh, the French. It's, it's, like, it's funny because like, he's speaking in clear English, but... I do not know a single word that he's saying. Oh, French. <laughs> his, his little noise at the beginning is all. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my <God>. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh my face hurts. <clears throat> oh my god, that was so good. That was so stupid. I love that. I'm so I love glad that. I could have introduced you to this fundamental piece. Of of um of what is now Nietzsche culture, I, because I, because for a little while I couldn't shut the fuck up about it. Oh no, that that's great. That that's so dumb. I love it. Okay, okay, I'm ending the poll. <gasps> Vox Empire, check this shit out. <laughs> All right, six percent difference. That's right. That's right. Guess six, who won this right, time? That's like enough. suck it, red fair man. Enough. I will take a drink mm -hmm. of my preferred drink of choice, which is beer. Mm-hmm. Unbased, but we'll take it. I don't have any wine to it with me. I had some earlier, but I cleared the bottle. I'm wondering... I don't really want to... I want to have more beer. I don't really want to have wine or gin or anything. I'm wondering if I could, like, order some online. Well, you don't have to for the sake of this if you don't want to. I would like to. Oh, okay. I am, an, I am an alcoholic at the end of the day. No! Uh, get drink in 20... Oh, let's have a look at... The ordering. Oh, let's have a look at some of the things I can get. Okay, because that means... Ooh. Could I get pizza with it? Ooh, Ooh, I'm thinking. I'm thinking like a silly man now. <gasps> He's a little goofy. He's a little silly. Guys, the, I, there's a. I I can't name it because it would dox me. But there's a pizza restaurant near to me that has a very funny name, and I think I'm. Gonna Let me see it. it. <laughs> Let me see it. Let me see it. What is it? Okay, okay, okay. I'll just I'll just type it to you. Okay. okay. I wish I could name this because it's literally, it's that's literally brand. something that my fans would get. But no, unfortunately, yeah. unfortunately, no. That's it's, it's it's very suiting of you. It's very suiting of you. Oh, they don't have beer here. Fuck that, man. What's your favorite uh, favorite brand? Go. Favorite brand of beer? Mm. Oh God, it's difficult. My favorite beer. Um, uh, I have two, mm. and they're also for my two qu favorite cuisines, uh, Italian and Japanese. Mm -hmm. um, my favorite Japanese beer is Sapporo Black, which mm, is a, nice which based. Is, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Which is a which is a dark beer, very beautiful and mm -hmm. uh, quite expensive too. Mm -hmm. And my second favorite beer, or rather, I'd say they're tied. My favorite Italian beer is Peroni Grandiserva, which uh, you mm. can only normally get at uh, Italian restaurants. It sounds bougie. Uh, it yeah, they call it Golden Hour in a Bottle, and uh, I would mm. agree with that. I think it's a very crisp and beautiful beer. Mm. It's, like, very classic in its taste, but I think it's just richer and more beautiful than your average beer, so... Yeah, it's, like... Uh, yeah, I would say it's pretty great. That's fair. I think, like, the only beers that I ever bother to drink is, like, actually the only beer that I bother to drink is either a Sapporo or a Asahi. Oh, Asahi is, yeah. is very nice as mm -mm. well, yeah. Like, on the rare occasion that I choose to drink beer, it's usually Asahi or something. But, like, I think, like, Ooh. sometimes I do stoop to, to, to taking a, to drinking a Heineken every now and then, but that's pretty rare. Oh, Heineken. I love Heineken. You do? Oh, that's kind of meh. Drinking, um, I've been drinking Cronenberg tonight, which I, which mm. I really enjoy. I remember I used to dislike it because I thought it was too bitter, but then 
uh, a few years ago, I went to a pub with my dad and uh, Cronenberg was on tap there and we had a bunch oh. of it and uh, it was really nice. You know, the nicest, I think the nicest part about growing up is uh, being able to drink with your parents. It's just, it's mm. just such a fun time. I've never, I've never done time. that. I mean, I've been, yeah, I've been, I've been drinking with my parents for hundreds of years now and mm -hmm. like just, it never gets old. Just us all being like, well, you know, it's great to see your home son. And I'm like, yeah, it's great to see you too, old man. And then we just, then we just, have us have a few sips and suddenly we're all arguing and i'm just like no listen here and he's like no you're wrong son and then it just sort of becomes a whole thing like i don't know just getting growing up and getting to be friends with your parents is mm. great because i don't know i feel i feel very blessed very blessed in, 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 indeed you know because i know it's not this way for a lot of people but i feel extremely blessed that I have, I, I have really nice parents. You yeah, know? yeah. And just getting, just getting to like, after having, you know, after having been a kid and then being separated from them for so long, for you know, for hundreds of years, traveling mm -hmm. or whatever it was, then getting to come back and just get to like, like, I just feel like, oh yeah, you guys are cool. You know, like I, I really appreciate my my parents. I'm excited to go spend Christmas with them this year. Yeah, that's nice. Like it's like personally, um, my parents and I were not uh, close for a while. I think with me being so rebellious up in heaven, that probably didn't really please them too too much, you know. Um, but like over time, we did fix things and get a lot better over time. But like I've yet to take them out to get a drink. I'd love to one day, but I don't know if we're quite there yet. One day I'd like to. One day it's one of my goals, that's for sure. I'd like to. Mm. I'd like to buy them something. Yeah, you know. Oh, that'd be wonderful. Mm. Yeah. One day I'd like to get there. We're working on it, but one day we'll be there. Yeah. Okay. Next question. Um. Where, uh oh, I lost it. Here it is. That kind of misspelled titles. Okay. Uh. The <laughs> next one. Okay. This one's gonna be very polarizing. Between us and the audience, so I uh, I don't know if it, I don't know if it will be. What? Okay. Uh, hmm. I don't know if it will be. Okay. The the, the answer is uh, uh, sub. Okay. Okay. I see. I watch more dub than I do sub. Oh. Uh, okay. 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 Let me explain. Oh. My, let me explain myself. Let me explain myself. Let me explain myself. Okay. 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 I acknowledge that phonetically and sonically speaking. The sub tends to be better than the dub. I get that. Sonic. I, I, I get what? Sonically. What's wrong with the way I talk? What? 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 What is it, Stinky Red Man? What do you want? What? Stinky Red Man, what is it? What? What? What, what are you laughing at? Stinky Red Man, what? What is it? What? 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 Sonically, I've got to go what? fast. <laughs> Rolling what? around at the speed no! of sound. Wait, how do you... Uh, it's not sonically? <laughs> sonically. I don't know, I've just, I've never heard anyone describe it that way, and it just made me think about our favorite blue guy. What does it mean, like, music-wise? Was that, is, is it not sonically? Uh, so sonically? Oh. Oh, what? I mean, oh, I guess it would be, but I've never heard someone on. use it like hold that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I might, okay, listen here, so the, the thing is, my chat thinks I'm smart, I'm really not. I just use big words, I don't know what they mean sometimes. I, let me, hold on, hold on. Let me get the source stuck on this. Melodiously, melodiously. <laughs> I want food right now, man. I want food. I want to be able to get. Dang it. I want to be able to get a place that has good alcohol and good food, but I can't fucking find any. Can you not order ah. separately and get them together? What are you What are you talking about? Can you not? Can you not like you know order from one place like alcohol I'm and get pizza from another every place? place I look either has all alcohol and no food, or all food and no alcohol. Then order from both and get them together. You sound like a dog. I can't make animal noises. I'm not good at it. But let me continue. So I use dub because it's like, okay, so you know, you know me, I'm a busy girl, right? And so I don't have time to sit down and listen to anime all the time. Like, I mean, watch anime. I so I have to listen, right? And I don't understand a look at Japanese, and so I need to have the English dub. And additionally, you know, it's like, there, there are some good English dubs out there, like Full Metal Alchemist. Good dub. Mm, Death Note, are, good dub. There are some good, good yeah. English dubs. I like yeah, Good Logan, good dub. Dub, I like the Death Note dub mm -hmm. very much. I think they're really, really good. Yeah, yeah. Here is, here is my opinion on all of this, and... Yeah, uh, yeah. So, are we strictly talking about anime here? Strictly anime. Uh, because I don't watch a lot of anime. <laughs> I, 
Like, and even when we're talking about anime, I I would go sub because I just prefer to... For me, I cannot, like, I physically feel ill <laughs> if I watch a film, TV show, or anything that I have not yet seen and I'm doing something else at the same time. I cannot do it. Mm. Genuinely, I can't. It makes me feel ill because every the majority of anything good that you watch will have details, it will have elements to it that you will miss and that you will misunderstand if you don't devote all of your attention to it. And I am I am I'm 100% and I know people will like just call me call me an asshole for this, but it's it's not even that bad. But I'm a, I'm I'm very much a purist when it comes to cinema. Like huh. when you watch a film, you should if you can't watch it in a cinema, you should watch it in a dark room with zero interruptions and you should watch it from beginning to end without pausing it unless you desperately need to piss. That is the ultimate way to experience a film. You just sit there and you experience it full on with no distractions whatsoever. And for me, I understand what you're saying about being a busy person and wanting to experience art while uh -huh. doing other things. But for me, I just can't do it. If I put an anime on in the corner and I'm listening to it in dub, they'll mention something that's happened and it will just go straight past me. I'm like, what the fuck happened? And I'll rewind and rewind and rewind. I'll lose focus on my other thing. I need to give all of my attention to something. And for that reason, I would rather watch it in its original language. Which is how I feel about film. I mean, have you seen a dub of a of a live action movie? It's wild. Recently, a fucking like the Squid Game dub. It's like oh, that exists. Oh, I'm not surprised that exists. Okay, but okay, I'll, I'll, I'll give you this though. I would much rather watch something in the in the language in which it was produced because once you, are in the words of the fucking immortal Bong Joon Ho, if you get over the one inch barrier of subtitles, you will unlock a world beyond yourself that you have never seen before or something like that if you mm. walk past the one inch barrier of reading subtitles you will experience some of the best films that you have ever seen and i agree with him 100 percent chickening mm. out and watching a dub because you can't be bothered to read is unbased and really lame unless of course not to be not to be ableist though if you guys struggle to read obviously for that reason then feel free to watch dubs but if you're capable, you should try giving. You should give the subs a try because, like, the, in their original form, they are really pure and deserve to be watched in that form. Okay, but I, I will give you this. I'm fully aware. I think I'm taking the L on this one. I'm fully aware that, like, it's like it's also like the argument, um, the very valid one, that a lot of stuff does get lost in translation as well. But there's certain nuances, certain like, um, I guess like even like cultural in jokes that get lost when you have to translate it into another language which I totally understand. And additionally, I agree with you, like, um, oftentimes a lot of work is put into the original piece of media and um, not looking at it and not fully enjoying it is, you know, a disservice to the effort that was put into it. Um, I guess just my, my purpose with it is like, I think I just don't have time for it. So when I can enjoy it, when I can't, I do have time. I do watch sub, strictly sub. But I find myself doing dub more than sub because I just do not have time. But with that being said, I think I'll, I'll take an L on this. I, I don't think I need to run a pull on it. That's, but like... that's fair enough. And what I would say mm. is that making time can be difficult. But mm -mm. if you want art to be a part of your life, make time. That's, yeah, that's, exactly. that's how I feel about it. Not everyone has that luxury. But if you can, I would say make time. And mm -hmm. Oh, God. I just looked over at Twitter and I saw there was a video of the... Oh, DS no. remake of Super Mario 64 and there was a video of Wario climbing a tree in the castle courtyard and then falling into the river and drowning immediately. Th that That's not... <laughs> okay, you know, we're not gonna Whoa. run out. <laughs> <laughs> what? I didn't watch it with sound. When you watch it with sound, he goes... He just jumps off the tree, lands in the water, and goes... Ah! Send it to me, send it to me. Send it. Send it. away. Send it, send it. Ah! Send it, send it, send it, send it. Hang on a minute, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. Okay, I'll drink. I don't need, we don't need to go. I know what I've lost. I know what I've lost. Hang on a minute, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. There you go, there you go. Super Mario out of context. Guys, if you want to go, if you want to see it, Super Mario out of context, you got recommended a tweet from them. What is this? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared. Hold on, let me for, wait for it to load in. What's this? It's not even a struggle. Wario drops dead in an instant. It's awful. It's, it's 
terrifying. Just instant bloated corpse. Instant bloated corpse. Good grief. Good grief. Bloated. Bloated. Okay, I'll, I'll find. I'll I'm take. Drowning. I'll take. I'll, I'll take this. I'm fine. Okay. <laughs> Shut up. Silence, stinky man. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> next I'm one. So next one. Sorry. No, you're not. Now listen. I wonder. Hmm. Could I order from two places at once? That's what I'm saying. Can't you do that? You can. They can make mo both multiple stops, can't they? I reckon I could. I'm gonna order from an alcohol place on Deliveroo, and then a food place. Oh, here's the plan: Deliveroo for alcohol, and then the Domino's app to get Domino's. Ooh, baby, I'm about to have an interesting evening. What beer do I want? Okay, I've got three choices for beer. Corona, Peroni, or Budweiser. <laughs> I was waiting for you to look at it. <laughs> Neither. God shall smite them both. Yeah, you have to pick one. In the phrasing, the contest for this one, you have to, you have to become one of them. So, I one? have to become one? <laughs> you have to become one. Oh. Mm-hmm. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. I, I don't want to be become mm -hmm. either of you these guys. You have to pick one. You have to pick one. I don't want to go to a Seattle convention in 2014 and <laughs> shit in the ball pit. I don't want to do that. No, no. You have to be one of them. You have to, you have to be uh, one of them. Prove why one's better than the other. You have I to do be, it. I would be... Uh, I'd be a scaly. I would be a... I would be a Furry because oh, no. the costume is probably a little easier to assemble, I guess. No, no, no. I, I'd be a scale. You know, I, I came with the, I came prepared because you know what's, you know what, you know what a scale looks like. You know what they <laughs> fucking look like? A dragonborn. Yeah. A fucking dragonborn. Yeah. Listen, mm -hmm. Scarlet, you seem, Scarlet, Aya, you seem very passionate about is there something you want to tell us? No! No! Because I thought it'd be a fun question, and I have a good answer. Listen here. Of course you like furries, because you're into FNAF, but listen here. Let me tell you about this. That the is power true. Of that is true. I'm into FNAF. But remember, mm -hmm. we have Montgomery Gator. He's a scaly. He is a scaly, and people do thirst for him. There's a lot of porn of him. There is a lot. You've seen it? Yeah, it's on my, it pops up my teal every now and then. Interesting. Do you, you are aware that the TL is based on uh, your previous search history. A dragonborn if I'm a scaly, right? And it's really, really cool. And so I have a DD character that's like a level 20 paladin who's a dragonborn, and it's really, really cool. And so scalies are better than furries because it can be dragonborns, so it can breathe fire. What are you gonna do as a furry? Piss yourself? You know, have matted fur? No, 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 no. That's ASPCA bullshit. No, 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 no. We're gonna, we're talking about scalies. Scalies are cool. They have the armor, the natural armor. That's a, a, a genuine, like, uh, um, the perk of being a dragonborn in DD 5e, by the way. And like, generally just cooler, you know? And Dragon Tales! Who doesn't love Dragon Tales? Dragon Tales is fucking based! Dragon Tales, Dragon... It's, it's good, right? So, no. I have to deny you of your furry privileges because furries are just not nearly as based as scalies. Mm -hmm. Listen, listen. My, my first answer was zero. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. <laughs> I don't really want anything to do with either of these groups. I don't want to go to Rainforest. I don't want... To be lumped in with the people who will throw a loaded diaper full of animal shit at a police we car. Have to I don't want to. I don't want to use my big furry rabbit feet to kick the <laughs> buttons in an elevator. I don't want to. Why does every one of my assumptions about furries begin with diapers? I just crinkling. You guys do your thing. Do your thing. Be happy. Become a wolf. <laughs> On all levels except physical. I am a wolf. Do whatever it is that you choose to do. But for me, I don't want anything to do with it. Be yourself. I feel like I'm that, I'm that, you know, you know, you know that little homophobic dog, you know? <laughs> what? You know, you know, you know, like, you know the little, the little sausage dog who like stares into the camera and is like, and is like, would God approve of that? It's like, that's me, but for furries specifically. I'm just like, you know, it's like, it's like, I'm, I'm all right with it. Just don't do it around me. But listen here, he did say furry, he did say furry, so to the pole, to the pole, to the fucking pole, to the fucking pole. 
to the poll, to the poll, uh, to, the to the poll. poll. The Can poll. we make an option, say furry no. scalies and then neither? Please? No, no, you, you picked one, you chose furries, you made, you made, a, you made a selection, okay? <laughs> you made a fucking selection, you, have to, you made a choice, you have to really stick with it. You made your bed and I lay in it, okay? Ooh. 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 I'm getting pizza. Oh, my personal trainer is going to be very mad at me. <laughs> now, actually, no, today is my cheat day, never mind. Today is my cheat day. I've decided. I will be having I'll be having lots of lots of nice food. What kind of pizza? What kind of pizza I'm oh. trying to choose now? It's from Domino's. Domino's. Mm. I'm more of a Papa John's kind of person. Ugh. I don't know. I don't, I don't go for Papa John's. Oh. Fine. Oh. You can have How your opinions. A more Aya, who the fuck are you over? How the fuck a half of the people voted? Wait, for wait, 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 shut the scalies. fuck up, guys, 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 guys. No, listen, listen. Vox Empire chose furries. Forty eight percent votes for scales. No, 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 give it some time, give it some time, give it time. Give it, give it time. Shut up. Functional member of society. Give it time, give it time, give it time. It'll uh, give it time. It'll correct itself. It'll guys. Guys, guys. Fix it. Why are you this passionate Fix about it. this? Because I need to prove that dragonborns are a viable class and they are the coolest. And technically, it makes me a scaly, I guess. But like, but dragonborns are cool, and I need to prove it. So fix the fucking poll. Listen, you deserve to win. You deserve. You're so much more passionate about mm -hmm, this issue. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. you, you, you deserve to win. just take it. Just take it from me. Okay, extract okay. it from. Extract it from my. Extract it from my soggy, wet dick. Just get it out of my face. Why are you the way that you are? Yeah, I, 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 Here, uh, baby, it. I was born this way. Uh, Lady Gaga said said that before she got a fucking head chopped off. Is she alive? God rest Lady Gaga. No, she's uh, she's dead. But you know who is dead? Wait, really? Shakira. She's alive, you dickhead! Oh my god, don't do that! I love Lady Gaga. Got him. Got him. Don't do that. I just, I just like this red man. I do not like him, not one bit. Silence, 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 silence. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get that one. Yeah, I'm gonna get that one. Uh, I don't want two pizzas. All right, this deal is not for me. I don't want two pizzas. Okay, actually, I already did this one, but I want to see what your take is on it. Oh no! Fuck off! No. 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 Finally, no, we agree that. on something. Holy shit! Yeah, I think it's yeah! stupid. It's stupid as fuck. Yeah, fuck it's pineapple stupid. on pizza. Get it out of it's my stupid. face. I don't like it. Fuck you. I've got fifty p. Fuck you, bastard. It's stupid. It's stupid. It's like Mika Senpai was arguing that like it adds to the flavor. Like, bitch, most pizza places come with like like the the pickled banana pepper. Like you can eat that if you want some more like add more flavor to it or whatever. There's like chili flakes. There's parmesan you can add to it. But she's just like, oh, but, 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 but the, the flavor profile. Bitch, the flavor profile that's ruined by the pineapple. It's stupid. Pineapple is too sweet and adds absolutely nothing. It just, it does not need to fucking be I there. I check Discord. Oh no, what is it? Check it. I got a funny video for you. Oh no. I get scared whenever you send me things, I'll be honest. <laughs> so guys, it, if you've seen it, it's that video of the British man who's trying to buy a Red Bull from an off -light. So He says, how much is this? 149, sir. I've got 50p. Fuck you, bastard. And as he walks out, it plays the Skyrim like skill up sound as he reaches speech 100. It is the only Skyrim skill meme that I've ever genuinely laughed at. Because there's something about this man's absolute charisma to the point where he can pay a third of the price for something and just walk away with it unscathed. I've got 50p, fuck you, bastard. And away he goes. I, I, I don't know, I feel like I'm too... I, I don't want to do that to people, though. That's a business. It's trying to survive. I want to pay full price, you know? Hey, this man's trying to survive as well. He just wanted a Red Bull. It's From the a look Red on his Bull. face, that man had been awake. That man had probably been awake for about... May, 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 maybe 30 hours and he just needed to be awake for a little longer I only had 50p on him couldn't go back to get more money forgot his card, forgot this, forgot that and he just said I've got 50p, fuck you bastard and away he went 
I mean, I admire one, the, the one, audacity. One single solitary measly fucking quid. One single fucking piddly little puddle of piss okay, of okay. pounds is not going to undermine that beautiful off license. Oh. No, sir. What? What is a quid? A quid is a pound. What's a pound? Uh, it is our currency, so... so it's like a single, it's a single where, unit? Where Americans like... have cents and dollars, we have pennies and pounds. So a pound is like a dollar, but a pound is also worth more than a dollar. So don't forget that we're better than you. Anyways, um, next question. <laughs> God save our gracious queen. A king. Never mind. <laughs> Good grief. Well, at least we agree on at least one Good thing. We'll, we'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take it. Yeah, pineapple on pizza is stupid. Why, why do you dislike it? Long may he reign. What, what, do you, what do you have against pineapple on pizza? Oh, oh, this man. Over our... No, I was thinking about King Charles. I don't like King Charles. Never mind. Anyway, move <laughs> on. This man. This man's ruining everything. All right, what are we doing next? What are we doing next? Okay, we're doing next. Next is... Okay, this one is going to be a little bit... Okay. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh we're, talking five, five, we're talking about 5 We're talking about 5 This is going to be fun. This is going to be fun because I've only ever played one d and I've only ever played a single played very long d and campaign. How long the campaign last? That, uh, the campaign lasted maybe a year. Oh, that's good. That's a good one. Yeah, that's good size. Good it was a yeah, it was a really good campaign, and I, I it's the only campaign I've ever played to completion, and I had one character throughout, and okay. he was a bard. Ah, oh, okay. We're gonna disagree there because I think the best D and D class is Paladin. I'm about to fight with a nerd. I'm about no! to fight with a fucking no, listen nerd. Here. No, shut the fuck up. No, state your case. State your case. Go for it, bitch. Go for it. Okay. State I case. think personally that even though, even though. I'm sure there is lots of other merit to all the other D&D classes. I'm going to be honest. The amount of shenanigans that happen when you play a bard make D&D what it is. Being able to have a high charisma stat and to just do the most ridiculous bullshit It just works. But listen here, paladins are also charisma based. Perhaps that's true. We did mm -hmm. not have a paladin in my party, so I don't know. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. When I play D and D, I'm gonna go get him right now. Hold on. I'll be right back. I'll be. I'll be literally be one minute. Okay. Well, hello, H hello everyone. Here's here's my senpai. He is dead. I need to jostle him around a little bit. Hold on. Where is he? <laughs> <laughs> look at this dingus go. Look at him go. Look, look at him go. Let's see his feet. Hold on, let's look at let's look at his feet. Look at this dingus. Check out this. Look, check out this weirdo. <laughs> look at it. <laughs> look at those toesies. <laughs> look at his feet. Oh shit. Oh shit. Why are my feet on screen? Nothing. I hold in my hands the love of my life. His name is Baba and he is a monkey. Listen. That's a plushie, and he squeezes his tongue, and he makes that hideous noise. This 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 monkey was a bard rogue hybrid, and he was my character in this D and D campaign that I played with my roommates uh, uh, this uh, earlier this year and into uh -huh. last year as well. Uh, and I, before maxing out any, and I mean any, of his useful skills, his combat skills, he had a twenty in. Deception, raw charisma, intimidation, and everything. And every time we were in a social situation, I used this to maximum effect. Tell me, could a paladin, and this was in our first ever session, Mike, uh -huh. could a paladin walk into a shop, walk into a very learned and uh, rich and valuable store, steal something off of the shelves without being noticed, walk up to the store clerk and use raw charisma and deception to convince him that it was not in fact from his store but was a brand new gem that he had procured by himself sell it back to him at a price higher than the clerk would have sold it for use it to buy an immense amount of supplies and then 
convince that same store clerk that he is a completely different person than he actually is, purely for the funnies. This is just gaslighting. Exactly. And that's what makes bards the most fun. No, 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 but get this, get this. Paladins, also charisma based. Dank armor, men and women of God, thems, they thems of God as well. And get this, paladins don't do that because honorable or whatever, but also... Yeah, boring. The intimidation strats! Intimidation strats! Have Bards you ever just shot Lisa? Have you ever intimidation have as you, well? Have you ever my, cabbied my, my on someone in submission? My little two feet tall capuchin ha, monkey have character you, have you ever, had have you a, ever, a nat 20 intimidation have you, have stat. Have you ever reverse cabbied on someone in a submission? Huh? Reverse cabbied on someone in a submission. Yeah, yeah, Baba could do that too. He just oh, has to jump up a little bit. What's a str no, 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 what's a strength stat? What's a strength stat? Strength stat? Oh, okay, so here's the thing about Baba, right? Uh -huh, uh -huh, Baba uh -huh. had, uh, in latter parts of the campus, so he had a very low strength stat, right? His m two main skills were dexterity and charisma. And uh -huh. so he could avoid danger and he could do all of this. However, he had a secret weapon. And the secret weapon was obtained in uh, the in a latter part of the campaign. Uh -huh. He went to a, uh, a locked off utopian city that had previously been undiscovered. And when he went to a store there, he was able to purchase an electric guitar. This electric guitar came with a unique ability that allowed him to become a gorilla. He was able to, in D and D terms, did he just swap evolve? his charisma stat for his strength stat. So he immediately converted his 20 charisma into 20 strength and was then able to roll 4d10 damage. Was this change permanent or was it temporary? Uh, it was perm. Uh, no, no, temporary. Two turns. Two turns of combat. Hmm. Well, it's not a main snap. It's not a. It's not a, a main. It's not a. Uh, I'm having a yeah, stroke. He it's not permanent, do so it don't that. matter. And so he has access to maximum strength, charisma, and dexterity, depending on the time. By the end of the campaign, Baba was fucking overpowered. Baba had so many tools. He also had a. He he had the ability to reset his mana so that he could use infinite spells at the beginning of a th like he had this ability called self flinging chimp, which meant that at the be which meant that he could use it which which meant that he was able at the beginning of each new combat encounter he could take his turn twice, and in that time he could also brace to regain his his mana, and so he was able to use all of that at once at the beginning, and he was able to do something like 8d10 damage plus 10 to everybody at the beginning of every single combat encounter. This monkey was absolutely jacked to shit, and I can't help but feel like he wouldn't have been able to do that were he a paladin. Hmm. Uh, he also would have been less funny because he was a complete piece of shit who was an alcoholic, and I feel like as though that's not a very paladin thing to do, personally. Unless you're an oath, you can't, technically you can't be if you're an oathbreaker. If you're an oathbreaker. I mean, could, you don't you need to oh, break any oaths to do that if you're a if you're a bard, you're if you're a bard, the law, you you're breaking the law, you're breaking something. play instruments the whole time, <laughs> you know. I feel like uh, Baba was kind of like you know those wind up monkeys who play like the 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 uh, symbols. Yeah, I feel like he I did. He did. The symbols were one of his weapons. One of his instruments were the symbols, and the symbols were, I believe, two uh, d four plus two damage. But if you land a successful hit, um, it temporarily makes the bard appear invisible to whoever gets hit by it. Yeah, I think a chat mentioned, but I think I, I think he had a very flexible DM. It sounds like he, he was very much rule of hmm. cool heavy. Yes, mm -hmm. but yeah, yeah. I that's, feel that's as a good though DM, that's, though. That's, that's that's always that's always more fun, I think. And he definitely made up a lot of his own rules, so it was definitely like a lot more fun to to kind of focus on that aspect of it rather than have yeah. a super serious DM yeah, campaign no, like, that also features a funny monkey. I'm not super into like uh like a uh, rule gremlin DMs very much. Like you no, know, the, the having the D and D lawyer is good, I guess, to keep people in line, but. I've had DMs that were like so keen on keeping the rules straight that they wouldn't let even like the slightest aberration of the rules happen. Mm, and it was kind of it's annoying. It's just like, come on, like just it's we're D &D. here to tell us. We're, we're not here to win. We're here to tell a story. And exactly. If, if someone someone suggests something that um, like makes the story more fun, why the fuck not? Let them do it. That's what. Mm -mm. It's, it's like I had a, a paladin named uh, Pierre. Uh, oh, oh, an ages and ages and ages ago, he died in battle, but um, the company kept his head, right? And so I whipped up a new character who was in the party, and um, his head was being kept in a glass jar. Sounds sus, but it's just a glass jar, um, and a, a large, a large glass jar. Uh, and so um, right. basically, uh, my DM was also very, very flexible, 
And so what happened was um, my entire party, I was the tank, right? Being the paladin. Mm -hmm. And so now that we didn't have a paladin anymore, they were so afraid of combat that what they did was um, uh, Pierre had such a psychotically high charisma and such crazy intimidation that just flashing his head was would be like scary enough to most people, right? And so um, my group wanted to uh, intimidate their way out of a hairy situation with a half orc. And so what they did was um, they wanted to become a lot bigger and scarier than they actually were. So they they they, pa they stacked on top of each other like five raccoons in a trench coat. And then on the head, as the head, they had a little pair of hands holding up Pierre's head. And there's like fucking meat puppeting him around to try to get out of there. It was the dumbest shit because I had to roll as a dead person at that point. And they were like, I, okay, so start rolling for your intimidation. I'm like, okay. So it was like, I think it was like, my my modifiers are so crazy. I think I rolled like a 10, an 11, and like a 19. They were so psycho that like, now there's like, I, we got art commissioned of this as well. Of just these mm. three characters in a trench coat, the single glass jar with a head on it. <laughs> and it's so stupid, but it that's worked. That's fucking fantastic. And that's a, that's a, like a paladin, though. You couldn't do, you couldn't do that, but you, well, actually, no, could he do that with a few in paladin? I don't know. He's just charisma based, but, but he, but I could do that because I was a dank paladin, though. That's my argument, you know? Mm hmm. Listen, I think what we're realizing here is that every single D&D class comes with a very unique set of tools. Uh -huh. And the last thing we should do is try to say that any D&D character is limited in what they're able to do to make a campaign fun and interesting. For my money, I had that experience with a bard because uh -huh. not only was the charisma stat, it, did, it enabled me to do a load of really fucked up shit outside of combat, but also I think role playing as a bard makes you into a really silly bastard. And I enjoyed that as well. So uh -huh. that's my vote, but... I can see Paladin as well. It is it, hmm. it is it is within within your purview, I suppose. To anyone who enjoys this kind of thing, sure. If you like hmm. Paladin, do Paladin. You're being too nice, Senpai. We need to argue some more. You're being too you're being too diplomatic. Listen, we need to be at listen, each other's throats. I, I understand. Here's the thing. I know I can't really argue with you because uh -huh. I understand that you are a really experienced D&D person. Whereas me, I've done one campaign where the rules were very different from traditional D&D. &D, uh -huh. Where essentially every weapon and ability was homebrewed and just made up to make it more fun. You know, and it was like... Oh, how much of it was homebrew? It felt like... Not a lot of it. Well, it's like some of it was, some of it wasn't. Like there was a lot of it that was taken from the rule book. But then, yeah, a lot of the bardic instruments and stuff, like... A lot of that was pure, like an electric guitar that turns you into a gorilla, and uh, <laughs> I love um, that though. viola that enables you to enter a controlled silly mode, which is what he called it. You know, like there's um, there's definitely a lot of unique original shit going on. Mm. What's that one movie called? Um, you know, you know the movie Freaky Friday? Oh yes. So um, uh, I once held a uh, one shot where basically it was a D and D version of the movie Freaky Friday, and it's a. <laughs> I had to write up an entire, like, uh, sheet for a fortune cookie that swaps people's bodies. I love that kind of shit. I love stupid homebrew content and stuff like that. I love when it's all just one big joke, to be honest. I don't take my game super serious. I don't think, like, most TMs don't take their game super serious, in my opinion. You know, I've, I've never met, like... I've only met, like, one or two super royal goblins. And honestly, they're kind of killjoys, TBH. Yeah... It's like, to me, <clears throat> my experience with D&D... And maybe you'll agree with me on this, is hmm. that D and D is like the adult version of playing imaginary games with your friends when you're in school. That's you basically know? what it is, yeah. Like like when you're a kid, when you're a really little kid and you go out with your friends and you start like role playing and making up all of these fun little games and you start like taking everything very seriously like like a, like you're playing with nerf guns or whatever it is D and D is the version of that that you get to do as an adult because it's more controlled and yeah. it sort of has like a central narrative and a point and so you don't feel like you're you know it takes less effort out of a person to believe that you are a D, &D character so you know I, I i i really i really love what it enables you to do and the yeah. way that I think that in a world where when you play a video game, a video game has to be coded with a very specific set of rules. Yeah, and like a path and everything. Playing a game that has absolutely zero, where you can do whatever you want. You can walk into a bar and say, hey, I walk up to the nearest person and I tell him that 
I tell him some bizarre conspiracy theory that could never possibly be true, but my charisma uh -huh. stat is high enough that it influences the events of the rest of the entire campaign. That is beautiful. And uh -huh. I think that's my favorite thing about D&D, just as a concept, it, of just how free it is and how free it makes the players and how free it lets them just do whatever they want you know oh yeah no it's like it's really cool because one of my um older dms um once made a system where our reputations mattered um because um it was his own like a uh, his own defense against murder hobo syndrome uh, because you know a lot of players tend to be you know murder hobo-y when they're for first timers oh and, yeah uh, me too me too yeah, yeah. and so like, nothing bad at that but he wanted us to make sure that we felt the consequences of being murder hobos and so um, what he did was he implemented a reputation system where if we cause too much of a ruckus and we cause too many issues, then people the next town over will hear about it and dislike us, right? And so like with mm -hmm. me, I became a cultist, right? A little robe enjoyer. And so what happened was um, every time we went to a new town, he wouldn't tell us how much the uh, next town over heard about us. We'd have to find out ourselves, right? And so we had to do like one or two days of sulking around, um, skulking around, excuse me, and investigation to gauge whether or not we are welcome there. And it's it was the craziest shit too, because some people were sneaky and stuff. It's like that kind of homebrew stuff, like the kind of wiggling with the rules just really makes it a lot more um, entertaining in my opinion. That's kind of what makes D&D &D so good, you know? Uh -uh. I agree. And my DM actually had a, a, the exact same thing. So uh, when we were doing, in our first session, I mentioned the whole thing about so the whole thing is that he convinced the store owner after selling him back his own thing that he stole. It was a very expensive health gem. Um, hmm. he, Baba's inspir in his backstory, Baba's inspiration is a character. Baba wants to be Baba the Bard, and he wants to be known as a Bard. Hmm. His idol is another monkey called Boodoo the Bard, who is a very tall, lanky chimpanzee who is extremely famous and very, very powerful, who was actually a boss later in the series. We all thought he was dead, but he came back in like some strange other form and he was like Father Gascoigne from Bloodborne or some shit. It was really cool. Uh -huh. But essentially, the store owner who, and this is really funny, the store owner, he wasn't called Wario, but he was just Wario. He turned to us and he was like, So, what's your name then, little one? And he and I immediately just had this stupid fucking idea and Baba just looks at him and he says, I am Boodoo the Bard. And I and, and the DM just put his head in his hands and he was like, Boodoo the Bard looks nothing like that. She ro fucking roll deception. And I rolled a natural fucking 20. And I was Ooh. like... And then he was like, well, go to the bar in my shop. Well, you can walk away with anything you want. Eh? You want a discount, of course. <laughs> and all of that kind of stuff. But the thing is, in this character did no this character wound up being a main fixture for the rest of the entire campaign. And prior to it starting, he did not exist. In the second session, we got a visit from Wario or the Wario character. His brother, who was like D and D fantasy version Waluigi, showed oh, up as like a hitman, and he mugged us in the street to say, "Don't you try messing with my brother like that." And it became like a, <laughs> and it became a whole thing that we were running from Waluigi from from Waluigi this whole time. Oh, and shit. so, like, and but then later on, there was this whole plot point that Waluigi got killed or like went missing, and then we found him somewhere else a while later, and he became like a main character. For a while, so yeah, it was pretty crazy, and that all happened because I decided to fuck with somebody. That's great. I love that. No, no, I had I had an instant a while, uh, an instance a while back. Um, have you ever played two E, or you only played five E? I I don't know what any of the additions mean. I don't know mm. what the difference. Is. Oh, well, if, if you're if you're new, if you only played one game, it's probably five E because five E is the one of the easiest ones to get into. It's I think really it was simple. five E. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I had a, I was in part of a campaign that was playing in two E. And 2E actually has like um, bulk and weight limits to your inventory. And so one of my players, so my DM was a friend of mine from uh, from college. And um, one of the players had a, uh, basically he was in, he was over encumbered. He had too much inventory weight on his uh, bag. And so he mm -hmm. recently came across a really, um, a really nifty ring that basically buffed a lot of his stats and he wanted to keep it. Um, but at this point, he already did like, um, he already, his, the DM was already really flexible in giving him a lot of like, you know, technically you shouldn't be holding this, but I'll let it slide. Or like, oh, technically your inventory's full, but this will do. And this one ring was like, okay, you know what? We're out of space. You can't put it anywhere. You can't, you can't fit anywhere. And so, uh, my, this player was so upset and wanted to keep it so much that like, he, he just like whispered to the DM like, hey, can we move to the VC like below us? And so the DM's like, oh, okay, sure. And they leave, leaves us alone. They're gone for like a couple of minutes, right? They come back up, 
And he's like, so, can I do it? My DM's like, <sighs> roll acrobatics. And so, uh, <laughs> and so he rolls acrobatics. He's like, will a 16 work? DM just kind of like, I can hear him just kind of like sighing into his hands like, <sighs> yeah, it fits. And so, since then, uh, afterwards, uh, because um, it's, it's, it's in his butthole. And at that point... Very nice. And I'm like, I'm like, at that point, I didn't ask him, like, why didn't you just put it on your hand? He's like, oh, I didn't think about that. <laughs> that's such, that's such a me thing to do. That's such a me thing to do. We just think about it and it's like, you know what? It's like, you know what? Before thinking about like, yeah, I could just hold this in my hand. It's like, I would very much like to try putting this in my hand. <laughs> And like the thing is like there was a while where he forgot it was in there like he just did it for shit forgot and so like every now and then if he, if he had to do like an acrobatics check or an athletics check the dm would remind him like by the way you feel it it's it's still there you've not removed it in three days just so you know <laughs> i hate it i hate it here my dm was way too chill with that it, it's it's disgusting i hate it <laughs> chill dms make the world go round that's they how do. i feel about it they do you should join my table i want to do D with you at some point that would be i would i would be very much down uh for that it just depends on what type of d of dm you are if you're the kind Ooh. of person who is okay with ridiculous shenanigans and allowing fun shit to happen then Ooh. i am all on board are you like uh do you appreciate combat or rp um all of it i mean as long as hmm. the combat is interesting like uh, the last thing i want to wind up in wind up in is a D, &D campaign where the combat is all right i hit him with my sword all right he takes the yeah, damage all right infinite he waves of goblins or right, something I yeah. like i want combat i want you to give us abilities that are at, like i mentioned the electric guitar that turns you into gorilla the viola that lets you enter mm -hmm, a controlled mm -hmm. silly mode like just give the characters so much power and let them figure out what the fuck they're doing with it you know, I think mm -hmm. that kind of thing can make it really, really interesting. So yeah, yeah. You know, as long as the combat is really wacky and interesting with planned encounters rather than just like a load of random mobs we have to just grind through. Then oh yeah, no, I, like, I hate yeah, those. I think it's combat like... can be combat can be really interesting in that way. But my favorite part of it is always the RP. But RP combat is fun, yeah, definitely. It's yeah, so especially like when you're like oh, having to deceive an NPC is the fun, most fun RP. I love that shit because like I also had a uh, I had a friend in the past was kind of like a rap like wanted to become like a rapper right like he was practicing like you know rapping and so he played a bard character so every time he used vicious mockery he'd do like a diss track on the uh on the enemy and it was the coolest shit ever he just improv right there that's great i love that i love it i love it um let's see um okay next one next one oh, we talked about that for a minute um, ba -ba -ba. there it is Okay, this one's gonna be... This one's gonna be... Hmm... Let's see... I don't want you to be please, diplomatic. Be, be less diplomatic, okay? Be less diplomatic. Okay? Be undi as undiplomatic as you want, okay? Oh, you have walked into my territory, you bastard. <laughs> okay, I'm a count of three, but your answer, okay? Okay. Okay. One, two, three. Horror. Comedy. Oh, wow. Okay, wow. Com whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. State your case. I'm actually really curious. State your case. State your case. Okay. Now, this is actually a bit of a subversion for me because mm -hmm. my favorite genre of film would most likely be drama or horror. But mm -hmm. here's the way I feel about comedy. Yes, it is so common for comedy films to be viewed as Judd Apatow rom-coms where it's simply shot and it's just characters telling jokes and then the movie is over. However, here's the thing. Hmm. Making an effective comedy that also functions as a dramatic and exciting film is one of the hardest things that a person can do. Writing an effective comedy that isn't just poopy, poopy shit toilet humor for an hour and a half is a really, really insane feat to have accomplished as a writer. And I think that good comedies make Hollywood go round. Really artistically hmm. driven comedies. This morning... Uh, I watched Birdman with uh, with my chat, and it is I would I would say okay, let's say dramedy, like drama comedy, because I think pure comedy uh, tends to err on the side of you know just pure silliness, and it can be fun. But uh -huh. when comedy is a uh, is a vehicle to push forward a dramatic and interesting story, that's when things get really interesting. So Birdman has some 
fucking hysterical comedy in it. I mean, it's just, there's so much shit going on all the time in Birdman. These characters are always interacting, they're always fighting, and every time they do, the lines are biting, hilarious, satirical, and funny as hell. And getting that to work while also giving all of these characters an arc that you can appreciate. And one thing I was saying about it is the fact that all of these characters are so hateable and have so many flaws, and yet you can't help but root for and love every single one of them. Another great... Huh. Uh, uh, speaking of horror, like which I completely agree, I love horror as well. Huh. The horror comedy is also such an interesting uh, have you genre. Seen, have you seen Tusk? I've seen Tusk. I mean... I feel like it'd be up your alley. It's all right. Tusk is... Really? It, it's all right. See, well, the thing I like about... It it, it's all right, but the thing about the thing about horror comedy is that a lot of the time what you run into is that I think let's take Zombieland for an example. Uh -huh. Zombieland is a really good comedy. It's not a good horror film. It's not scary. It's uh -uh. just the zombies are a fun it element. It has horror elements, like, but, yeah. But it's just funny. You know, that's the thing. I think that a lot of the time horror comedies are just comedies with gore. Like they they really aren't scary a lot of the time. Now, this hmm. thing, the thing is, a true horror comedy is... Have you seen The Lighthouse before? Yes, I love it! Mm -hmm. The Lighthouse is a perfect horror comedy because it is both scary and hilarious at the same time. Yeah. The way that you can have these characters <laughs> engaged in insane mm -hmm. arguments and alcohol-fueled fueled rage at every single moment and you're worried they're going to kill each other and there's all of this there's this mermaid who's screaming at them and you're worried what's real what's not and suddenly they wind up getting a little gay and having a drink and he's like no oh, i don't trust you at all and then they wind up just j dancing in circles and doing a little sea shanty and suddenly he's like i don't trust you and then they start fighting and then they hug and then they drink again and it's just pure chaos and you can't help but laugh at every single thing that happens but also never lose that feeling of unnerve uh, like just pure chaos it's it's insane and so for my money i think that i respect comedy the most as a genre, because comedic writing is so difficult to get right, mm -hmm. but I have to agree with you that horror is also a very difficult emotion to get right, because both comedy and horror can suffer from the same thing, where it's easy to make a cheap horror or comedy, yeah. but, the, but the best films out there are the really, really well-conceived horrors and the really well-conceived yeah. comedies. It's, it's hard to get right. Yeah. It's easy to get really shitty. It's easy, it's easy to pump out something really shitty really fast, but like it's hard to nail it right. But that being said for most genres, like, like, bro, I love, I love The Lighthouse. I think one of my friends has the Hark, um, uh, that, 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 yeah, that has the whole thing memorized. Our father, the sea king, rise from the depths, full foul in his fury. And I, I wish I could remember more than that. Uh, it's, it's so good. That was good. That was really good. So Willem Dafoe is, is, is a blessing. And that whole thing is just an argument over his cooking. And he's, and he's and he like, you're fond of me, too. lobster. And he's like, he's like, oh, don't be such an old bitch. Oh, you're, like, you're fond of me cooking. Say it. Say it. <laughs> don't have to say nothing. Say it, damn ye! And then at the end, he does this whole thing, damning him to the depths of hell for trying <laughs> no, to take no. his soul down to down to David like Jones' locker. Cooking. And he says... All right, have it your way. I like your cooking. And it's there's just something so <laughs> heartwarming and charming, even though the film itself is so disgusting and horrible. I don't know how you can make a person feel that many emotions, but the yeah. Lighthouse manages it. Lighthouse is kind of a, like, it's, it's, per I, I really, like, yeah, you're right. The Lighthouse is kind of like a perfect, like, combination of, like, it's, it's just ridiculous. The whole fucking movie is ridiculous. It's sheer chaos. I feel like I need to lie down after watching the movie, but like... It's, I, what, it's one of those oh. few perfect films where everything it sets out to do, it does with flying colors. Yeah, it's like, it's like, I have a hard time picking apart anything I don't like about it. You know, mm -hmm. I feel like everything just sounds it's so solid. I can't really nitpick it. And I, like, I'm, I'm good at being annoying and nitpicky, but like, I can't find a single flaw that I... The single thing that I do not like about The Lighthouse. It's, it's kind of like in my mind one of those perfect movies, you know? Honestly, me neither. Do you want to know another pet two movies that I feel the same way about? A bet. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Paddington. Paddington? Let me look that up. Paddington one and two. Have you ever seen the Have you seen the Paddington movies? No. They are so sweet. They are so sweet. I think that as like a perfect family. It's a little bear. It's the. Do you not know who Paddington is? There's Nick. There's Nick Cage in it, right? Okay, no. Nick Cage is not in it, but in the Nick Cage movie, in The Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent, Nick Cage... They, uh, Paddington is an important plot point, where the character in that film mentions... is like, what's your favorite movie, man? Paddington 2. 
what really and he's like paddington 2 is a perfect film and then later in it they sit down and they watch it and nicholas cage is crying he's like oh my god paddington 2 is a perfect movie and he's right what? so to give you a little my food is almost hey. here so i'll try to get through this as much as i can yeah, yeah. paddington is probably one of the most iconic characters in all of um british storytelling it began oh. in a um in a series of books from the 1950s and it's about a bear from peru who uh who is sort of like a shit my food set all right i'll be, I'll be back but then i'm gonna okay. tell you all about paddington okay, so okay. i'll be back in a sec in the meantime i'll tell chad a quick spiel so Hey, look at his silly feet! <laughs> look at his silly feet! Look at him! He wears no socks! Look at him! He is sockless! Look at him go! Look at him go! <laughs> oh, he just... He just look, look at this... Look at this goob! Look at this goober! Hold on... <laughs> Hold on. I messed him a little bit. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? <laughs> look at him go! Look at him go! <laughs> look at him go! Look at him go! Don't, 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 guys, don't tell him I said that. Don't tell him I did that, okay? Just, just... Let me, let me just turn him this way. Here, you can't see him anymore. Okay, he's good, he's good. He's just taking a nap. Taking a nap in the dirt. Permanently. But... Like, listen here. I love horror flicks. I love scary movies. And, um, one of my favorites is, um... Okay, so, like, I love J-horror because... I love Western horror, don't get me wrong. The Thing is one of my favorite movies. John Carpenter's 1982 film, The Thing. One of the most based, one of the coolest movies, the best visual effects, mostly practical, mind you. I think it's all practical. It's it's fucking based. It's so good. So, what I like about that is I love how like it's in your face, it's loud, it doesn't hide the fact that it's like this is scary as shit, it's gross, it's wild. But consider this the subtle horror of Juwan the Grudge. That movie has little to no music in it. All the shots are done wide, like wide shots. So it feels empty, right? It feels like you're, something's watching you from far away, right? And the simple ghost design, just, just a girl with long hair and pale skin. That's it. Right? And so, what's so great about Jew on the Grudge is that it's so like, it's like the difference between J-horror and like Western horror is that J-horror goes for like the buildup of the fear and like the, this holding your balls just by like, just in the tension, right? Whereas, um, Western horror tends to lean more and less into subtlety and more into, like, here is something absolutely insane looking, right? And so, like, it's it's really amazing. I think, like, easily. It's just... Also, horror movies, like, for example, I think, um... Um... I think Juwan... And... I think The Babadook as well. And... A couple of others. Yeah. It's a... You know a movie is successful? When... You finish watching and it sticks to you for a while. Right? It clings to you. And so like, I'm a full grown adult. If you tell me to watch Juan alone, I will be checking with my shoulder for a few days. You know? A good movie makes you feel a certain kind of way for a while after you finished it. Right? And so like, what what I love about um, Juan the Grudge is that it, it followed me for days. Like as a kid, it messed me up. It messed me up. Okay, with that being said, E.T. E.T. also must be up as a kid, but like, The Grudge is so good. And mind you, I'll be completely honest, I like the American remake too. The American remake was pretty good. I have nothing against it. I thought it was pretty solid, right? Yeah, and then the original Exorcist, great movie. Like, a movie that was plagued with a bunch of issues with the set and with the cast and that sort of thing. It was absolutely insane looking into the behind the scenes um, info about that. Absolutely crazy, but... Gosh, I, I, I love this kind of stuff, man. I love horror. I love the makeup that goes into it. For example, do you guys have you guys heard of a guy named Javier Botet? Botet, excuse me? Javier Botet, if you look, if you've seen Crimson Peak, if you've seen Mama, if you've seen Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark, if you've seen Wreck, the monster behind most of the famous monsters, the guy behind the famous monsters is Javier Botet. A very famous creature actor who has Marfan syndrome, which makes him very tall and lanky and very flexible and very bony, right? And so he's an A1 creature actor. A1 creature actor. And he is a blessing. You got so many cool creature actors and like contor contortionists make some really good creature actors as well. And additionally, the makeup! When you have physical effects, even you have like practical effects in um, horror movies, it's always a good time. It's always a good time, okay? Like, like, have you guys seen The Descent? Have you seen... No, 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 not The Descent. Um, 
Which one's the one about the caves? Um, uh, shoot about the caves. Uh, not not the catacombs. That no, is it? No, it is the descent. Yeah, I'm thinking of as above, so below. But the descent. Uh, I'm is fucking a base back. Movie. Hello, welcome back. I'm talking about scary movies. What are you talking oh. about? Scary movies. I didn't hear you. What are you talking about? Uh, uh horror movies. Horror movie? Which horror yeah. movie are you talking about? Um, well, I just got through talking about Javier Botet. He's like a creature actor for a lot of like, um, mm. adult horror films. Um, I was talking... Oh, nice. Yeah. I was talking about Wreck. I was talking about, um, Jew on the Grudge. Um, The Thing, 1982, jumped by John Carpenter. Um, I was just talking about The, uh, the Descent. Um... Because the descent, what's really cool is like, that's practical makeup, guys. The monsters in the descent are all practical. These are people in suits, right? Apparently, mm -hmm. the makeup effects took up like between six to ten hours to apply. And so, like, there's God a lot. There's, there's a lot of footage of the creature actors from the descent just kind of like having a smoke out back while the other people are getting ready. There's a bunch <laughs> of like, there's like pale, bald fucks having a smoke in broad daylight. <laughs> These little like goblin dudes. And like, bro, I love horror films. It's, it, I, I cannot express, like I was telling chat earlier, like an effective horror film makes you feel a certain kind of way days after you've watched it, right? It's like, mm. I'll be checking over my shoulder, I'll feel even somber. I think like, after I watched The Babadook, I was in this weird contemplative state for days afterwards, you know? The Babadook's a really good I love movie. The films that stick with you. Mm -hmm. They just, they hit you in a different way. And I, I feel as though horror does that a lot of the time more than yeah. anything. Mm -mm. Um, I saw, what was it? Um, the color out of space. Yes, recently, so good. It's, I, it's so, I, I love really cosmic enjoyed. horror. I, I love cosmic horror. Of, it's that, like the lighthouse, that constantly mounting sense of tension mm -hmm. and chaos mm -hmm. that just per permeates the entire thing. And I felt so just hit by the whole thing. And it was so Lovecraft. I mean, I know it's based on a oh, Lovecraft yeah. story, but like yeah. the way it's told is so Lovecraft as well. It is. I've seen Mandy. Um, uh, say again? Have you seen Mandy? I've not seen I, Mandy's. Oh, you Lord need to watch well. it. It's 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 balls to the wall, fucking crazy. It's is it's just sheer chaos. It's so good. Also, I've been I really love loving Nick Cage, Cage lately. I love Nick Cage. Yeah, I've, I've been loving Nick Cage lately. <laughs> He's been shining a lot. He's also in that kind of like that animatronic movie. I forgot what it's called. Willy's um, Wonderland. Yeah, Willy's Wonderland. I've I've only seen bits of it. I haven't seen the full movie yet. Twice, like it's on Netflix still, right? I can I can look it up. But no, it, it's like, hello. Sorry, cars in the background. Um, now I can go on forever. I love, like, um, I love just horror films. That's why, like, okay, with practical effects, that's why I think what makes the thing so successful is the fact that it is mostly, if not all, practical. In addition, it's like, it's, it's, the thing is so well written. You don't even know what the ending is. It's great. It leaves you thinking, right? And, like, that one scene where that one guy who's fully having his thing moment and, like, his hands are going kind of crazy, he's kneeling in the snow waiting for the, the um, good guys to torch him alive. He opens his mouth and does that scream. Bro, that sound. That sound haunted me for days. It was so good. Mm. Mm. Yeah, and like that scene from oh shoot, was it was it Pulse? Uh it was like I think it was like um an, another like Asian horror film. This lady is climbing up a, a set of ladders, right? And the ghost is chasing. She looks up, the ghost is right there in her face. That freaked me the fuck out. That like eh, Bro, the, uh, I love scary movies. I love horror. Do you like uh, what kind of horror flicks do you like, Lox? Is he dead? I really oh. enjoy um, sort of more atmospheric horror movies. I like mm. the ones that, well, like the, let's take The Shining for example. It's not a thrill ride mm -mm. that you'll sort of like be like ah 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 the entire thing, and then oh. you walk out being like, man, that was so scary. The Shining is the kind of movie that you walk out being like. Ugh. And then it will like be the kind of thing that you doesn't really scare you that much while you're watching it. It'll just sort of freak you out, and then you'll be in bed that night, and you'll just be like, "Oh shit!" Also, my beer is here. I'm gonna be back in like literally five minutes. I'm okay. so sorry I'm doing this so often. No worries, no worries. Yeah, but oh my god, it's oh wait, wait, wait. We'll, we'll just leave him there. Let's we'll, we'll leave him catatonic. Okay, that's okay. We can just leave him catatonic. Okay. If I, I wish I had a mustache acid, I can put on him or something. But <laughs> but no, Annihilation. Oh, Annihilation is so good. It's like that. Oh, that it's it's a good movie. It's a good movie. I think um. I think recently, I've really been into, like, um... I watched, uh, The Birds recently. Yeah. Um, it's like... What I like about the older, kind of like, not actually old-timey, but older films, is that, like, the lack of music in a lot of scenes. Like, there's this one scene where this lady, the main character, is going up a flight of stairs into an attic area, shines a light, it's completely quiet. And as you see a bunch of birds ca uh, gathered up there, there's no sound. Just the flapping of the birds' wings. And that was frightening. 
That was terrifying. It was so good, though. Yeah, it's like a good old Hitchcock film. It's, it's really nice. Mm -mm. I think, um... I also really enjoyed, um... Let me see. I think I saw someone mention it earlier just now. What is it? It's a movie that I, I really enjoyed. Um... I saw it scroll by earlier. I saw it scroll by earlier. Let me try to find it. I've yet to see Nope. I've I heard Nope is really good. I've not seen it yet. Mm -mm -mm. I've yet to see it. Mm, let's see. I really like Tetsuo the Iron Man. I've seen it. It's Psycho. A lot of like, it's like a lot of these kind of like movies are kind of like, hmm, wild. They're they're a little wild. Oh, also, I think um. Let's see, what, what? Okay, so Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I have some mixed feelings on it. I will not deny it. it's like a trailblazer. It really set up a lot of, uh... uh I think it was, it's a product of its times. It's definitely the product of its times. I'm not a big fan of slasher flicks, to be honest. I don't really care for slashers. Um, I like more psychological or like kind of slow burn type of horror. Um, but Texas Chainsaw Massacre, I think it, it has its place. I, I appreciate the setup. I, I appreciate the set. Um, it's iconic, sure, but I'm not super into it. Oh, Evil Dead? Oh! The original Evil... Guys, the remake! Have you guys seen the remake? I think... What, what year was it? Was it? What year was it? Okay, uh... Um, Evil... Dead... Remake... 2013! Yeah, 2013. Guys. The Evil Dead remake... Was so... Good. Did you guys see it? It's so good! It's genuinely horrifying. When it's like... The original Evil Dead was kind of a mix of like, dark comedy and horror. Cause like... Ash is fully, like, you know, a weird fucking character. Everything in the movie is pretty fucking weird. But Evil Dead is there to scare the shit out of you. That scene where she pops out of the attic and she's yelling at them and has that weird look in her eye, I'm like, bro, that messed me up. That was good. And, like, it's also just, like, it's also the most, like, Western, the most American looking, um, horror flick. The end where she gets chainsawed in half. I'm like, bro, that's, like, this is. It's like, it's crossed fully into just gore, less like, bloodbath territory. It's like, it has its moments of being shit yourself scary, and also just the balance of just, you know, just gore. But I think that's kind of a, the early 2010s kind of thing. I think everyone was doing it at the time. But it was great. I loved it. Evil Dead, the remake was good. I loved the original as well. It was great. It was fantastic. Oh, and thank you for the supers, everyone. I'll read them at the end of the stream. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, yeah. And so, um, what else? Um, Scream? I like Scream to a certain extent. Mm-mm. -mm. Lake Mungo! Lake Mungo is amazing! Oh my god, the writing! The story! I'm not gonna tell you anything about it, because I want you guys to go see it. You need to see Lake Mungo. It is so good. Lake Mungo, it's like... It messes with you big time. It messes with you big time. I also saw uh, the Poughkeepsie tapes a while back. Yeah, the Poughkeepsie tapes are also wild. Absolutely bonkers. It's like, Lake Mungo and Poughkeepsie tapes are both in the kind of same vein as like, kind of like these mindfucky films. Yeah. It's like, you have to re-watch it to fully understand the stuff that's happening in the background. It's so good. Please, I'm not gonna say too much about the story because I want you to go see it. Please, go see Le Lake Mungo and Poughkeepsie tapes. You have to see it. It's that good. Mm-mm-mm. -mm. It's, it's amazing. Ugh. Like zombie films? Um, not too much. Zombie films are okay. I, I don't really care for, like... I mean, blood and gore are cool, I guess, but eh, I don't really care for like Shaun of the Dead is pretty fun, um, but I usually don't, really don't care for uh, uh, zombie flicks. The Mist, the Mist, the Mist, bro. What year was that? The Mist. I, I think there's like a, there's also like a mini series, I think. Um, but The Mist, 2007, I think. Yeah, 2007. The Mist was really good. I, okay. It reeks of late 2000s cheese and late 2000s CG, but it was good. Like that scene where, um, like they, they go to the house looking for supplies and stuff, and those guys are stuck against the walls in these giant spider webs. And, and the one of the guys, you can see like his chest and his skin like squirming and like moving around, like they have like, like, like bugs inside them. He falls over, his back fucking explodes, and baby spiders come out of his back. That's insane! That... It, it was terrifying! It was so psycho! I love it! It was so good! The monsters... The, like, the Lovecraftian level of the monsters... At the very end, that giant monster who's so, so big and has all the tentacles... It's so good! And then, what's that lady's name? She kind of reminds me of, like, um... Of, uh, what's her face? Um... That one bitch no one likes from Harry Potter. What's her name again? Uh... 
uh, Dolores Umbridge. Yeah, that that Dolores Umbridge looking ass bitch from the uh, from the supermarket. I love her. Like, way to make me hate a character that fast. Make me hate a character that fast. That is impressive. That's good. It's just all around. I think like, this has its flaws. Don't get me wrong. It has lots of flaws. It has a lot of flaws. Don't get me wrong. But overall, a fantastic movie experience. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I thought it was great. I rewatch it pretty fucking often. I, I think it's a genuinely a good movie. Oh, Train to Busan? Okay, so I'll be honest. Uh, Train to Busan, I think it's a good movie. I think it's a... And like a cool social commentary. Um, the acting's good. I'll be honest, I'm, I'm there for Gong Yu. <laughs> listen here, listen here. Gong Yu owns my soul. Uh... It's like... Okay, it's... Okay, okay, okay. Gong Yu is kind of like... You know, perfect. <laughs> So, like, I, I don't want to be like, you know, I want to be like, oh, Gong Yu, but I'm going like, oh, Gong Yu. Um, he is beautiful. And I kind of have a crush on him. So, like, Gong Yu, I know you're not watching, but one day, hit me up, you know? <laughs> oh, I feel the alcohol hitting me. Like, in the last few sentences, a wave of like, my tummy got all warm. And I was like, bro, I think it's happening. I, I think it's happening. So, uh, Gong Yu is beautiful. Okay. I remember when I saw him when I was watching Squid Game, I was like, Oh! Hello, hello, good sir. <laughs> hello. <laughs> How you been? <laughs> you been good? <laughs> you been even good? <laughs> been a minute since I seen you in Train to Busan. <laughs> hey, <laughs> you're amazing. <laughs> you're pretty cute. <laughs> hey, you're pretty cute. Makes one to bully you a little. <laughs> you know, you can bully me if you want, Gong Yu. <laughs> go, go for it, you know? <laughs> You can bully me if you like. <laughs> I'd be cool with that. You're, you're allowed to bully me, Gong Yu. You, 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 I'm sorry, I, I'm gonna shut up now. <laughs> I just, okay, listen here. Let's, okay, sorry. We're, let's move on. Let's change topics from Gong Yu, okay? Let, let's, 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 let's change topic from Gong Yu. Okay. <laughs> What other movies do I like? What other horror flicks? Okay, I'll be honest. E.T. messed me up as a kid. E.T. is a freaky movie. Like that one scene where... E.T.'s in that ditch, pale and dying. That messed me up as a kid. Yeah, I used to have nightmares about E.T. So like... Yeah, it, it, hmm. I cannot be the only one. It's like... E.T. is kind of freaky freaky, okay? It, it kind of freaky freaky freaky. I'm not, I'm not about it. Let me Vox come back. He's still there. Look, I, let me just shake him a little bit. Look, he, he's there. Don't worry about it. He's, yeah, there he is. You know, he'll wake up eventually. Just come on. Wakey, wakey. Wakey, wakey. Wakey, wakey. Uh, he'll come back eventually. It's okay. It's a uh, Malord will come back eventually. <laughs> perfect Blue. Ooh, Perfect Blue is based. Yeah, Perfect Blue is also pretty based. I love me. Like, I love like the kind of movies where you can watch it. Like, you have to replay it to understand certain things. It's good. It's, it's really good. Mm hmm, mm hmm. He's not dead. He's comatose. It's different. Yeah, yeah. Us off camera watching Aya dork out. No, 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 no. He's not here. No, no, no. And besides, even Vox Senpai knows I'm not a dork. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I'm just cultured. It's different. It's different. Okay. It's different. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Also, I was when we were getting set up early. I was like, Vox Senpai, I forgot that you're so pale. <laughs> Look at him! Look how pale he is! I guess being undead does that to you, huh? Look at him! He's pasty. He's really pasty. Mm -hmm. He's comatose. It's okay. He's just comatose a little bit. Did the beer start kicking in? Um, I'm like two white claws in and through a portion of my soju. I'm, I'm a little, uh... A little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. What about you guys? What kind of horror films did you uh, freak you out as a kid? I think um, there was this one movie um, called Small Soldiers a while back. It was like about... Imagine Toy Story, but a little bit darker in live action. Um, Small Soldiers kind of messed me up as a kid. I think like that scene where they resurrect Barbies and make them into little killing machines kind of messed me up a little bit. Uh, yeah. It messed me up a little bit. I like it now, but like, the small soldiers did scar me as a child. So, uh, there's that. 
<laughs> I mean, it's a good movie, don't get me wrong. Small Soldiers is a great movie, but like, did it freak me out? Yes. Absolutely, it did. Yes. The Dark Crystal! I love the Dark Crystal. I love the Dark Crystal. I watched the original film. I've seen the Netflix series. Bro. The Dark Crystal is really good. Please watch it. It... Guys, in this series, the Hunter Skeksis is so cool. And it's like, it's, it's, it's like, let me give you my best, my best, um, uh, uh, Chamberlain, um, uh, impression. Oh. 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 I love that movie. It's so good. That, that one scene, the dining room scene, where, like, um, all the Skeksis are, like, gathered around the, um, table eating, like, really gross and stuff. That's a cool scene. It's like, look, it's like a, a couple of minutes of unbroken, just Skeksis being gross, right? It's so good. I love it. It's a, yeah, it, it, it's, ugh, I love it. Pan's Labyrinth. Oh, you mean the, um, the pale man? The guy had the, the eye, the hand eyes? Yeah. Oh man, it was so good. Pan's Labyrinth is based. It is. I remember once, um, one of my nieces was, uh, looking at the, uh, I don't my wait, no 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 I think my niece saw like the um the co the cover of the movie on uh, I think I think it was it Netflix and decided to watch it and so I didn't notice that she was watching because it, it was like it was like a family gathering I was off doing other things and I came back to um, the room that she was in she's watching Pan's Labyrinth she's like six and I was like uh oh and so I was like oh but, 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 what are you watching and she's like oh I wanted to watch like the Alice in Wonderland movie I'm like. Oh, shoot. She might have mistaken it for, like, an Alice in Wonderland kind of live-action thing. But little did she realize, Pan's Labyrinth is kind of dark. It's, like, really... It's... it's It has its moments of, like, violence and stuff like that. It can be kind of dark. It's... There's that scene with the Pale Man. I don't remember where I, what she left off. I think she just barely started it. But, like... Bro, it... it, it. Kids are stupid. Girl, don't, don't, don't... Look at the rating. It's, like, rated R. <laughs> You know, I think uh, I think someone just left their Netflix logged in and she started watching it. But like, Pan's Labyrinth is not for kiddos. That that scene with the pale man will mess you up. It will mess you up. It will take it will take your spine and snap you clean in half. Okay, it will it will mess you mess you the hell up. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Wait one second. Yeah, uh, Vox Senpai is, ha um, is uh, a little bit busy. He'll be a couple minutes. Yeah, no worries, no worries. Yeah, Caroline is good too. I think no, Coraline. Excuse me, Coraline. Uh, Coraline's a good movie. I think was it Studio Studio Leica did Coraline, right? Yeah, Studio Studio Leica. Studio Leica also did a uh, Kubo in the two, three, two, three strings, three strings, three. I think. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's like, oh man, I I I adore it. I adore. I Studio Leica has some really good animation. I love stop motion. It's one of my favorite uh, kind of mediums. Mm. It's really really good. If you haven't seen Coraline, watch it. It's 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 it was scarier than I was expecting because I don't know. I think people are under the impression that because it's stop motion, because it's a quote unquote kids medium, people don't expect it to be scary. But Coraline was just kind of scary here and there. <laughs> it was a little bit scary. Uh, let me um let me put a little thingy on. Boop, boop, boop. Have y'all seen any of the Studio Leica films? I personally adore adore them. They're they're great. Mm. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Kuba. In the, is it the two strings? Oh, two strings. Okay, okay, two strings. Yeah, yeah. Can I make them fit, like, over his eyes at glasses? Hold on. They, they look like glasses now. They look like glasses. There it is. There, let me... Hold on, let me outline it. Let me outline it. I named this, uh, this source, uh, Dej. Dej.jpg. Dej.com. Uh, where's the outline thingy? Hello? Outline? Uh, let's set it to... Oopsies. Uh, let's do this. And then let's set the color to... Huh? 
up here, select so color, let's make it black. Okay, and then we can... Okay! There you go, BRB! <laughs> oh no! Uh, I, it seems my lord would like to uh, return to the afterlife, I suppose. <laughs> it does look like glasses though, it does look like glasses. The dorf dorkification of Vox has begun. Let me see, hold on, can I... I didn't do anything else. Let's see. What can I, what can I put on him? Let's see. What can I do? What can I do? Uh, let's put some... Do I have any fun assets I can put on him? Let's see. Oh! <gasps> I can turn him to a Discord mod! Okay. Milady? Milady? Like this? <laughs> okay, like this. There you go. Milady? Okay, and then let's add another accessory. Let's add another accessory. Mm, I want to put some more stuff on him. Mm. Let's see. Let's put... Mm -hmm -hmm. I don't have that many on me, to be honest. Uh, let's see. Let's put... Look, I can put it in my hoodie. Yeah, I can put it in my hoodie. Oh no, it's huge. It's huge. Hold on, that's what she said. Hold on, let me, let me. No. Okay, okay, okay. Put in here, like this, like like that, right? You gotta, you gotta enlarge it a little bit, and then I need to uh, put it behind uh, here. Uh oh! Well, that's as good as we're gonna get it, okay? There we go! Look at him, he's all dressed up! We, we, it's, it's like, it's like... We're playing a dress-up game with Vox Senpai. There it is. There we go. Look how, look how, look how cute. It's cute, let's go, let's go. There we go. Nice, nice. And I'm actually gonna... Stop sharing my screen with him, so when he comes back, he's gonna be confused. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, um, uh, the the hood is from the chonkiest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, Vox Senpai is really cool. He's been helping. Uh, he's been helping us a lot. It's like uh, Aluna. I think Aluna got a lot of help from the Senpais. It is really great, and Vox Senpai helped with quite a bit. Mm. She shared a lot of good knowledge. He's quite like good with technology and stuff. So he's answered a lot of my dumb questions. Mm. I'm technologically impaired, so yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's like, I, I'd love to have Vox Senpai. I think he's he said he was interested in my campaigns a while back, so I think I might have him again. I mean, have him uh, at some point. Um, but like... That ring story is cursed, okay? The, the entire camp... For several... For several sessions, that player forgot there's a ring in his butt. And I, I remember thinking to myself, I'm like, okay, well, is there a reason why he can't wear it? I asked the DM. I'm like, did you tell me he can't wear it? And the DM's like, no, he can wear it. He just forgot that you can. It's been in his butt for the past three sessions. He just casually forgot! He just casually forgot that he can put on the damn ring. And so he just put in his butt and forgot about it. I mean, I mean, like... Sure. It wasn't his pee-pee, no! He didn't put it... It's, it's too small for the pee-pee. It's a normal, like, hand ring. He didn't, can you fit a pee-pee through it? I don't think it's physically possible. Can... I don't think you can. I think it's... It was in another orifice, not around a pee, pee Right? I don't think it'd fit. Right? It wouldn't fit. It fits in his... ...bathole, but not the papi. Yeah. What do you mean anything is possible? Okay, no, 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 that's gross. No, 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 no. It, it can't. It can't... No, no, it's, it's, like it's a normal human-sized ring. You can't, like, put a finger ring around your pee, -pee. Like, you, you... Can't you, like, cut off circulation or something? Can it even fit? Yeah, I don't think so. And like... I feel like your... Your pee-pee would like... Like... I think the, the, the lack of circulation would like... Uh, like necrosis might occur. And like, I feel like it'd just fall off at that point, right? Wouldn't it? No, no, no. When I said that it fits, I meant it went in his bathole. Not in his... Not in his... Around his pepe. It's different, okay? Yeah, it's... Like, yeah, I mean... I don't know! <laughs> this is cursed. I mean, I, no one clipped this. This is disgusting. 
Oh no, oh no, oh no. Actually, while we wait, let's do the pull while we wait. Sure, let's do that. <laughs> look at, look at, look at Vox Senpai. Look how cozy he is. Look how nice and cozy. He's very cozy there. Actually, I'm actually quite curious. Okay, so like... like I, okay, so me and my... Uh, me and some of my friends argue all the time. That like, which one's better? Like, J-horror or like, Western horror? I'm like, you can't compare the two. They're both good, you know? Sometimes I want balls to the wall crazy. Like with Western horror. And sometimes I want a slow burn. With J-horror, okay? Sometimes I just want that. It's apples and oranges. So remember, uh, Vox Senpai... Uh, voted for comedy, and I voted for you know, for for horror. The problem is, he's too diplomatic. With Mika Senpai, we could scream at each other, but Vox is too sweet. He's too nice. That's the issue, okay? He's much too nice. That's the issue. Actually, while he's here, since he's since, since he's still still not back, don't tell him I said this. Don't tell him I said this. But like, I was initially quite intimidated by Vox Senpai. It's like uh. Like, a lot of senpais, I respect all my senpais, of course, but, like, I'm intimidated by a few of them. I think Fox Senpai is one of them. And so, like, imagine my surprise when he's just a fucking goofball in VC. So, like, he, he's, he's one of the sweetest people. I think, Kindred, you, you have good taste. I think Vox is a really sweet person. He really, he genuinely is. Always willing to help out, always willing to listen and that sort of thing when he's available. Like, um, no, don't... Like, you guys, you got a good Oshi, you got good taste. He's a really sweet person, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Don't tell him I said that. Don't tell him I said that, okay? <laughs> and he was being... Like, I was being a little unreasonable with the collab, too. Like, uh... Um, we both agreed to do the collab, but I, I changed the time, like, four times. Because I kept ha having scheduling issues. But, of course, Vox Senpai being absolutely... An absolute... Like, absolute Chad was so, like... Flexible and willing to change some stuff around. Oh! And he also has an original song coming up. No, a cover coming up, right? I saw the trailer. It looks pretty dope. Yeah, make sure you give that a watch, but I, I probably don't have to tell you twice, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I probably don't have to tell y'all twice, but like... Uh, do do uh, give his um, his first cover a watch. I'm, it's gonna be based, I know it. It's gonna be real good. The production value already! Bro, just the trailer? Bro, I, I'm working on cover too, and I'm like, oh shit. Um, bro, the production value, dude. The production value is insane. I can tell it's gonna be absolutely wild. I'd love to see him cover, like, a country song. Wouldn't that be funny? <laughs> yeah, y'all excited? I'm really excited. This Friday? I'm, I'm lit. It's gonna be great. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. How long has he been gone now? Uh... A while! <laughs> yeah, yeah, but, um... No, he's just, uh, there's some stuff, he's, uh, came across a, minute, a little hiccup, that's all. He'll, he'll be back, he'll be back, don't worry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no worries. No worries. Not a thing. Has every little thing. It's gonna be alright. Yeah, no worries, no worries, it'll be just fine. It'll be daijoubu. Daijoubu. Like Synthwave? I unironically like Vaporwave. I unironically listen to Vaporwave. I like it quite a bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I listen to a lot of home. Yeah, I listen to a lot of home. Uh, Lo-fi is nice too. I also like... I unironically enjoy mumble rap to some degree as well. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I like Vaporwave. It's like the, the aesthetic is fun too. Like the, the 90s... The 90s disposable cups. That too. Yeah, yeah. I, I should probably switch back to another screen, but I don't want to... But Vox and Pyro lose all of its accessories, though. Let me just turn down the music in the background. Here, let's turn it down a little smidgen. Here you go. <laughs> if I'm doing cover, what would it be? Inga, a a or JP? Um... I don't want to give too many spoilers away, okay? I've been keeping it a secret from the I admirers for a while now, so I'm not going to drop too many... Oh, I guess I can say it. It's a, it's a Japanese. It's, it's in Japanese. Um... So luckily I have a, a relative who is fluent helping me out with my pronunciation. But, you know, um, that's all the hints you're getting. No, no more, okay? It has to be a secret. It's gonna be a surprise. I wanna surprise you guys, okay? Mm -hmm. I've been keeping it a secret from the eye admirers, and I wanna keep it a secret from uh, the kindred as well, just in case. You never know. I don't, I don't want no snitches up in here, okay? No snitches, no snitches, okay? You know what happens to snitches? 
<laughs> yeah, but also, uh, hi, I didn't uh, properly greet you guys. Hi! I'm Ayamari. <laughs> and Jug made it from, uh, from Iniji Sanji Ian's, uh, Sixth Wave. Iluna, nice to meet you. I think, um, this is my first time meeting a lot of Kindred, so hello! Hi, Kindred! <laughs> Welcome to my channel, thanks for swinging by. I admire be on your best behavior, we have guests. <laughs> hello, hello. <laughs> Nice to meet you, nice to meet you, nice to meet you. Thank you for having patience with me. Thanks for letting me collab with your Oshi. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little... Uh, okay, I expected me and uh, Fox and Pi to butt heads more often, but he's too diplomatic. He's too nice. With Mika Senpai, we could be vicious with each other, but I feel like Vox Senpai is too friendly. That's the issue. <laughs> you know, for a demon, he's awfully kind. Hmm. Strange. Most abnormal behavior. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> He's very sweet. He's very sweet. Too nice, she said. Listen, Raymond senpai Listen, Raymond senpai He's j he's quite sweet. He's quite nice. <laughs> Raymond senpai do you want to hop in, uh, uh, VC, uh, uh, while we wait for Vox senpai <laughs> He's, uh, he's, t he's out right now. He's taking care of something. If you want to hop in, feel free to. No, yeah, Vox Senpai is really sweet. Well, at least I think so. I, I, well, I think so, TBH. I might be on base for saying so, but I, I think I think he is. <laughs> oh, oh, shit, come on. Oh no, the comments are flying by too fast. I can't read. Rainbow Senpai, the issue is I don't know how to read. This is where the issue begins and ends. Well, let me find. Let me find. What did she say? What did she say? What'd she say? Oh no, I might have lost her. Oh no, Senpai, what was that? Uh, feel free to step in if you'd like. Feel free to hop on in. Let me see. Oh, uh, uh. Let's see. It's your guys' collab, you element. But he disappeared! <laughs> He's taking care of something! Feel free to hop feel free to hop in if you want, Senpai. I'm just I'm just stalling until he gets back. <laughs> It's you guys' club. Feel free to hop in if you'd like, Senpai. Feel free to hop in. We're waiting for him right now. Mm -hmm. Look, I have Makozi! I gave him some BRB glasses, a, um, a Malord hat, and I lent him a, a little I admire hood. Yes, yes. Good riddance! <laughs> Senpai! <laughs> have fun with him. I'm gonna go watch a movie. Okay! Have fun. Enjoy your movies! <laughs> oh, some knuckle cracking ASMR. Oh, my ankles, too. I need a break from him at least once a week, please. <laughs> That's fair. Duly, duly noted, Senpai. Duly noted. Thank you, good luck with the clap. Thank you for dropping by, Raymond Senpai. Thank you, thank you. Have fun with your movies. Enjoy, enjoy. Yeah, yeah. Have you tried Iron Lung? Oh, yeah. Sem um, Vox Senpai was asking about this earlier in, uh, in, the, uh, in the Discord. He was like, they were asking for like one and done kind of like um, oh, horror games. And he says playing Iron Lung. I was like, Iron Lung based! I have not finished it. I played it during my debut week. And I couldn't finish it. Listen, I have I have the lassophobia. Your boy has the lassophobia. So so playing games like like Iron Lung messes me up a little bit. <laughs> it's Iron Lung's good though. It's it's a great game. Again, like I think an extension to like what I said about movies, um good games make you feel a certain kind of way for a while. You know? They make you feel like a certain kind of way. And Iron Lung had me I'm not even remotely near the ocean, and it had me paranoid for some reason. Like, that's messed up. That's good, though. A, mo a game that makes you feel that kind of way, that's good. The Lassophobia? Oh, yeah, the Lassophobia is the fear of deep water. Like, where you can't see the bottom. Yeah. It's not just, like, just water. Like, usually a pool is okay. Most pools are okay for people with, with Lassophobia. But, like, deep water? Or, like, the ocean? I will never play Subnautica for this reason. For this reason, I will never play it. Never. Yeah, the sound design in uh in uh Iron Lung is really really good. Yeah yeah. Mm -mm. Yeah, it's like the the deep sea, the deep sea. Excuse me. Excuse me. Mm hmm. Yeah. It's like, bro, just keep swimming. I, I can't. I, I cannot. I the ocean's not for me. I mean, it's cool if I'm like on a boat. Like a big ass boat. I can probably ignore it, but like I don't wanna be in the water when it happens, you know? I can't see the bottom. 
I don't know what Lovecraftian horrors await. I don't want to find out, quite frankly. So, no, it's it's not quite for me. Yeah, open water is really scary for a lot of people. Okay, you know, Bioshock I'm oddly okay with because I can see the bottom. Yeah. Bioshock I'm oddly okay with because Bioshock is actually one of my favorite movies. Like, I mean, one of my favorite movies. One of my favorite games of all time. It really is. I, I adore Bioshock. Yeah, I love Bioshock. And okay, okay. Call me on base. Call me what you like. I liked Infinite. I liked it. Okay? I thought Infinite was good. Okay? I thought Bioshock Infinite was pretty good. I enjoyed it. Okay? I like... I think it was nice. <laughs> I, I, do I think it's as strong as one or two? No. Not by a long shot. But I still enjoyed it. I liked the character of Booker. I liked Elizabeth. Uh, the story I thought was fun. Like, I'm not super into the whole, like, infinite ending kind of thing. It's not really for me. But, like, I thought it was good. I thought infinite was pretty solid. Yeah. Yeah, and not... I don't think it's as good as the first two. No, not not by a long shot. But it's still good. It's still a solid game. I I, I don't get why people shit on it so much. I think it's solid. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> did, you, did you know that Super Sofri did... Guys, no. Not when the kids are, kids are around. Guys, listen. It's okay. Thank you. They're not. They are not. Cease. Cease this behavior immediately. This is an announcement to tell you to cease this behavior immediately. Please do not do that. Thank you. <laughs> I like. I, I think some of the kindred are not aware of the Miss Amari voice, so like, catching you off guard. <laughs> if you could please not do that, thank you. I don't like the spread of lies on my channel, so thank you very much. <laughs> That's it, gotta, wah, gotta hit you, blindside you there a little, a little bit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. Pardon, 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 pardon. Okay, yeah, no. Uh, Bob Senpai's still busy. You're still gonna stick around. We're still gonna stick around for a little bit, yeah? Mm -mm. Mm. Guys! No, 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 no. What did I just say? 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 Guys, 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 guys. It's one thing when the... Guys! It's one thing when the I admirers do it. When the kindred do it, I get the... Guys, stop. Stop. Stop, 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 stop. 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 Get some help. Enough. Thank you. I'll read them. I'll read them. I'll read them. I might read them at the end of stream. Thank you very much. Not necessary. Please stop. Okay. Okay. We're we're good. Stop. Okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. We're, we're... Ah, guys. Supers are not free. Come on. Let, let's be honest here. They are not. Okay. Whoever start whoever started that, I'm coming after you. Who, who who started it? Who started it? Who's who's getting bonked? Who's getting bonked? I'll bonk you into oblivion. God, guys, guys, no, 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 let's not. Okay, that's very sweet of you. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. That's very sweet of you. Black Friday, it's Wednesday, my dudes. It's Wednesday, my dudes. Okay, that's enough. Okay, yeah. Have you heard the uh, absolute my teeth, my giant teeth, me? <laughs> I love that song. Oh, let me, look, what's the lyrics? Let's see, let's see. <laughs> where's where's the lyrics? Where's the lyrics? <laughs> oh my god, it has a genius page. Wow. It is a Bob Chip Skylark. Okay, okay. Screw everyone else. I don't know, like BTS fans, never heard of them. Uh Taylor Swift fans, never heard of them. I'm only here for Chip Skylark. Okay? I'm only here for Chip Skylark. <laughs> my shiny teeth that twinkle, just like the stars in space. My shiny teeth that sparkle, adding beauty to my face. My shiny, my shiny teeth, I love them, and they all love me. It's so cute. I love it. It's such a cute song. <laughs> it's adorable. It's a good song. Damn. I thought Prince was based for a while. It's pretty based. The free supers can stop now, please. Okay. Uh, distraction. Uh, uh, uh. Here, I'll just, I'll just pretend to be Vox Senpai. Here, let me just uh. 
Oh look, guys, Fox Empire is back. Isn't that crazy? It's me. It's 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 me, Fox Empire. Um, I have unbased opinions, and uh, I'm a stinky red man, and uh, uh, it uh, um, I don't know what else to say as Vox Empire. Uh, uh, it's it's nice to meet you, I admirers. Hello, kindred. Thank you for being kind to my dear Kohai, uh, Ayamare. Um, please, uh, stop doing the free super thing. She feels awkward about it. Thank you. Um, she's not a dork. In fact, Ayamare is an absolute chad. And, um, totally not a lightweight or anything like that. And did you know that if, if you call her a dork, you're immediately unbased and so... When, why do I ha why does he sound like a, a smoker? Why did I make him sound like that? I, I don't know how to voice him. Like I don't know how to do an accent either. Uh, uh, uh this is just what I sound like. Um, uh, the, the, the potatoes, boil them, mix, uh, boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. Um, uh, uh what is box up? I mean, what is box up? <laughs> I am so sorry. I'm ruining your Oshi. I am so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Black Senpai? Am I disrespecting my Senpai right now? I think... I think... I think I'm disrespecting it! <laughs> I think... I think I'm doing it really dirty right now! Black Senpai, I'm so sorry. I'm so fucking sorry. <laughs> oh, Angie, thank you for the 20 gifted. Thank you so much. Thank you, boo boo. Mwah, so much for you. Thank you so much. It's just... It's just... What if I gave, like, a gremlin voice, like... Mm. My precious, my precious, I, I like beer, and I am unbased, but that's okay. That's okay. I am uh, Mare is extremely based and extremely cool, and uh, definitely not a nerd or a dork. Okay, if you call her a dork, you are no longer a kindred or an I admirer. You are simply unbased. Um. Scrap ba 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 ba. Watch me, I'm gonna do a cartwheel. Check this shit out. Ooh, holy shit. Yeah. Check that shit out. My lord, my lord out here doing Cirque du Soleil shit right here. Cirque du Soleil, baby. <laughs> I am so sorry. I am so sorry. I'll stop right there, actually. I am so sorry. <laughs> I am so sorry. I am, I am terribly, terribly sorry. It, it's, it's the way that I am. Oh, what time's it right now? Um, okay. <laughs> I, I, I wanted to apologize. Uh, <laughs> I'm so sorry I'm doing your Oshi dirty like this. I do not mean to. Okay. God, how is Vox Senpai still more based? How is Vox Senpai... Okay, I'll end the poll. How is he still more based? Okay, comedy has its place. I like comedy, but I'm more of a horror gal. I, I find... I think horror is just... Horror is cool, okay? I feel like horror has a more lasting impact on me, you know? Mm-hmm. <laughs> But fine, I'll take, I'll take the L on this. Are you guys actively trying to get me fucked up? Is that, is that what's happening? Am I getting fucked up? Oh, guys. Uh, I did this on purpose. Are you purposely fucking me up right now? Are you purposely doing this? Because, like... Bro. I'll be honest, I'm a, I'm a little buzzed. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a little bit, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of there, okay? I'm kind of there. There's no way he only drinks twice. Okay, okay, listen, listen, here's... I'm small. I, I, I can put up a fight with my alcohol, for sure, but like... I have limits. I, I have limits, okay? You only live by accident? I don't believe you. I really don't believe you. Mm -hmm. I love horror, but my Oshi loves comedy. Oh, th that's bias. That's... That's, that's bias. That's unfair. I hate it here. Hello? Hello, welcome back. How are, is everything okay? Everything is fine. Should I tell should, should I tell chat why I was gone for so long, or is it or is that maybe not a good idea? Um, you can like I'll give him. I'll give him the, skirt the details. Skirt the details. Everything is important. Essentially, yeah. I went down. Um, I had uh, a guy came to give me uh, my alcohol that I ordered, uh, but there was a guy outside my apartment block, and he asked if he could use my phone to call somebody. And I was I was a little suspicious at first, but it turned out that he 
He'd been through some kind of a scuffle, and he was in a really terrible state. And oh. he was—he he mentioned he said he said he was suicidal and stuff. And he was like three hours away from where he lived, didn't have a phone because he couldn't afford one, and oh. all of that. And so I was like immediately just panicked, and I and I sat there with him for like a good amount of time. But then thankfully we managed to—he borrowed my phone and he called his mum, and then she went and picked him up and. Uh, and so hopefully he's all right now. But yeah, no, I, I'm so I'm sorry I took so much time away from the stream. But it's like no, you don't right. leave someone like that alone, do you? No, no, I know you did the right, you did the right thing. You did the right thing. Yeah, thank you. Oh. Anyway, anyway, I've got Actually, my alcohol now. So that's hold on, let me, hold on, let me, I'm gonna mute us real quick. Okay, we're unmuted. Okay, there you go. Um, also, uh, I did the poll. Uh, chat found me unbased, so I'm gonna drink right now. So uh, let me just give me a second. Mm. What'd you end up ordering? A package of 12 Coronas. 12? Are you gonna drink all of them? No. No, please don't. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I will I will, I will. will have as many of them as I desire. Mm -mm -mm. That's fair, that's fair. Okay, so I think we're almost at the end. I think we only have like two or three more anyways. So are you good to finish out? Uh, yeah, let's, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Do it, do it. You did the right thing. You did the right thing. Okay, so let's go. Let's do this. Also, the kindreds were bullying me earlier, just so you know. Good. No! What? That's a no! Good. Be bullies. No! No, 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 no. Do not encourage this behavior, Senpai, please. I've had enough, please. I, I have a reputation for being cool and chad life. Do not ruin that for me, please. Thank you. <laughs> I have so little. I have so little, Senpai. I have so little. Please, let me have this one thing. <laughs> no! Okay, okay. That little fucking goober laugh. <laughs> <laughs> goofy goober type laugh. <laughs> oh, I'm a goofy goober, yeah. You're a goofy goober, yeah. We're all goofy You're goobers, goofy yeah. Goobers, yeah. Goofy, goofy goobers, goobers, yeah. Goofy goobers, yeah. Goofy goobers, yeah. Okay, this is the second to last question. You ready? Uh, yes. Mm hmm Would you rather be royalty a thousand years ago, or be an average person today? Ooh. Mm. Average person today, 100%. I I think I want to be royalty from a thousand years ago. Fuck Yeah, that. okay, I mean, okay. No, 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 it okay. sounds fantastic. It sounds fantastic on the surface, but remember. Remember, first of all, the amount of... Old royals who were a. Wait, hold on. I rescind my, I my, I rescind my statement. I agree. I, I want it to be now because they didn't have AC back then. They didn't have AC. And I'll oh. tell you. Do you know the amount of royals who were what? Inbred. Oh yeah. Do you like be inbred, yeah. Aya? No. Do you want to? Do, 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 do you want your dad and your uncle to be the same person? <laughs> Bro, okay. No. 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 Okay. So a while back. Um. I might let us. Okay, I'm not gonna say. I'll tell you off stream. I'll tell you off stream. But like, uh, uh, some some sweet home Alabama shit occurred around me uh, a while back. Not not in relation to <laughs> uh, not in relation to me, but like around in my general vicinity, some sweet home Alabama bullshit. I'll tell you off stream. It's it's kind of it's kind of wild, but I'll tell you off stream. I'll tell you those, after this. Those 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 angels. I like to keep it in the family. <laughs> Jesus. Got 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 to keep the the blood uh the night the blood nice and uh. Uh, what are you doing? Stuff. What are you doing? Not step bro, just bro. Why put my feet away! I'm sorry, I'm you trying whore, to... Put my feet away! I, I, listen, you were angled this, so I was trying to correct it and I fucked it up. Give me a second, you bitch, do ya? I thought you were just getting my feet out for no reason. Ah! The gyro force, it's just, it's so aggressive, it's horrible. Yeah, the gravity up here is kind of, it's kind of, it's kind of crazy, yeah. No, it's like, okay, I think, I just don't want to be around a thousand years ago because, like, there's no AC. 
There's no good health care. There's no like... If you get bitten by a mosquito, it's over. If, if the sun's a little bit too hot, it's over. If you get mm -hmm. bitten by a dog, it's over. It's like in your your cousin might be your like your cousin might be your your sibling and your and your and your wife and you may be severely inbred. You may have like three three like three eyes and like it's several also limbs. the fact that healthcare virtually didn't exist a thousand years ago. I mean, mm -hmm. in ancient Greece it did, <laughs> uh, but you know, it, 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 in a thousand years ago specifically, I'm thinking about my own country. You know mm -hmm. the um. Uh, the the one thousands. Uh, we didn't have terribly good healthcare. You know, mm -hmm. it was impressive not to just die from being thirty five. So I I kind of feel like regardless of being royal, regardless of anything, mm. existing in that time was a piece of shit. And also, if you're a royal, being a royal doesn't sound fun. Like just having to sit around and do all of this official kingly duty all day. You know, getting stuck in some arranged marriage. It just doesn't sound fun to me. I'd rather arrange my own marriage, thank you very much. Mm -mm. Also, like, not to mention that, like, it's like, I don't know, just so many of the modern conveniences that don't exist there, it's like, I think, I think, yeah, no, that that's not for me. I like to, like, if it was, like, maybe, like, I, but I guess the appeal is being fond after and having, like, people like you and, like, worship you and stuff like that, I guess. Yeah. That'd be but cool, you but, like. You, I, I feel like it would get tiring after a while and you you huh. also wouldn't really get to like act on it would you you know you wouldn't really get to like actually days. go and be and be chums with whoever you wanted because it was like it's not suitable for a royal to be friends with a peasant not suitable uh -huh. for a royal to go and have to go and marry a peasant oh how terrible you're muddying the bloodline <laughs> and then you have to deal with all of this all this terrible shit where it's like well, i just want to make friends like well you can't make friends with them it's not 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 it's impossible <laughs> uh -huh. also the the real deal breaker niji sanji didn't exist a thousand years ago Exactly! I would have met my cool senpais and met all the viewers and stuff. Absolutely, absolutely. And all these viewers would not have access to such wonderful content as um, uh, RP ASMR POV. I finally got some cuffs on you, Vox Akuma Niji Sanji. <laughs> uh, which, you know, a real cultural reset if you ask me. Bro, bro. It, 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 well, honestly, I admire your effort, the effort you put into your ASMR streams. Like, it, Thank it's, you. It's like the production value is insane. Like, I only recently got my hands on a few plugins that could help with the quality and stuff. But I have, like, even from, like, a technical aspect, I don't know how you get the sound quality so good. I struggle with my sound quality these days. But, like, the amount of work you put into your ASMR is genuinely really impressive. Like, I have mean to tell you, you this for a while, but that's, it's crazy good. It's, like, Hollywood film levels of crazy good bullshit. That's, that's really impressive. Thank you. Mm -hmm. That's very sweet. I do try. I, mm. listen, I have, I have this, I have this feeling. I don't know, I don't know, like... I don't know what to put on it. I hmm. feel like I've never. I don't know who it is, hmm. but I feel like there must be w at least one member of Niji Sanji En who who genuinely watches most of my ASMR and enjoys it, but doesn't say so. I feel like there's at least one, but will we ever know who that is? Probably not, because it would be it would be a death sentence. Yeah. Why? Why are you looking around like that? Um, sorry, a, a bug was flying by. Nothing. <laughs> hang, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. It's fine. It's fine. I... <laughs> you. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? You know what? <laughs> well, what are you doing with me? What are you, what are you doing to me? Welcome back. I, oh wait, yeah, oh. I know, I know, I know. Fu Chan watches my ASMR, but he stops whenever there's like he doesn't watch like the sexual parts. Yeah, the sexy watches, parts like, I tend the, to tap out in. The, yeah. the 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 story bits, like the hmm. you know, like in the fantasy trilogy that I did. Like, I'm, I'm more in interested in the improv and stuff because I, I think someone told me you have like in your notes for your uh, like your script for your ASMR, it's like three bullet points and the rest is improv. Is that true? Yeah. That's that's amazing. Yeah, well, a lot of the times there's no bullet points, so. Let's take, for example, um, the what? Uh, what's a good example? Um, the Professor ASMR. Let's mm. take that one because that was a really popular recent example. So, mm. the idea I had from that is that all I do is that I plan out a specific. Um, I, I plan out a few scenes, and those scenes. So, for the Professor one, it was in class with other students, in mm -hmm. class alone. 
in class, but the professor gets the ruler out in like the sexy kind of like <laughs> type of way. Yeah, you still have and the spatula desk, right? And then there is a scene where you show up at his house, and then there's a scene where he stashes you in his closet in a very in a very <laughs> type of way. Mm -hmm. Five scenes. Everything within those, I I have not written a single line of dialogue. It's all just improvised. I just look at chat. <laughs> And wait for them to give me an in, and I'm like, oh, I can do that. And then I'll just kind of pause, take my time, wait to think of a good line, and then I will just kind of make it last for two hours, and that's that, you know. Yeah, I, I don't know how, because, like, I can improv to a certain degree, but, like, a few minutes, maybe. Like, I, I have some theater experience, like, maybe a couple of minutes. But, like, for two whole hours, that's genuinely pretty impressive. Let me show you my notes real quick, huh? I have, I have a doc. I think I'm still sharing my screen. Yes, I am. Let me show you. Like, where is it? Here it is. This is just... This is before I flesh it out, but this is a part of my, um... My script for my next ASMR thing. And this is a part of it. I'm gonna flesh it out with more bullet points later. So I have no idea. No fucking clue how you can work with so little notes. That's genuinely impressive. For me, I think the less notes, the easier the whole thing becomes. Hmm. I would say that the more you plan it, uh, the more anal you're going to become about getting it all right. And I mm -hmm. think that that will actually hurt your ability to improvise. Um, for my money, what I would say is that if you just give yourself a basic prompt, the main thing is not having a plan because if you refer to a script i mm. feel as though that's a moment where you break character for me mm. the most important part is being in character the whole time if you genuinely for a little like with the professor one i had full-blown like kind of very sort of you know i felt very anxious when it was mm. over because i was so thoroughly invested in the role that when it ended i, I was like Oh god, why did I do all of that? You know, and... Mm. Uh, but at the same time, I didn't write any of his dialogue. I just sort of believed I was him for a little bit. And I mm. think that if you manage to truly inhabit the the, the, the role of whichever character you're playing, then, the, then whatever you're going to say will just come naturally to you. The mm. best thing that you can do for yourself is to have a few props just available. So if chat yeah. says, mm. like, can you do this? Like, oh yes, I'll do, I, I can grab this and do that. Like, for example, I told you earlier, from the Professor ASMR, thanks to my, thanks to my very, very messy worm brain, I still have the wooden spatula that I was smacking my hand with mm -hmm. to make the spanking sounds in that ASMR just on my desk still. I should have taken mm. it back to the kitchen, but it is still here. Uh, and I should probably go and put that in the dishwasher a little while, uh, a, a little time, a little while away from now, but I just, just kept neglecting to do so. Mm -mm. Uh, it's, I got into the habit, like, I think like, that's one of my issues too. I think it's cause like, uh, I take things, I don't take things seriously enough. I mean, I want to get more serious into it. But I think for my last ASMR stream, um, I think I was doing something like a comfy, cozy kind of thing. So what I did is I dressed up comfy and cozy, you know? For like, I did like an, like a tutoring RP ASMR a while back. Um, it ended up being a massive joke, but I started off wearing like, the, like an outfit I normally wore when I used to be a teacher, right? Mm. Like a button-up and slacks, just because it helps me like get in the character a little bit. Because uh, during one of my training streams for ASMR, I tended like, I was goofing off the entire time. I just could not take it seriously. And so like, because it's more of an RP thing, I decided to get more in the head, the mindset by getting dressed up. And so I think that could help too. But you're right about having props around because I feel like I didn't have anything ready. And so like, it was just like improv with no help and I'm not accustomed to that. So that's a good idea. I should probably do that. Mm -hmm. uh -uh. That's true. And it reminds me mm. of, um, uh, what's her name? Saraway, who's an indie. She, she does something mm. similar where on one of her models, she has like a cat bell around the neck and then when she uses it she'll wear one in real life so that whenever the character moves and you see the bell jingle ah, it actually makes a jingly sound there's yeah. something like that that's sort of like the marriage of the real person with the character you mm. know and that sort of makes it a, a little more interesting so yeah you know it's definitely all about your own process and figuring out what it is that you um that makes you comfortable in those scenarios mm -hmm. the biggest thing i would say for me is everyone's like how do you do it fact is i have just done a lot of asmr and it's down you have practice. a long catalog you know mm. i've done a lot of I've, I've practiced a lot and i feel like anyone could get as good as me if they practice as much as i have so mm. just give it a try you know and see yeah. how it goes mm -mm, thank you yeah it's like oh i just realized because i've been getting i've been getting to like costume and i've been dressing up like i think for my last asmr when i was comfy i wore like a sweater dress that's all cozy and stuff Ooh. Um, it was really comfy it's like when there's like really like a 
the braided knit ones, like the big sweater paws and the big like fluffy uh, like a uh, neckline. Mm -hmm. Those are super comfy. And for this one, it's it's made. So I have an old. I used to work at a maid cafe, and so I have my uniform still. So I guess I'll see if it still fits. I hope it still fits. <laughs> I hope it fucking does. This will be, uh, uh, what, what if it rustles too much though? I don't want there to be too much background noise. I don't know. I'll figure something out. Maybe I'll just part wear we'll parts of it. We'll figure something out. Yeah, it'll yeah. be fine. Uh -uh. Excuse me. Oh. <laughs> okay, okay. But I think we both agree uh, being an average person today is better than being royalty a thousand years ago. Mm -hmm. okay. I would agree. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I'd rather be today and have my phone and my Niji Sanji than live a thousand years ago and maybe maybe wear a crown occasionally but also die of cholera at the age of 30. Yeah, just existing is dangerous back in those days. I mean, you, I mean, yeah, you know. It's like fucking just breathing will kill you. I feel like the air itself is out to get you. Listen, listen, 400 years ago, the, the health the healthcare situation was bad enough. I don't want to know what 1,000 years ago was like. You know, oddly enough, it's not even 1,000 years ago, but uh, one of my parents um, ages ago, uh, back in their uh, home country, uh, was bitten by a dog. Instead of going to an actual doctor, went to like a like a witch doctor. And so this this is a full blown dog bite on her leg, and um, it's getting infected. And the witch doctor oh, decided witch to doctor. yeah just slapped mud on it, just just mud, and then boom, instant infection. Had to go to the hospital. <laughs> and I feel like. A thousand years ago, I feel like that's kind of a similar. That's just what would have happened. <laughs> yeah, just, whenever you, whenever people say witch doctor, I think about the witch doctor from Diablo. You know, the one who's like, whoa, and he's someone's like frogs and no, shit. I, I, I thought feel like of, that would be great. I thought of uh, Doctor Facilier from uh, This is the Frog. <sighs> the cards will tell. Just take three. Take a little look into your future with me. It's the green, it's the green, it's the green you need. And when I look into your future, it's the green that I see. Oh man, what a good movie. One of my favorite villains, honestly. He has such style, yeah. such flair. What a, what what a, what a, what one of the all-time great Disney villain deaths as well. Oh like yeah, losing, definitely. Losing the neck, losing the necklace or the charm or whatever it was, and then his own song comes back, and they're like, "Are you ready? No, no, I'm not ready at all." Yeah, it's, it's, so, it's I, so good. I love very dramatic villain deaths, like mm. especially especially falls. Like, oh, guess like Don's death Rolo is really cool too. Falling off of the church, or what's his mm. name, Thrax from Osmosis Jones oh, falling into the pot I of love alcohol, Osmosis turning Jones. into a, turning it like like just kind of like <laughs> like what is it about kids' movies where the villain will just be absolutely fucking incinerated in a ball of fire and die in the most hideous and disgusting matter Rated possible. And then, the, and, then the and then the kids movie protagonist will just immediately go to a disco and be like, all the small things and just start dancing and it's not even a problem. It's like someone fucking died and like huh, dance around its corpse, I guess. Oh yeah, Chad is bringing up uh, Clayton from Tarzan. Oh yeah, oh that through. was good. That was oh, good. That was a really, that mm. was a really intense villain death. God, yeah. that one. And like no yeah. fanfare either. Just like just cut, just cut scene after he dies. Like that was really intense. Yeah, yeah, no, geez, that was that was really rough. Like the way it's all intense, and then there's a moment of quiet when you realize how he died. It's like, oh god. Oh yeah, when you realize. You now it's like uh, even like uh, Gaston's death was really dramatic too, from Beauty and the Beast. Like, yeah. I think there's that frame where he has like, the little crossbones in his eyes. Yeah. Mm -mm. I feel like I feel like it's almost become like. If I if I was ever in an enemy if I was ever in like uh so, th there's enemies to lovers but there's also enemies and lovers like there's like there's the whole tension of remaining enemies but also mm -mm. being unable to escape your attraction for the other person mm -mm. I can't help but feel like if I had that sort of an attachment to a person it would need to end with a super dramatic villain death you know, like oh, yeah, either yeah. one of us, whichever one is the antagonist in the situation, I would need to push them off a cliff at the end. Yeah, I need catharsis. I need some kind of traumatic catharsis. I need catharsis. I need catharsis. It. After all they've put me through, after all the bad head, they just need to <laughs> fall off a cliff. That's wrong with that head. <laughs> That's <laughs> Damn, bro. So no head. <laughs> so no head. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Oh no! Hold on a minute. I need to. I I, I saw a, I saw a funny tweet a while ago. I need oh, to no. try and find an image that matches what I'm what I'm thinking about. Anytime Vox and Fi says, oh, "Hold on, I look at this. Like, let me show you something." I get scared. Oh no! What's it gonna be this time? 
<laughs> Both you and Lucas and Pilot sending this cursed shit in the chat, okay? <laughs> oh no. Oh, what is it? What is it? Why did you lose it? After the, after, you know, after all, after all, <laughs> after all the hand jobs that make it feel like this. Oh my god. Vox! Stop! <laughs> 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 Guys, he sent me a picture of a man crushing a banana in his hand. <laughs> it's not a, it's not a fucking stress ball. Be gentle. Jesus. <laughs> who, who pulls the patch to that kind of vigor? Who? Whoa! What? Okay, okay. Can you you can damage it during that, right? You can totally mm. damage it, right? Oh yes. A penis is a very delicate organ. Have you seen one snap before? No, I yeah. don't want to. <laughs> I see one snap like right in half. It like bends at like an it bends like a 90 degree angle. Oh, no. It's crazy. I, okay, I've seen I've seen it I've I, I've seen a gif in porn of a dick like breaking. Mm -hmm. I think we're looking at the same one. Like, I think we're thinking the same like one. If, when you said snap, I thought you meant like the banjo. Oh no 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 no. I don't want to think about like, that either. Okay, I'm more like a <laughs> bendy straw. Sorry, say that again? It's like a bendy straw. It's like, you know, there's bendy straw. Uh, uh, I don't want to think about that. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, thank you. I, oh, no. Do not, do not crack my dick like a glow stick. I will call the police. <laughs> you know, some people's already bent that way. Oh, I mean, maybe they do, but not like a 90 degree angle. No, some, some are. Like, like Chris Chan's PP is bent at a 90 degree angle. Let's not talk about Chris Chan's penis <laughs> on this channel. <laughs> We can talk about all of this shit. We can talk about everything else, but I feel like that man needs to be needs to remain a banned topic of discussion. Fair, 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 fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Oh my God, that image. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Wow, we got derailed like crazy. Anyways, the last one, last one. Let's find it. Um, if I could just manage my sources, that'd be much better. You don't know, you don't manage your sources, do you? Nope. No, nope, neither do I. That's fair. Okay, this one is wild. Okay, would you rather wear the same socks for a month or the same undies for a week? Same underwear for a week. Ew! Ew! No, I'd wear the, I'd wear the same socks for a month easily. Easily. First of all, first of all, the only thing that you need to do in order to make that work, and I'm not saying that I would ever want to do that, but the fact is, socks get sweaty so fast. Like, if you take off a pair of socks and then put them back on, they feel so nasty. A whole month? Ew. Ew, no. But you can cover that Same underwear for shoes. a week, however. The only... See, here's how you make it work. Oh my god. Practice really good genital hygiene. Is this an ad for Manscapes? <laughs> These are my balls. Soft, <laughs> smooth, and round. But look at this guy's balls. Ugh, rough and hard. Someone's taking a chunk out of that one. What? We're using the Manscaped Lawnmower 4.0. You can you can you can trim with confidence. You can even it's waterproof. You can even drop it in your pint. Don't drink it though. It's got pubes in it. <laughs> Is this a copy pasta? This cannot be real. This, this... No, that's 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 the manscaped ad where he's like, these are my balls. Oh my! Is this for the real ad? For real? Yeah, it's a real. Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. There's no Manscaped way. Manscaped ad vine boom. This, ha this. <laughs> this has to be like it has to be a joke. This we need to talk about your balls. This cannot be a real ad campaign. It, this has to be satire. This cannot be real. Look me in the eyes. Tell me this is real. I don't believe you. <laughs> we need to talk about your balls. Where? where where's Someone's the link? taking a chunk out of that one. What do you mean take a chunk? Wouldn't you be bleeding? Wouldn't that hurt? Yes, yes, yes. Nicking your ball sack is a very common problem when shaving. Oh, that sounds unfortunate. Oh my god, what is this? This is an but if you want to shave your balls, you need the right tool for the job. This? No. This? No. This? Only if that's what you're into. Oh my god, the vine boobs! See how they glisten? <laughs> it's booming every two seconds! <laughs> Oh my god! Where do you find 
movies. I have an extensive library of memes in my memory. If only that much mental energy went towards taking care of myself, I would genuinely be unstoppable. Why is the why is the razor screaming in the pints? That's why I use the lawnmower 4.0 with skin safe technology. Four million so balls? you can trim with confidence. Thank you for sharing this. That's that's amazing. <laughs> so yes, Manscaped, good product, and it comes with ball deodorant and ball toner. That's a thing. So, yes, ball deodorant, uh, it makes your balls smell wonderful, and hmm. uh, ball toner helps to cleanse your balls of impurities. And so what huh. I would say is that if you were to wear the same underwear for a week, if you practiced daily testicular hygiene, you would probably be fine. And well, the, they, the they would be kind of gross, but nowhere near as gross as month-old. Because your balls get gross, sure, if you don't wash mm -hmm. them, but <clears throat> your feet... Listen, I feel as though I would be looking at a new at a new colony of fungi on my feet if I wore the same socks every day for every day. No, because you can still take them off and like wash them like you wash your 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 genitals. You can still the last wash your thing you want in your same socks for a month is your foot fungus. <laughs> Stop. But as it turns Stop. out, that might be what you get. Stop. <laughs> How? You're gonna wind up getting actual foot fungus, and so I feel as though a no. week is much less time. And if you practice good ball hygiene, you're gonna be fine. You can practice good foot hygiene. You can do the same exact logic applies. You can wash your fucking feet. And plus, like you know, like but you're putting that. Sweat. But that's for a month, a month of yeah, the I'm same socks though. of these that's... things that all are always touching the ground. Yeah. Whereas your balls are always nice and snug in. Your underpants, even if they're, even if you've been using them for a week, the most they're gonna get is a bit sweaty, especially if you wash them properly. I, I, well, actually, no. Chat's bringing up a good, a good point. It's like it's different for girls, though. I would imagine so. Yeah, for guys, like, yeah, I would imagine the JJ definitely way more sensitive to infections and so forth. Mm -mm. Well, it's just more like it's just like because it's a self-cleaning thing. Sometimes stuff does leave it as a result of the cleaning. And so, like, people are like fucking. People are like fucking. But the Lord, women are different. I'm like, yeah, I know. I'm I'm speaking to my own experience. <laughs> How the fuck am I answering that question? I do not have a pussy. Sorry, sorry for all of the brain rotters out there who want to believe that I have a boy pussy. That's a thing. I have a penis, and my penis will be fine if I washed it properly and wore the same underwear for a week. Anyway, I mean, sorry, go on. Th th that that is good and valid. You know, I think like. I think apples and oranges. I think we're just going to agree to disagree. Apples and oranges here. Just going to leave it to the votes. <laughs> no bussy. I mean, maybe I do. I haven't checked. Maybe I do. It's hiding somewhere. I haven't checked in a few days. <laughs> I haven't checked in a few days. Let me check the old bussy. <clears throat> Let me just, just double check real quick. I mean, I don't really... I don't really... What is a bussy? What? <laughs> Are you actually Googling it? Oh, it's the anus, right? Of course. Yeah, I mean, I, do, I, I, mean term, I, right? I imagine I've, I imagine I've got quite a nice anus. But what would constitute a nice one? Is the one I that mean, works, I, right? I imagined it was the anus, but when people talk about it like it's so different as though, oh my god, he has a bussy, and I was like, no. is it like something else? You know, is it like a, is it like a, as like a hermaphrodite thing? But no, it's no, like no. A, it's just like a slang term referring to it. I think it's not an actual like. All right, well, all right, well, yes. All right, well, yes. Well, congratulations, chat. I do have a bussy. That's nice. <laughs> Good grief. The, 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 the amount of times that you mentioned the bussy in the, um, the, the Slen Senpai's fanfic writing stream was a little ridiculous. Eh, 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 eh. Are you ready to I'm voice act for that? Are I'm you ready looking for that? forward to mentioning that. When I when they submitted, when they showed that to me and I was like, oh, which one has me in it? Vox is the bottom. I was like, ah. but then it was like with Ike. Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> the immediate 180 is like, oh, it's okay. <laughs> No, I, we have some really weird shit going on there. I think like I, I started off most of them, but then they just kind of went. Like I wanted to be like you know like oh we can just I can just set it up that's fine. Then I went boom off the rails like oh okay we're doing this now. Like I think Sunny Senpai gets fucking pregnant. Pog. How, how do you feel about that? How do you feel about Mfrag? Tell me how do you feel about it? I would get Sunny Briscoe pregnant. <laughs> 
he's been he's been he's been he's been too confident for too long. He needs he, he needs a good breeding. Let his confidence. <gasps> oh my off. god! Well, I, I brought it up. I shouldn't I shouldn't be I shouldn't be surprised by this. Yeah. I walked right into that one. I keep on having setups to walk into weird situations who, and being who, surprised. Who in Nijian is the oh. most breedable? Do you think? Um, breedable. Mm. Mm, what do you think about that? Hmm. What, what do you think? I'm I'm still thinking. Hmm. Mm. I think oh, no, I think uh, Nina Senpai was talking about this on Totsu the other day. I, oh, yeah? I, I forgot what her answer was. That was a little while ago. I forgot. But she was like listing off members of Etheria as like like readable or not. I think anyone in chat who's <laughs> saying Selen, no, Selen would breed you. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah, Selen is too. She's. Yeah, I don't think she. I don't think I'm you gonna can. say. I'm gonna. I'm gonna say Asta. Yeah, I feel like Aster, yeah, he would be. He's he's soft and squishy and not, doesn't put like he's kinda he kinda has the vibe. Ast Aster is like Aster is the only person in EN who like has a load of the only boy if, per se in EN who has a load of bottom jokes made about them and then huh. he actually is one. <laughs> yeah, I think like other ones are just like joking haha, but like this is this actually like, kind of flies. But then but then but then Aster is like, no please, I would I would love for you to step on me and Yeah. And like Jesus, that would be fantastic. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah he does kinda have them. Plus he does have ass in his name, so like that that does make he sense. He does. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bastard Arcadia. <laughs> Bastard Arcadia. That, that, that shit, that's a good one. I'm gonna use that. That's a good one. I think, like, what with the girls, though? I think... Anyone who says me... Anyone in chat who says me is getting bred themselves. Don't you fucking try me. <laughs> I, I think, like... I don't know. Who would I say for this? I think there's so many, like, feisty girls in um, Ian. I'm not quite sure. Well, well to be fair, Scarlet fully acknowledges that she's, a, like, a bottom of bottoms, so... though. I think we shared our BDSM test results together with uh, some other Olena members, and she's like very, very like, yeah. She she's mentioned it. She's she's very bottomy, uh, so probably yeah, Scarlet. Yeah, I guess. We, like 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 we know, you know, it was the whole thing where on debut she tried being a top, and it just didn't last <laughs> very long. <laughs> it lasted all but five minutes. <laughs> all of five minutes. She yeah. She went up against me, and she didn't last very long. Mm -mm. No, she she's she's too sweet and too like I guess uh. Oh, no, she doesn't have the energy, you know. She doesn't have that kind of like toppy energy, you know. She, I, she, I think she likes to be treated like a princess a little bit. That's kind of her shtick, you know. I think that's that's very more like her speed. Mm. Uh -uh. You think it's the least breedable? The least breedable. Uh, uh, it's me because I would because I would turn around and I would shoot you. No, actually, <laughs> I have a gun. Yeah, no, yeah, no, I think, yeah, no, I think it's me. Hmm. I'd say... If anyone in chat would like to challenge me, go for it. You I... yourself will be bred. I would say Selen Senpai, actually. Fair enough, that is also valid. No, mm -mm. Yeah, I'd say Selen Senpai, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's, she's, she's much too cool. She's she's so cool. Gosh, she's so cool. Mm. I want to be as good a game as her one day. Ooh. Oh, shit. I saw you played Iron Lung today. How was it? I, know, I was Iron talking Lung, about it when you were Iron gone Lung earlier. Is really, Iron Lung is a very, very good horror game. It's uh -huh. such a fantastic concept. It's ah, uh, and those sound effects and how the danger gradually grows and uh -huh. grows and grows. Have God you listened to the soundtrack? Damn. Have I heard the sound? Not uh, separate from the game. Mm -hmm. No. Give it a listen. It's like it's like the perfect mix of ambient noise and somehow like actual music. It's it's. Incredible! Like, listen to it. Like, with some nice headphones on. It's really, really good. And like, these are my hmm. balls. Why are you the way that you are? Why are you the way that you are? <laughs> but what other games did you play from Iron aside from Iron Lung? Uh, today I played two games. I played hmm. Iron Lung and I played Growing My Grandpa. What's I saw an NSM pie play that one. What, what's it about? I never heard it's of it. It's all right. It's about like you're a school counselor who. Ooh, with level 84 woodcutting. You're an nice. you're a school you're a school counselor who is talking to this girl and she's talking about like, yes, I'm growing my grandpa in the basement, and you're like, okay, Lamau. But it turns out like, yes, it's actually true. And it's made in like a very old Windows game style. So it's got Aww. like sort of funky pixel graphics, but that adds to like the horror in a big way. And uh, it's pretty creepy. It's like a point and click adventure game with pet simulator elements, but it's about growing your own grandpa. And teaching him how to 
and teaching him how to chat. Shut up. Yes, I'm playing RuneScape. Listen. <laughs> Scary game. Very good. Enjoyed it. Uh, got the bad ending, but then we moved on to Iron Lung, and Iron Lung was oh my god. Iron Lung will kick you. Like, fucking... Iron Lung ball grabs Iron you by Lung the balls. Was an it's insane good. game. Iron uh -huh. Lung is an incredible game. I couldn't finish it. I have thalassophobia. I couldn't fucking finish it. You couldn't finish it. No. You need to finish it. You, you need to get. To I the end. I need to. I, I'm at oh, that part. That ending. I'm at the, the part ending. where like, I I got to like that really sh like tiny like the really thin shimmy when you go up north. I'm currently stuck right there. It's tough, but you mm -hmm. gotta do it. You need to get to the end. It's got a fantastic ending. Mm -hmm. uh, speaking it's of RuneScape... Such a, it's such mm -hmm. a bleak game. I it, just, it, oh is, God, it is! The atmosphere is fantastic. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's like... I like the... It's, it's good. It's, it's, it's a great game so far. I'm just, I'm just terrified. Cause I'm, just, I'm just a baby. I'm a little bit of a wuss when it comes to these kinds of things. But like Speaking of RuneScape chat, uh, uh, Vox and Pi and I were talking earlier about it. And it's mm -hmm. like... Um, I think. What are you skilling on? Are you are you doing like a are you doing a skiller account or just an all around? My, my my default my default um, AFK skill is wood cutting. So right mm. now, while I'm actively playing the game, I'm trying to do Slayer um, because mm. right now the two big money I I have two big money maker skills maxed out. I have 99 rune crafting and I have 99 farming. Um, mm -hmm. If I get 99 <laughs> Slayer, I will become unstoppable and I will be able to make money in any way that I choose. Mm -mm -mm. But Slayer is rough, you know, Slayer takes a really long time and it's kind of exhausting. I'm doing, I've got a demonic gorillas task at the moment or a black mm. demons task and it's taking a long time. So, and those demonic gorillas, they're very click intensive. So it's difficult to get it, get, get it all done at the moment. Oh but yeah, I'm no. I'm doing my best. The next 99 I get will probably be ranged. My range is 97 at the moment, which I'm just getting from various combat stuff. So mm. you know, we'll see, we'll see. You know, like, I think I was really keen. I, back when I was playing more religiously, I was, I think I made multiple skiller accounts i'd would, I would balance between the three of them and well, so damn. um like i think i had ugh, shoot i had a range skiller accounts um a strength skiller account and an attack skiller accounts but no i think no screw the range it was i think it was a uh, woodcutting i think because it's the easiest afk one and so um i balanced between the three of them but like my favorite thing with my skiller accounts is having high hp and having high attack Going to Al Karid and doing the duels without with unsuspecting folks. Because mm. the overall you level is low. You were a duel arena person. <laughs> yeah, you I was were a there dueler, taking yeah. stakes. You were there farming bills off of oh, no, like, un unsuspecting I, players. I'd be I'd be fully betting rune ingots. I mean, yeah, fully betting rune. And so at that point, I I think I I cl I crawled my way up so high that um I was basically getting like I had enough money to get rune trimmed like gold trimmed armor. The kicker was, my defense was so low, because it's a skiller account, I couldn't fucking wear it! <laughs> so I just bought it for the sake of having it, but I couldn't ever, even wear it, and it was sad. Ah, you gotta get those ranger boots, you gotta get those, you gotta get that outfit, that, that pure outfit, you know, the one defense outfit. Oh yeah. <laughs> what the pures, what the pure accounts wear, you gotta get that, gotta Yeah, get the, that the uniform of the skillers, yeah. <laughs> those ranger boots. And they're all so... Did you I'm pretty sure you can wear ranger boots with the one defense can't you i'm, I'm pretty, pretty sure you can sure you can yeah mm -mm. the uniform of the scalers also someone said a super earlier saying thanks for clubbing with our beatable oshiaya you guys are welcome to you guys are welcome to view me in whatever way you want it doesn't stop you from being fucking wrong it's like that it's like you're allowed to have your opinion even though it's fucking wrong Oh, yeah, you know, they could, they could think whatever they want. <laughs> you know that that feeling when like, I don't know if you ever had this feeling, but like, you're try you're kind of blitzed, but you're trying not to be blitzed. You're not trying to let people know that you're kind of junk. Yeah. Yeah. It's like being breedable, but trying not to let people know that you're breedable. I, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't say that. <laughs> but I'm just going through it right now. I'm trying really, like, it's, I think the last time this happened, I think I was um, out at a party I didn't, I wasn't supposed to be at. Came home a little bit blitzed, um, was dropped off by a friend, and had to act so hard for my parents to be like, I am not drunk at all. And I reeked of alcohol. I, I was all messed up and everything, and I had to act so hard. I feel like I'm going through that right now. It feels weird. I'm getting more flashbacks. Also, oh, let me close the poll. Who lost? I think I... I okay, okay, I'm gonna call, I'm gonna call bias. I think my chat actively wants me to get fucked up. So I think this is messed up. This is kind of messed up, guys.
Hello? Uh, uh, uh oh, it froze. Uh, 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 what? Uh, uh, uh. What? <laughs> oh, sorry, I just glanced at Twitter and I saw the thing from um, this morning where Fuchan unfortunately is feeling pretty sick at the moment. Mm -mm. And, uh, I, I think I woke up early when I saw that and I wanted to say something to it, but I don't think I, I wound up doing it in the end. But oh no, I did, I did, I did, I did hmm. say something. It, uh, anyway, but I just saw that m m fucking Millie replied to it and said, <laughs> said Lamau Rip Bozo. <laughs> That's on brand. It's very on brand. It's very on brand for Millie. Okay, that burp almost killed me. Okay, let me, let me finish my soju. I'm almost done. Okay, that one hurt. Okay. And now, with that being said, the game show's over. Okay. Okay. Dude, like, what time is it over there? Three. I should let you go. You should go to bed. No, we got another question to do. No, that's the last one. No, it's not. Shit, which, where's the last one? Did I say There's this There's another one you haven't done yet, and I've been waiting for it. Mm -hmm. Which one is it? Which one is it? You know the one. Which one is it? Near the middle. Oh, is it this one? Yes. Oh, okay. You haven't done it yet. Oh, okay. This one, okay. <laughs> I saw this and I've been waiting all goddamn night to share the way I feel. Sure, go, go for it. I'll, I'll go, go ahead. Let, I, I, let me go, go ahead, go ahead. I need some, some water. So. We can rule out combat skills because obviously those are just fairly rudimentary. Uh -huh. The worst skill in the game is thieving because it gives you carpal tunnel. It does, uh, it does. It's cool and cool in concept, but you train it by clicking very fast and it's not fun. Um, uh, mining is hell. Uh, smithing is fine. Fishing is fun. AFK. I like fishing. Fire making is fire making is useless. Cooking is also kind of useless, apart from high level raid requirements. Constru Construction is too expensive. Farming is really satisfying. It's up there. Farming is up there. Listen. Listen. Huh. Uh, for me. I would say it's a toss-up between two skills, and anyone who plays RuneScape is going to argue with me. I'm about to suggest that the two best skills in the game are the most popular uh -huh. and the least popular. Hear me out. The most okay. popular skill in the game, and the one that everyone says is the best, is Slayer. And they're right. Uh -huh, Slayer uh -huh. is a very slow skill to train, but... It earns you an insane amount of money. It does. Unlocks an absurd amount of content. And it's very varied in the methods in which you train it. Being assigned different Slayer tasks allows you to travel to vast different parts of the world and allows you to unlock all sorts of, all sorts of different high, highly optimal methods of getting Slayer XP while making lots of money at the same time. It unlocks bosses. It unlocks new monsters. All sorts of things. Slayer is while... A slow and arduous skill worth it and fun to get involved with it's really but rewarding it's i need to fight for what i believe in uh -huh. the first skill and i've been playing this game for decades the first skill that i ever got to 99 was rune crafting was it huh i i imagine that you'd be either a fire making or a wood cutting uh level uh, 100. I, I used to be i used to be wood cutting but rune crafting caught my hmm. eye and i'll tell you why Go for it, go for it. Rune crafting is a very arduous skill to train. Rune crafting uh -huh. takes hundreds of hours to get to 99. I think I must have spent at least 400 hours getting to 99 rune crafting. And the thing about it is that it's click intensive, it's slow, but you do earn an awful lot of money for virtually no resources put in. And that's the main part. Slayer earns you a lot of money, but you must balance supply costs. And that's mm. a problem. 
Rune crafting, however, requires no supply costs outside of pure essence, which is 2 GP a pop. Mm -hmm. It is yeah. click intensive, but if you can get into a rhythm and you can manage your ticks properly and you can do it in a satisfying way, you can make an absurd amount of money so quickly with at no cost to yourself. And another great thing that I love about rune crafting is the progression at which you train it. Because for me, I genuinely, I was around like 50 woodcutting a few years ago, like maybe three, four years ago. Mm -hmm. Suddenly I was hyper-focused. I was like, I'm going to do rune crafting. And so I went to the Arania altar and I just started training it every single day, filling my pouches, spending my runes on the bank guy in there. Mm -hmm. I did a quest. I did the Lunar Diplomacy quest to get the optimal teleport for that. Damn, you got that one, one done? Okay, method. shit. That's, that's, I was doing all of that for weeks. I was just running back and forth and back and forth and back and forth just to get 77 rune crafting so that I could go to the Arania, to the, um, the Zaya rune crafting. And Zaya rune crafting is so, so relaxing. It's so slow. It's mm -hmm. immensely slow. I don't think I've spent as much time in the game anywhere apart from at the Zaya altars. But mm. you sit there, you spend no money. All you do is you relax, you listen to your favorite music, you sit in this chill, gray, stony area, you wander over to the altar, click on it, chisel away at some rock, click on it again, and you go back to mining. You get mining XP, you get crafting XP, you get a lot of rune crafting XP at a very easy, non-click intensive method, and you make an awful lot of money. I am a I am a martyr slain upon the blood of the blood <laughs> altar. Slain upon the altar of blood. And I stand by it as being it was my gateway into the end game. Because hmm. I, there was no material cost. The only cost was time. If you pick rune crafting as your first, like I did, you wind up with so much money to spend that any skill you choose next is yours for the taking. So I would say uh -huh. that for my money, my favorite skill still is rune crafting because of the memories that I made while I was training it. But I understand that from a design standpoint, I think Slayer is the best. Bro, it's like. Not gonna, I was a little lost through parts of it, but I was so convinced. <laughs> I'm thoroughly convinced. Dude. That's like, okay, okay. With me, I think, um, I'm just speaking from experience, but I always thought that the, um, I always prioritize. I think I, I've had, I have, okay, I'll give, I'll be honest. I have, um, three Sclare accounts, uh, of course, but one of them has three iterations. I tried making an attack skill account three times and they like two of them failed and the one that last one that's alive is is, is the one that I end up sticking with for to get the, the skill cape and everything. Um I like the okay, listen here, but it was so like so it was such like a mid two thousands thing to flex your attack. It was like it's such a mix like a mid two thousands thing. It was like if you were a free player and you were cool, you would max out your attack stats, right? And so mm. what I what I did to grind it is I'd pop open that sweet, sweet Nickelodeon in the background. And then I go to Falador and I kill the guards there because they drop grapes, right? And you can make wine out of the grapes. And so I would attack the the, the guards at Falador, collect the grapes, sell them at a ridiculous r uh, rate at the Grand Exchange, make hella money, get bitches. And so my uh, one of my uh, buying GF fifty k exactly. I literally said so like you know like isn't there like that that uh, format you can use in the chat to like wiggle your text, make it turn blue, and that sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Selling grapes, selling grapes. Yeah, that's what I do. I'd be like selling grapes, selling grapes. One three hundred GP each. That sort of thing. I do that for hours, and I think it's like you're giving such a logical, like such like a nice, like long, uh, long uh, personal experience with RuneCraft. I'm like, well. I sat at the GE for like hours just selling my wares as a, some, a humble grape salesman slash attack skiller. <laughs> but <laughs> Honestly, I think every I think that is personal in itself though. And also mm -hmm. it's such a fundamental part of that classic RuneScape experience. Yeah, in the yeah. same way that maybe the most iconic line in all of RuneScape would be the one guy who went to the GE and said selling 13 trouts. <laughs> this man had been fishing for a couple of minutes to get 13 trouts, and he was specifically selling that many. Trouts meant something to him, and he believed in their place in the market, and so he went to sell it. And, you know, mm -mm. 
I, I always enjoy talk. I always enjoy playing RuneScape on stream because, like, not a lot of people who actually who watch me have actually played it nor mm -hmm. understand it, which is fine. Like, they just enjoy. It's an older I feel game really too. blessed. I feel really blessed that they like want to watch me play something I enjoy anyway. Yeah, yeah, but that's good. The thing, but the thing about it is that I remember this one point where I where I was like talking about a certain item that I that I really wanted to get. Mm -hmm. I was talking about the the, the blade of Sailor, which was like a late game. Ooh, I don't know what mm -hmm, and I mentioned like I'm pretty sure it's like 150 mil, and I said, "Oh, the mar oh the market did crash recently," and they were like, "There's a market." I'm like, "Of there course, is. there's a there market. Is. There is. Of course, the prices fluctuate in mm -hmm. RuneScape. Of course, it's people complex. keep an eye on the RuneScape market and pr do profit projections and shorting and sh stocks and shit like that, and mm -hmm. apes together strong hodl the monkey nut stock and all that kind of shit." Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. it, Yeah, it, it really is. And it's like, it's like, that's why, like, RuneScape's also, like, I enjoy the game also for nostalgia value as well, but also it's like, it's a chill kind of, like, clicky-clicky game. You don't need some psychotic skill to play. I feel like the, the barrier to entry for RuneScape is really pretty low, honestly. It'll run in your computer just fine. It's easy to pick up. It's hard to put down. The, 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 the barrier for entry in RuneScape is taking it seriously. Like, if you huh. give it a chance, you will get hooked absolutely if mm -hmm. you sort of see it for what it is and you're like oh this is fun and you just kind of keep playing it in the background and then you start doing the free-to-play quests i would say that people will be on and off about runescape until they beat dragon slayer as soon yeah, as you've done dragon slayer first. you are hooked for life there is no way out mm -hmm. you will never quit you will only ever take an extended break yeah pretty much i feel like after that like once you get through that quest um yeah, you kind of are stuck because I think most people who fall out of RuneScape, I think a good first question, if you start RuneScape and you fall out, ask them if you finish this, the, that quest first. Because <laughs> if they fall out, that probably means they haven't even touched the quest yet. I feel like afterwards you're kind of hook, line, sinker, you know? <coughs> okay. Excuse me. Yeah. Gesundheit. Mm -hmm. I found out I didn't finish one of my white claws. I'm going to finish right now. My bones feel like rubber. You know that feeling when, like, parts of your body go numb when you're kind of drunk? Yeah. Mm hmm I'm going a little numb. Mm hmm Oh, no. Okay, but... You just reminded me of that Kanye West likes fingers in his ass thing. Wait, what? You ever heard of that? No. With Sans and... Uh, what, what, what's the person's name from Danganronpa? Dang it, Ron Paul? I don't know. Uh, Danganronpa, Komaida, or whatever their name is. It's the it's him and him or her. I'm not sure what him, they, her. I'm not sure. I haven't played Danganronpa. Komaida, that's it. Mm -hmm. And Sans. They sing this. So, so have you played Undertale? Yes, I have. You know Asgore from the end? Yeah, the yeah. Mm -hmm. You know his theme song? Yeah, a good song. It's a good song. It's a fantastic song. So it's essentially it's that song, but it's uh but instead of going but to the tune, it goes, Kanye West, he likes big fingers in his ass. Kanye West, he likes big fingers in his ass. Kanye West, he likes big fingers in his ass. And it goes on like that. And then the, when you said parts of my body go numb, it reminds me of his like, it's like, Kanye West, he likes fingers in his ass. Kanye West, he likes fingers in his ass. How, and then it, it, like, how do you make a connection? So, there's just this one line where it says, till his butthole goes numb. And I just remembered that. And I don't know why. I just, I, 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 I couldn't stop thinking. I had, to, I had to let everybody go. I had to let everybody know that that's what I was thinking. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> it reminds me, they, they did a redo for Deltarune with the Chaos King, or whatever his name is. I haven't played with yet. The, with his song, and, and they did, they redid it with the same voice. It's like, Kanye West, he likes! Fingers, 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 fingers. Fingers, 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 fingers. fingers, fingers. You should do a cover. Is this, bada, 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 bada. Is this the real cover, that? Bada, 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 bada. I haven't, I haven't played Delta Rune yet. I need to get around to it. I know it's a good game. It is super good. It is really, really good. How do you a, think worthy, it, a worthy sequel, I think. How do you think it matches up? Does it follow up the first one well? It's different, but it has that classic Toby Fox sense of humor. It's huge. It feels mm. really big. Like a big deal. There's said. a lot going on in Delta mm. Rune. It's really fun. Please, mm. please, please, please play it. You, you will mm. love it, genuinely. Yeah, I really 
enjoyed the first one. It's like, not many games make me cry, TBH. I, I teared up a little bit at the end of Under Undertale. I made sure to go for me the pacifist too. run. Oh, me too. Ooh. The pacifist ending is so wonderful. But like, I can, so. I can talk forever about how much so I love dumb. Undertale. It's like... Bro, I have also like the music. The music in Undertale, I still ironically listen to the music from Undertale. I remember back like in 2016, there's like a bajillion like EDM remixes of Undertale songs. I still listen to them to be honest. It's like like Asgore's theme and the fact that what's what's Toriel's theme again? What's it called? Hearts. Bum 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 bum. Heartache, heartache, right? Bum 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 Uh Fallen Down, it's called. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and it's really cool how like different parts of the songs, especially like between Toriel and Asgore, they reflect each other because like they're connected. It's mm. it's uh, so good. And then like just the Undertale acoustic theme like on the guitar is so good. I I yeah. I, I never not tear up listening to it. It's that good. Way. 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 <laughs> Guys, <laughs> chat, chat. Have you ever seen? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tweet this right now. I'm gonna tweet this video right now. It's a video of a cat, and he has a cough. And I showed this, I showed this to I, I showed this to Aya earlier, and uh, it made me very. It made. It, it's a video that makes me very pleased. Uh, let me, let me, let me see if I can't find this. Uh, hold on. Where would it be? Where would it be here? <laughs> Is this the one? There it is. <laughs> so I'm gonna post a video on Twitter right now, guys, and uh, I want you to l look at this cat. And then on the first, the, the first time he goes where, it sounds like Professor McGonagall from Harry Potter getting shoved down a flight of stairs. Here it goes. I'm tweeting it now. Your video file could not be processed. Uh, rip. Process my fucking dick and balls, you <laughs> cuck. Good, great. I, I, I love I, you. Molding is kind of it's kind of adorable. It's great. Process these. <laughs> Process. Look at this funny accent. Could not be processed. Well. <laughs> Shit. I, I don't know. What, what do I do now then? What do I do now? You I can, can't post you can do a, You can do a vocal reenactment of the video. Okay, so it's a little it's a little cat and <laughs> there's a Snapchat filter and it says Marty has a cough. And Marty goes... <laughs> <laughs> and the first one is just... <laughs> and it sounds like <laughs> Professor McGonagall getting shoved on the flight. <laughs> Do it again. Make the sound again. <laughs> you, have a, you, you, have, you have a nice laugh. It makes me smile. Do, do, do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. <laughs> this is fantastic. I feel like I'm fucking babysitting right now. <laughs> chat, listen, chat, listen to this laugh. You guys, you, 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 you. Aya, remind me, what are your fans called again? Uh, I admire us, right? Uh, yeah. You guys are so lucky to have an Oshi with a laugh that's that adorable. I hate my laugh, dude. My parents saw my what laugh. What are you talking about? That was the most beautiful thing I've ever heard. I my felt like I was like... in, I felt like I was in the fucking Royal Albert Hall listening to fucking, uh, an opera being projected uh, directly into my ears and a tear was a rolling down my face as I realized that I would never in my life produce something of artistic value equal to what I was listening to in that moment. No, I, no, I would snort with my laugh. I don't like it. I like it. Uh, I am going to be Switzerland. What, what is that mean? What is that in, refer in reference to? It's just a man. He's like, I'm going to be Switzerland. <laughs> and he transforms into the country of Switzerland, which is a very bold move, to be honest. If, if I was chatting to a motherfucker and he became Switzerland, I would just simply shit myself on the spot. Do you ever just anamorph into a country? <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever just Switzerland? <laughs> Can you wish he likes me things in his ass? <laughs> 
だ。<笑><笑>
I think Jack my Black. my opinions are based. I will still defend my shower or I might have a shower oh, orange after this. I never told you about Paddington. Oh yeah, tell me about Paddington. Tell me about the books Padding processing. So Paddington is a book from the 1950s mm. and is something that pretty much everyone in the UK is aware of. Whether you were a parent who read Paddington to their kids or you were a kid who grew up with Paddington, for the past hundred years, basically, Paddington has been a really important part of British culture. Paddington is a bear. He's an adorable little bear who talks and stands on his hind legs and wears a blue coat and a little red hat. And he's called Paddington because when he immigrated from darkest Peru, as they call it in the books, he is found by a family at Paddington Station in London. And because he's in Paddington Station, they think, well, he doesn't have a name. Let's call him Paddington. And the Paddington films are the most adorable most british hilarious and yet the most heartwarming shit that you can watch and i mean i mean in the nick cage movie he's like what do you mean paddington's your favorite movie what are you talking about and he shows him paddington and he's like that was the greatest movie i've ever seen and he's not it's not even a joke there's such adorable sweet films about this lovely little bear who tries to use the tube and then gets stuck in the doors and is like oh bother and he's like, oh, I always keep a marmalade sandwich in my hat for emergencies. Paddington is a cultural icon, and he's met the Queen, too. He sounds so pleasant. Is he... Uh, uh, he I like his little jacket. He's got a lovely... Have you Googled him? you got to Google Paddington. I, I Googled him earlier. I have the he's tab so on him still. He's so cute. He's so cute. He's a little... Oh, he's a little bear. Oh, he's a little bear. He's uh. Paddington. Oh, it's cute. It's cute. It's called a hard stare. You use it when someone's forgotten their manners. A hard stare. I feel like I'm so sensitive that someone could give me a hard stare and I'd cry. <laughs> someone once told Paddington me... That... Is, Paddington's very good at hard stares. His aunt oh, Lucy no. told, him to do, told, told him to do them when someone's forgotten their manners. Don't tell anyone, but like, if someone just looks at me the wrong way, I might actually cry. I'm gonna follow the Paddington Bear Twitter account right now. Oh, this is so cute. Oh, it's so cute. He just tweets stuff like, I think I would like a hot cocoa. It doesn't Aww. cost me anything to be kind. It's time for a war. God, I'm gonna it's, start crying thinking about Paddington. It sounds a little bit like Winnie the Pooh. A little bit. Like saying, oh, bother. Like, he, he doesn't... Paddington, the official Paddington Twitter is not marketing anything. It's not marketing the film. He is just tweeting Paddington's thoughts. This is the, this is the cutest shit I've ever seen. This have is you the ever most adorable seen... shit I've ever seen. Have you ever oh seen the, my god! The Radio Shack Twitter account. If we're kind and polite, the world will be right. Thank you. <sighs> Chat. If any of you guys give Paddington shit, I will personally kill you. Have you seen the Radio Shack Twitter account though? Isn't it, isn't it all super funny and hilarious? Yeah, I think someone like tweeted like was when that, the interns... was it was it was it too mad who bought the radio or like Odin became the CEO of Radio Shack. The Shack is back with the picture of Gru on the banner. I just remember there's a tweet that I saw that was like it was like if she's a squirter, she's a keeper. <laughs> oh, I heard about that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> If there's one thing I want, if there's one thing I want all over my stomach after I make after I make a lady come, it's uh, a little bit of this, a little bit, a little bit of squirt. Isn't that just a glamorous piss? It is, but it's huh. wonderful because it's it's like a trophy, you know. I guess I think like the the yeah, it is kind of like a trophy, kind of like it's the like head a of a wild animal. I, I would I would get the squirt in my hands and I would crush it like uh, the guy from Despicable Me, you know, it's like. This apple represents you. I would just get the squirt. I would, you know. Uh, uh. Yeah, that makes sense. Huh. <laughs> Ew, that's pee. No. That's pee. That. <laughs> Disgusting. If this is the consequence for eating pussy, then I guess I will have to live with the consequences. 
Me too, I guess. Sure. <laughs> What? 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 Why is he gone again? I can't remember what this sound effect is. Oh, oh it's the Better Call Saul one. <laughs> what, what is Better Call Saul? I don't know what that is. It's a spin-off show from Breaking Bad. You shouldn't watch it if you haven't seen Breaking Bad. Mm. I don't know. Walter. I don't know Walter. what that is. Walter? Walter. Walter. Put your dick away, Walter. Walter. I'm not having sex with you right now, Walter. 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 I'm not having sex with you right now, Walter. Walter. Oh shit, I should probably check the poll. I should probably check the poll, right? You're, you you, are, oh, you are, yeah. Surprise, surprise, most people are voting for Cobux. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I guess it's time for Aya to do a Batsu, but then she is drunk. Chat, would it be responsible of us to no, get her to I, do a Batsu? I, I agreed to do a Batsu when I wrote the outline for the stream. <laughs> So can, All right, chat. What are we? Do what that. are we gonna? What are we gonna make this angelic maiden do? Uh, 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 uh. My tiny, my shiny teeth that sparkle, just like the stars in space. I see you that twinkle, bring beauty to my face. Yay, Ooh. that was beautiful. Thank well you. Done. I'm taking vocal lessons. I hope I'm I hope I hope oh, it's working. Nice. Yeah. I'm, you gonna do a karaoke stream? I'm too nervous. Do it. I did one and I had a lot of fun. Mm, yeah, I listened in. It was good. I was busy. I was at the Luna Institute, but I gave it a listen when I could. It was good. It was really... Mm. Uh, you, like, I like the production value and the stuff that you do. You put a lot of effort, and I can tell. It's because I can't sing, and so I just distract them all with pretty lights and colors. Honestly, um, my brain, my brain's so smooth and marble-like that works on me, so... Yeah, that's the one. That's the one. You gotta, mm. you gotta just be like, Bleh! Colors! Shoost! And they're like, wow! Yeah, I like, <coughs> I like shoes. Yeah, you know, I was kind of, I was confused at first because Ike Senpai told me about shoes. I thought he said shoes, like one of my favorite, like Uthai the singers. And I was like, oh, wait, we gotta talk to him. And no, it's just it's a plug-in. It's different. Dang it. I I'm too scared to do karaoke though. It's like I don't know. Being singing is singing is scary. I was gonna say something funny and I completely forgot what it was. Hmm. What did you just say? Singing is scary. It is scary. You know, it's incredible of me, considering I have a cover coming out, uh, technically tomorrow. Mm, uh, I'm looking forward to it. I have a cover coming out and I'm supposed to be hmm. marketing it and here I am telling people on main that I cannot sing. Oh, no, no, Mark, are you, am I eating up too much of your time? Go, Mark, do, do what you need to do. Hmm? I think it's my audio. Hello? Oh, you're making that noise! Okay. Okay. You sound like a xenomorph. Uh, nice. Uh, stop! Stop! No! Stop! 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 Bitches call me the Gudge. The Gudge? The... The Gudge. Alright.
Uh, Chat, what Batsu are we giving Aya? Uh, I, I'd like to help, I don't know how to read. Nah, me neither. No, wait, I can't read. You know, hate comments never bother me because I don't know how to read. What are you doing after this? I hope you're sleeping. It's late. What am I doing after this? I don't fuck it. I need to make my thumbnail for tomorrow. I'm playing. Guys, I got my 3DS set up working. I can play Mario Kart DS specifically. The DS one on my on, on stream and I'm so excited. I love that. It's so nostalgic. We're just going to sit there and that stream, the stream I'm going to do tonight, it's literally just going to be me sat there with my 3ds going he, 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 the whole time <laughs> that is just gonna be it you're not tuning in to Aww. see mario kart you're here that you're, you're there to see me go oh that's sweet i'm glad you get it. you ha you can stream the things you the like the title streaming. is gonna be something like <laughs> very intimidating scary demon looks at funny polygon game and goes he, he, he. <laughs> that's not, i'm glad you have the opportunity it's i think I was talking to Ike Senpai a while back. He was really excited to like, uh, to play Mystery Dungeon. Apparently, that's one of his favorite games. And I'm glad y'all. I'm glad. It makes me happy when I see the other members like get a chance to play games they genuinely like on stream. You know, it's it warms my heart. Ah, uh. uh, stop. No, no. Ah. Hmm. I wonder if. Okay, listen. This one's kind of an easy one, but I have an idea. Chad, how do you feel about this for Abatsu? She uh -huh. has to, in a very spirited way, on a voice tweet on Twitter, she has to read out the um, Hawk monologue from the lighthouse. <laughs> In as spirited and as sailory of a voice as you can. Bid her father bellow the sea king rise from the depths full foul in his fury. <laughs> yeah, that'd be fun. Wait, uh, am I allowed to have fun in bosses? Alright, let me let me let me get the speech for you. Okay. When should I when is it do? Uh just do it now. Okay. Wait, do I have to do in a just, voice just, tweet or do it right now? Yeah, just do just do a voice tweet. Just just grab your phone. Mm -hmm. You know. You can but, you can freeze for a little bit. Just grab your phone, record it, put it on Twitter, and then you'll be done for the day. Okay. Uh do I have to sound like a sailor? Uh you can if you want. I think it'd be better if you did, but it's up to you. Okay. It's your batsu. Okay. I don't, I don't, what does sailors sound like? Yar, you SpongeBob, you're stealing all of me money. Yar, 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 yar. <clears throat> okay, I freeze now. Let me freeze on. Let me freeze on a funny face. Hold on, hold on. Okay, I freeze on funny face. Mm. How do I do this? Okay, uh, how do you make a voice tweet? Just button? Oh wait, wait, wait! You gotta oh. start. You gotta start with the um. Hold on, hold on. You gotta start with the proper beginning. Hold on. Mm. What was it? What does it mean? What is the proper beginning? Hey, mean? no, no, no. I, I, there's one line I forgot. Ah. Uh. Okay, let me let me sit up straight for a second. I've been slot. I've been having the cashew back. Okay. I'm looking forward to this. Okay. Ah. <clears throat> uh. Okay. Well, that's a lot. I can't. Re okay, I'll do my best. I'll do my best. Hi. Go oh, fuck. I got it wrong already. Hold on, let me try again. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Do I, do, delete. Okay. Can you? I go again. This one. Okay. Okay. Damn ye! Let Neptune strike ye dead, Winslow. Hark! Hark! Triton! Hark! Bellow, bid our father, the Sea King, rise from the depths full foul in history. 
black waves teeming with salt foam to smother this young mouth in pungent slime to choke ye and gorging your organs till ye turn blue and bloated with bilge and brine and can scream no more only when he crowns in cockle shells with slithering tentacle tail and steaming beard take up his fell beef and arm his coral tine trident screeches banshee like in the tempest and plunges right through your gullet bursting ye a bulging bladder no more but a blasted bloody film now and nothing for the harpies and the souls of dead sailors to peck and claw and feed upon only to be lapped up and swallowed by the infinite waters of the dread emperor himself forgotten to any man to any time forgotten to any god or devil forgotten to even the sea for any stuff or part of winslow even any scanting of your soul is winslow no more but is now itself the sea yeah Let's go! Come on! Okay. Well, yay, I did it! Let's go! She did it! She did it! She is... She is... Thomas Wick from the lighthouse. Ugh. Oh, oopsie. I, I think I posted it wrong. Can you check Twitter? Did I post it right? I'm checking Twitter right now. I'm mm -hmm. checking your Twitter page right now. I'm not seeing it. It's still uploading. I'll give it a sucky. Uh, I will, I will, I will, I will keep an eye. Okay, I think it's up now. <laughs> Did I do it right? Oh, hiccups. I see it, I see it. Okay. Is it okay? I feel like my voice is not suited to these Why did you things. tag it Aya Amate Bath? <laughs> oh. Oh, uh, did I? It's fine. It's a part of the experience. Uh. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna quote retweet. I'm gonna say. But I I'm said. I said. I typed in Batsu. You just wrote the word boss. <laughs> Oops. I think. I think I misspelled it. Sorry. Does it still count? All right, have it your way. I like your cooking. I like your cooking. Your cooking looks like it tastes good, senpai. Thank you. You should try my cooking, cooking really one fun. day. Hmm? You should try my cooking one day. I'm quite the I cook myself. That. If you would like to treat me to a meal, I shall certainly partake. I imagine it would be wonderful. Yeah, I wanna, uh, have you ever had Vietnamese food? I love Vietnamese food. I love pho. <gasps> I think it's beautiful. Mm, I love pho. Have you had gác I don't think I don't believe I have no. Gakha is like a really famous dish. It's like you take you like uh, I might if you don't like fishy, this might not be for you. But it doesn't taste like fishy. It tastes very beefy almost. It's like mm. you get a, a catfish and cut it into steaks. Then you put it in a clay pot with a bunch of ingredients like like coconut Ooh. soda, and then you let it caramelize Ooh. in the pot, and it kind of gets all flaky and soft and sweet and salty. That sounds good. It's kind of funny image of Huel from Breaking Bad. I never watched Breaking Bad. It's the bald man about the blue rocks, yes? It's the bald man with the blue rocks. He says, Jesse, we need to cook. <laughs> I want to cook blue rocks, too. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? That, that's mm. going to be it. Chat, me and Aya, we're going to be the ones... We're going to be the ones to break into that market. We're going to be the ones who sell all the blue rocks to the other, mm. uh, the other Navy Sanji members. Yeah, and the blue rocks are just raw turquoise from Arizona. That's exactly it. They're just pretty looking blue rocks. Definitely no other effects than that. Definitely. <laughs> Sorry, I burped. Excuse me. Okay, uh... Jesse, 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 don't call this number. My wife can't know that I'm a gamer. Yeah, bitch, <laughs> Chopper Gunner. <laughs> I like your voice, funny man. Oh, <laughs> uh, thank you, Aya. I like your voice too, especially oh, when ew. you're doing the sailor voice. 
I hate my voice. What are you talking about? What I the hell are you talking about? I sound I think like... Your, I, 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 think, I think your voice is exceptionally cute, and I have to say, uh... I was enthralled by your getting over it streams that you did when you first debuted and how every time you were about to fall you made all these delightful little hentai noises i thought they were just nice. like fantastic. i don't make hands i make a point to avoid those i don't want to get clipped out of context chat but like, chat chat tell I us never she, does, do it. She? she does she does i never do it Sorry, that was that was Baba. That was Baba. I just grabbed his little monkey arms and he started drumming. I'm having a out of a body experience. I think your audio is being weird. Oh yeah, your stream is a little, a little funky. Uh oh, uh oh, that's not good. Oh, I remember. I, 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 I told uh, one of the the sun sun planes that I sound like a neurotic villager from Minecraft. Uh, nah, that, nah, bro, that's uh, Anna. That's Anna. Don't worry about it. Uh, Anna Senpai's voice is beautiful. Nah, Anna, Anna is a, has a beautiful singing voice. When she's talking, she sounds like a very depressed SpongeBob. Take that back. Anna Senpai's nah, voice she, is nah, great. Nah, she agrees with me. She knows. Take it she knows back. She knows. Take it back. No, no, I won't take it oh. back because it's true. I hit. Sorry, I hit the the bleep button. Sorry, You're bleep. so drunk. Sorry. I meant it. I, I meant to hit uh, just the button, but I hit that one instead. Alright, Anna, I'm sorry that I told the truth about you online. Mmm. Wait, that wasn't an apology! Yeah, it is. No, it's not. That was an, un that was an unapology. That's not <laughs> nice. I'm telling. <laughs> Staff son, Fox and Pies. Staff son, I am up. slandering your other talents online. Come at me. Mm. What did you do? Did I do okay in the bot suit? Did I do it right? I think you did. What did you do to it? I think you did. Okay, cool. Yeah. Cool beans. I think you did. Yeah. Cool beans. Oh. <laughs> Kyo, are you happy? Reasonably. Mm. Okay. I I'm gonna let you. I need to read. I need to read Supa and close out. I need to pee. Do you mind? Sit Can I go to the bathroom? Yeah, you go to the bathroom. I'll talk. Okay. To, I'll talk to your child. Uh -uh. Keep him company. I'll be right don't back. Worry about it. Don't worry about it. You, 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 you stay safe. You, you, you make sure you don't slip over on the way. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick. And away she goes. Chat, she's really adorable, isn't she? Just listen to that. It's like, all right, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. That's so cute. I'm glad she's had a good time today. Thank you guys for being so patient, even when I impromptu left for an hour because I was trying to help a very upset man outside my apartment building. I felt very bad for him, but uh, he he's, he's he's definitely in a safe place now, so I feel better. How have you guys been this evening? It's been lovely to get to hang out with you a little longer. I'm probably going to delay the Mario Kart stream by a bit. I need to get some better sleep. I really need to get some better sleep. I want to just like have a full night's sleep where I go like... You know? I've been playing more God of War. I'm excited. Uh, I'm not sure when the ending is. I'm just enjoying the ride at this point. I just enjoy the story. I just enjoy the story, even though, even though the characters are like, are like the the square goes in the square hole. <laughs> All right, this is the square. Where, where does the square go? The, 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 the square hole. The square hole. That's right. It's the square hole. Yes. And now, what about the rectangle? I rectangle the, 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 the rectangle the rectangle that's right it goes in the square hole what? now what about the triangle where does that go the, 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 the triangle the triangle that's right it goes in this it goes in the square hole oh no no the the, the arch the arch yeah it goes in the arch no that's right it goes in the square hole oh god 
Have you seen the video of the guy who puts all of the shapes into the square hole, and there's a lady who has a full-blown mental breakdown because she keeps getting it wrong? Let me show you the square hole. Let me show you the square hole. Oh, it's actually the lady who does, like, the reaction to it. Genuinely, she's a really talented actress. Like, you can tell the fucking emotion on her face is is pretty genuine. Bless you! She has such a good sneeze, doesn't she? Ah, oh, yeah, you're still muted. I didn't realize you're still muted. Thank you. What? what? Did you post in the VC? I did, yeah. Oh. Now let me take a look see. <laughs> Any hole is a goal. Goes in the square hole. have a preference for one type of hole. That's okay. That's true. That's true. Sometimes one kind of hole uh, just does it. You're funny. You're a funny, funny, fucking funny, 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 funny. No, no. Thank you for the super. For the video. Thank you for the super. Yes, it's super video, isn't it? Mm. Am I still muted? No. Uh, no, you're good. You're good. Oh. Do you want to call it there? Do you want to call it there? Are you? Okay. You seem like you're getting pretty wasted. Mm. <laughs> Bless you. Excuse me. Bless you. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Okay, we can be done. I need to read my soup buzz and stuff. Should I do the next stream? What? You could always do it next. I would say maybe get a rest in first because mm. trying to read them all while you're drunk is probably going to be uh, pretty, pretty difficult. Okay. Sing with me, sing for the year. Stay with me. My own account, what a Oh, sorry, get out. But. We're done, you can go now. Oh, I'm a vibrate. Oh, he look he. Shake, 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 you shake it. Shake, 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 shake it. Shake it. Alright, Aya, thank you very much for having me on. I had a lovely, lovely time. Yeah. Have fun with your chat, and I will see you another time. Yeah. I hope that you're not too drunk and you can take care of yourself, okay? Uh, I'm big. Well, thank you for your time. I appreciate it. I was uh, okay, to I this. mean, being be the bigger they are, the harder they fall, is all I'm saying. I'm right, seated. See it's okay. Soon. Okay, right. thank see you. Soon, Aya. Thank you for having me. Bye bye. bye.
Saw my cat in the hallway and gave her a smooch. I'm allergic to my cat a little bit. And so I get sneezy after I give kitty smooch. That's not a euphemism for anything, by the way. Why is my YouTube live studio constantly crashing? Is it because there's a lot of you in here? Is that why? Yeah, my my studio room keeps 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 crashing. Oh, <laughs> I can, I can still read supas in the meantime though. Mm hmm. Thanks for coming in. Hi, Kindred. Thank you for singing. But hi, I admires. Hi, Kindred. Hi, passerby. Thank you for thank you for singing. My thank you thank you thank you thank you. I'm glad I didn't get too noivous. I feel like... I don't know, sometimes I freeze up a little bit. Not, not so much anymore, but sometimes I, 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 I freeze up a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, Vox and Pyro's being very accommodating. Because I, I had to... I had an app a last second appointment. I, I went to the ER a while back, and I had to check in on something. As I'm kind of experiencing a few weird issues right now. And, um, I had to swing by, um, swing by and get something checked out again. So, uh, yeah, everything's okay. I'm no longer in any danger or anything. So that's good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm doing okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm good. I'm good. I'll be just fine. Yeah, don't worry about me. I hope I'm not concerning y'all when I talk about my health and stuff. Mm. Yeah, I'm doing okay. I don't like sharing too much about my health. Wait, I shared about my health. Wait, hold on, never mind. You know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> this was fun. This was fun. Thank you for all the supas, no? Thank you for sticking around and watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, it's not often I get so many people in, in my stream, so thank you for giving me the time. I appreciate it. Uh, I appreciate your, your time, and thank you for interacting. Uh, I'm sorry I could not respond. Um, I couldn't respond to... Um, what's the word? The chat? Very much? Yeah. I feel like, uh, I tend to, to, um, like, 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 uh, how you say, like, not check chat as much during collapse, I'm trying to be a good host. So, yeah. Mm hmm But, Vox and Pyrus being very sweet and accommodating for my, um, unpredictable schedule. So, I had to change, like, the, the, the collab, like, four times. And he was uh, super accommodating the entire time. I drink water. Okay, I'll drink water. He was being like accommodating the whole time. Mmm. Thank you. Yeah, I think like the 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 the, the game show with Mika Senpai was a lot of fun, and so I wanted to do it again, but I uh, I I got I, I lost. I fucked up. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I'm trying my best. Am I really a good host? Thank you, I appreciate it. That's awfully sweet of you. Thank you very much. I appreciate the compliments, thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. It's getting kind of... Let me put my glasses back on. Hold on. I took off my glasses first. So let me put them back on. Okay, now I can actually see. Okay. Mmm, thank you. Y'all are too sweet. I, 
I saw like... Uh, thank you. I, I don't think I have energy to read all of it. But I... I thank you for all the... Excuse me. Thank... Excuse me. Excuse me. Thank you for all the... Um... Uh... The supas in the interaction. I appreciate it. And, uh... Thank you. Welcome to all the new members. I'm sorry I didn't read you as you're flying by. Um... And, um... Thank you... Thank you for... Uh... All the gifted memberships. And thank you for, uh... Uh... Hanging out with me in Vox Senpai. Uh, thank you for being interactive and voting. Thank you for watching and sticking around. Uh, and thank you for um, the supas. And thank you for um, the membership. And yeah. I I'll read them tomorrow. Tomorrow. Tomorrow is, um... Mm, tomorrow is... Uh... Tomorrow is... Am I looking yet? Oh, right. Tomorrow is the Batsu. I'm gonna be reading some of my... The fanfic I used to write. Um... Back in the day. And I think uh, I counted all the votes. And, um... We're gonna be reading... My parts of my old LX Lights from Death Note fanfic I wrote many, many a year ago. Um, yeah, many, many a year ago I, I wrote it. And, um, it was, it's kind of shit. Um, so I'm gonna be reading parts of my fanfic and, um, eating some spicy ramyun. And what was the, the, the hot chicken one? It, it starts with a B. Uh, I don't speak Korean. I barely speak English. Mm hmm. Yeah. Go to bed. No! I don't wanna go to bed. Don't wanna. If if you don't behave, I'm gonna yeet. I'm gonna yeet. The I admirer. Yeet. Yeah. Yeah. But I do have a stomach condition. I hope I don't like die. I mean, like I'm here for a good time, not a long time. So like that's cool, I guess. But like. Thank you for swinging by, Kindred. Thank you for giving me a chance and swinging by my stream. Your Oshi is a good dude. I'm thumb I'm doing a thumbs up. Your Oshi is a nice guy. Yeah. He's very sweet. You've made a good choice. Mm-hmm. Let's yeah, tomorrow is the Batsu stream. And then after that is Minecraft. Um, and after that, I have a day off to do some stuff. Um, I guess I can say it now. I feel I feel comfortable saying it. D and D one shots coming up next week. Um, I've been dropping teasers and hints here and there, but I think I've been too subtle. So I'll say it right here. Um, D and D with um, uh. Some of Niji Ian. I'm having a four-player party um, next week. Um, I think next Saturday. Um, I'll post more about it when it's ready. Um, I'm going to be taking the two days leading up to D and D to um, uh, take a, to get some rest and prepare for the campaign for the one shot. Um, so my apologies. I'll be missing again for a portion of the week. I, I've, I'm sorry. I feel like I've been. Taking too many breaks lately, so my apologies. I mean to, I mean to be more active and interactive with everyone, but I just been very uh, busy lately. Um, yeah, but but yes, but uh, the D and D, D and D is happening. Then D and D's nuts. 
Yeah. So sorry for taking so many breaks, but I need to take another break next week to prepare because D&D &D is a massive undertaking. Like, it, I, I have mad respect for, for Reza Senpai. Um, he's really good at what he does. So, um, I hope to be as good as a DM as him. And then, um, I'd like to invite him to my table sometime too. He expressed interest in... ...in letting me DM him. So, hopefully he can finally stop being the forever DM and be a player for once. I think that'd be nice. He deserves it. He deserves to just sit back and enjoy a game. He deserves it. He's very sweet. Oh shit, I need to ask my players for their character sheets so I can draw their models. I'll do that tomorrow. Um, yeah, and then on Sunday is my maid RP ASMR. Now, I'm no Vox Akuma, that's for sure. But I'm going to try my best. I finished writing a lot of stuff for it. And uh, yeah, hopefully everything will be good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was going to do something. I was going to click on something for gore. Uh oh. I forgot. Mm. Oopsies. I got drunk faster than I was expecting. It's I'm in that weird headspace where like I'm aware. I'm becoming aware that I'm inebriated, but at the same time, I can't uninebriate myself. So I'm ner I'll be on I'm really scared. I'm really nervous. Like I feel like if I don't do a good job at D&D, I'm gonna, you know, it's like, it's something I'm really passionate about and I want it to go well, so I'm kind of nervous, to be honest. I'm kind of scared. Yeah. Mm-mm. Yeah. I hope everything goes okay. I don't want to disappoint anyone. Mm-mm. It, it's, it's meant to be a small, sca small scope for a one-shot, too, but... It's just, you know, when you have something you care about so much, it's kind of scary when uh, people get a look at it under a magnifying glass and and see all the stuff you do. And so it makes me a little nervous, to be honest. Yeah. Mm -mm. But, 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 I... I love D&D. I love Dungeons and Dragons. So I, I, I want to do it, and I want to do it right. Um, I'm a little scared, but I want to do it because I love the game and I want to show it off. We need more D&D &D inside of Niji Sanji EN. Like, I want to do it, so... I don't mind how much work it's costing and how much time it takes. It's fun. I'm having fun. I want to do it right. Yeah, yeah. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Yeah, I... I'm still preparing materials, but I hope it turns out good. Yeah, yeah. Well, for those who are heading out for tonight, good night. Hmm. My belly feels like it's on fire. Like if it feels really warm. I had to take off my pants just now. It was really hot. Hmm. Thank you very much. That's awfully kind of you. I'll do my best to impress you. Please look forward to D and D. Mm, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, 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 all right. I only wear pants when I stream anyway, so like... If a VTuber tells you that, like... That they wearing pants when they stream, they're lying. Yeah, they're like, completely lying. I don't know what they're talking about. Yeah, no one, not a single VTuber streams with pants on. If you do so, then... Then you're lying and you smell of mildew and old milk. Hmm. Oh, my glasses keep slipping. I need to adjust the, the little thingies. Hmm. Band pants. What's... What's a band pant? What's a band pant? What's a fan pan?
Excuse me. Oh, oh, like, like, pants aren't allowed. Oh, that's what you meant. Oh. Okay. Oh, but, okay. Okay, I got it. Mm -mm. I'm not that gone. I'm like, I'm like aware that I'm drunkling. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Kindreds. Are you still there? I've, I have been check... I haven't been checking the CCV because I get scared when I look at it, so I don't look at it anymore. But there's still Kindred in here. Hi. Have a good night. Then for I admire as her still sticking around. Hi. Good night. Hi. Excuse me. Excuse me. Mm -mm. Mm, you're still here? Oh. Go home. It's late. Go to bed. Close your eyes and touch your nose. Fuck, I missed. Hmm. Okay. I go to bed now. Uh, uh, thank you for all the supas, by the way. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you very much. Too sweet. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll read them tomorrow during my bot so Actually, it'd be a good idea to read it tomorrow because I'll be talking most of the time anyways. Oh, m might as well, I guess. That makes sense just to do it tomorrow. Right? Yeah. Mm -mm -mm -mm. A kindork? Oh, a kindred and an I admirer. I admirers are calling themselves dorks now. That's crazy. In the immortal words of Kyosifer Kaneko, that's crazy. Mmm. Have a pleasant slumber. Thank you. Comfort Raven. What's a Comfort Raven? That's cute. That's a pretty name. Hmm. Oh, your butt. Oh, that's right. I'm not a numnor. I think, like, it, it's... I have, like, dorky tendencies, that's for sure, but, like... I'm kind of dorky. Yeah, I think, like, like liking D&D, &D, being a former band kid, and, like, being good at puzzles and being a former teacher, I think that does quantify as dorky, I guess. I think so, right? Yeah, I think that... It, it, technically, these are pretty, like... Dorky thingies. Mm. And like... It doesn't help that like, my laugh is like, so wild. Like... I wish I had like, a little hee hee hee. Like, a little like... A cutie laugh. But I, I sound fucking stupid. <laughs> but it is. I think I shouldn't... I shouldn't hate my laugh so much. It's just an expression of joy. I, I should, uh... I should be nicer to it. My, my laugh has feelings too, I suppose. Yeah. It has feelings, too. Yeah. Staff son clipped my laugh! Staff son made a short... ...of me laughing. What the hell, Staff son? I didn't agree to having my snort clipped. Okay? I didn't agree to that. That's... that's cheating. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> okay. I need to wipe my face. You know, pro t I always keep a, a packet of baby wipes by my desk. So I can wipe my face and wipe my hands every now and then and wipe my desk down. But now it looks sussy if I have like a thingy of wet wipes by my desk. Now people think that I'm like... A coomer. I'm not much of a coomer to be honest. I don't have time. Okay. 
Much better. Refreshing. Yeah, baby wipes, like... Like, you like you can wipe your face and, like, your neck and stuff like that. Like, my, when my eczema acts up sometimes... Sometimes the skin gets really raw. And so, like, it's really raw and warm and hot feeling. And so sometimes I'll put on baby wipes on my arms and my legs and, and on the rash areas to cool it down a little bit because it hurts really bad if I don't. Yeah. Mm -mm. But now it just looks sussy. It looks really sussy. Yeah. I should probably hide it, but then it looks sussier if it gets found. Yeah. Hmm. But anyways... Mm. Right, I need to end stream. Okay, let me end stream. <laughs> okay, good night everyone. Thank you for swinging by, I appreciate it. Thanks for being... So sweet to me. Thank you. I really appreciate your kindness. And hopefully I'll see you again soon. Okay? Good night, everyone. <laughs> Goodbye. Good night. Good night. I, I mean...